what's up everybody today we're gonna start playing pokemon leaf green i woke up this morning and i just had an itch for pokemon so i thought hey let's start with the game that started it all for me um i was a little kid came to america in 2006 um i think of my first or second year in school i got a game boy from one of my friends and the first game that i truly played was pokemon leaf green so really i consider this to be one of the first or the first video game that I truly got like you know like sucked into and actually played um, so yeah let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get started here I hooked up my um, quiet keyboard here I think I've got all my settings correct and this is on an emulator um, I did set up all the controls beforehand so we really should be all good to go um, I'm I don't know if I'm gonna be reading everything in the game I'll, I'll probably read most things but things like this I won't so you can go ahead and just uh, read that pause the screen if you want but um, I will be reading most dialogue, I'll say it that way. And um, the last time I played, I was really little, so I'm a little more grown up now. It's gonna be nice to see how the game, you know, evolved and see what new things I can find. Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets, others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, so, I am a boy. I'm gonna go ahead and do a boy playthrough here. And my name, I'm gonna go ahead and make it, um, Red. Right, so your name is Red, yep. Let's go ahead and go with Red here. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both babies. What was his name again? It's, uh... Not something easy to forget here, but... Let's go ahead and go with Blue. We'll keep it original here. Was it Blue? Yep. That's right, I remember now. His name is Blue. That's Roka's dementia, dude. Red, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. The world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Alright, let's go. So, right off the bat, we start off with a nest in front of us. I know in future games it's either like a Switch or a Wii. We've got a bed, a computer, and a lot. Of, there's a lot of things to click on in uh, Pallet Town. Um, they're mostly just tutorial stuff, so I'm not gonna you know bother. Right, all boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Ah uh, yes, Professor Oak next door was looking for you. So um, we can go ahead and go to the lab, but he actually won't be there. It'll just be blue. Um, so we're gonna we have to go ahead and try to go into the grass here. Hey, wait, don't go out. And he'll pop up. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Alright, we go with him. And of course, the music is always bumping. I only play games with bumping music, so you guys can definitely expect that from this playthrough. Grams, I'm fed up with waiting. Blue, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come, just wait. Here, Red, there are three Pokemon here. The Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair, what about me? Be patient, Blue, you can have one too. So, of course, we have three options, and I'm sure most of you guys know, but just in case you don't know. We've got Charmander. Um, Fire Pokemon. This is the one that I originally chose my first ever Pokemon playthrough. We're not gonna go with him. There is Bulbasaur, um, Grass type. Not gonna go with him either. We're gonna go ahead and go with Squirtle. Um, my favorite type is Water, along with Psychic. That's why my favorite Pokemon is Starmie. Um, so I think I'm gonna follow that trend. I'm gonna probably have a lot of Water Pokemon. Um, so yes, we're gonna go with Squirtle. Um, so I did receive the Squirtle, and I, th I thought about maybe nicknaming pe um, certain Pokemon. I don't think I'm going to. Um, we'll see. Me, I might change my mind and maybe start giving nicknames, but um, for now I won't. So then Blue's going to go ahead and take the Bulbasaur, obviously the opposite of what we have. Um, but it's not that bad, because we only really have like stuff like Tackle in the beginning anyway. If wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can battle it. Without it at your side, you can be able to reach the next town. Alright. Wait, Red, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Of course, we're not going to be able to leave without um, actually battling here. And again, in a normal fight, 
yeah, it's a little more leveled up, he would beat me, but since the game starts out with, like, tackle, it's fine. Sent out Bulbasaur. Go Squirtle. Oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. You've never had a Pokemon before, have you? Pokemon battle is when trainers put pit their Pokemon against each other. The trainer that makes the other's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. But rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. Okay, so I luckily I have played Pokemon games before, so we're just gonna go ahead and um. Mm, let's just. I feel like a Tail Whip and then Tackle might be good, but yeah, we'll just go for the normal Tackle. How much does he do? Okay, so he does less than me, so we can just tackle him to death. That's fine. We could win the battle pretty easily by just doing this. Again, I, we could get fancy with the Tail Whip, but I almost feel like I don't want to chance it in case something weird happens. And another thing that I want to do this game is I do want to... I've been really into shiny hunting in Pokemon Go. Maybe we'll try to get some shiny Pokemon in this game. Okay, there we go. Receive some HP. Or XP, sorry. Got a little level up going. Player defeated rival blue. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Got it. EDG. Hmm, excellent. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Battle other trainers, make your Pokemon strong. Also, I don't know what the currency is. I'm just going to say G because I think it's... I don't know, bells, Gs, whatever, dollars. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Red, Gramps, smell you later. S smell you later, alligator. Okay, so I think we can just go ahead and go now. Um, yeah. Um, do I... I'm guessing I don't have any Pokeballs, right? Um, okay, let's see. Controls. How do I get to my menu? Okay, there we go. So, tab is gonna be my menu. To go into the bag. Okay, so we don't have anything currently. We can save? Yes, let's go ahead and save the game. Look, look, I copied what it said on one of those trainer tip signs. Press start to open me. Okay, I, I know how to do that. Alright, let's, uh... So again, right now we do not have any Pokeballs. Oh, okay, so we can't catch whatever we fight, but that's fine. Pidgey. Level 3. And, um, just like any other RPG, I will probably end up doing a lot of, like, you know, grinding off-camera and all that good stuff. Tackle. How much does it do? Okay, three. So we can survive a few Pidgeys. That's fine. Ooh, critical hit. That's very unlucky, actually. First, the first fight we get, we already get critted. You, give me Pokeballs. Hey. I work at the Pokemon Mart. It's a part of convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit Viridian City. I know. I'll give you a sample. Here you go. A potion. Red for the potion. I was hoping you'd give me some Pokeballs. What do I need to po- well, actually, I do need a potion very soon. Um, I'm gonna avoid Pokemon battles until I can get balls just cause, eh. I can do a lot of that grindy stuff off camera too. See those ledges along the road? A bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Palatown quicker that way. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I like. I didn't know what I was doing there. Another Pidgey. All right, let's try. I want to see. Can I kill it quicker by using Tail Whip? Choose a Tail Whip. Well, its defense goes down. Use Tackle. Okay. Let's see. Can I kill it in two? Oh, I still have to hit it with three. Okay, um, actually, I have to use a potion here. Yeah, actually, I had to use it or I'm <laughs> literally gonna die. Attack missed, okay. That makes up for the crit a little bit. Let's go ahead and use another tackle. That's... And see, and this is when a Pokeball would come in handy right there. But now we won't be able to do that because I'm gonna level up and my attack is gonna go just a tiny bit higher and then... We could probably knock out the next Pidgey in two. But at that point, it doesn't really matter. I could tackle it in three or tail whip in two tackles at that point. But we did learn Bubble Beam, which is good. I, th I think it I think it just said that. I was kind of clicking a little too fast, but... Viridian City. Okay, so we'll be able to finally get some Pokeballs. Okay, nothing this way. Oh, I forgot that I, in this game, you need, you need to buy the shoes. I just want to make sure. 
And again, I haven't played this game in quite a few years, so like, I know the layout of mostly everything. And I probably didn't need to use my potion right then. You want to know about the two kinds of Caterpillar Pokemon? Sure. Caterpie has no poison, but Weedle does. Watch your Pokemon are stabbed by Needle's poison sting. Okay. Let's go ahead and um, heal our Pokemon. I don't think Squirtle's hurt, but I'm too lazy to check. I'll we'll probably buy a few Pokeballs. Hey, you! You came from Pallet Town. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I, can, can I get you to take it to him? Well, of course you can. Okay, thanks. Please say hi to Professor Oak for me. Okay, thanks. Oh, can I not buy any Pokeballs? Okay, apparently it won't let me. Okay, so I know... So this is another just random house. Trying to memorize all my notes. Okay, I think over there is something else. Okay, so I feel like I sh because I know if we keep going up, we're gonna hit a forest. So I guess let's just go to let's go back to Professor Oak right now. And um you actually start catching some things. I was like, I could play, I'm playing an emulator, I could play either one, so, but I think, I like green, green's cool. Oh, Red, how is my old Pokemon? It seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that, you have something for me? There's your parcel, bud. Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order, thank you. Gramps. I almost forgot, what did you call me for? Oh, right, I have a request for you two. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Red and blue, take these with you. Received Pokedex. You can't, you can't, you can't get detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain. So here, here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. Okay, got some balls. Put the Pokeballs. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm too old and I can't get the job done, so I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps, leave it to me. I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one. Haha, <laughs> don't bother coming around my place after this. Well, maybe we can grab a town map from her, too. Hopefully. She's probably in here, right? Yo, can I get a map? Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. Receive town map. Okay, it's a good thing you told me to go grab it. Okay. I think we're all good to go. We gotta... Let's see, what does the map look like? Okay, so I remapped the button. Um, I still can't do anything with it, but that's fine. Okay. Anyway, I love daddling. Let's go ahead and get moving. Let's try to... Of course, we'll have to catch a Pidgey, right? It's like the first thing we have to do. Hopefully, we can get it in one of these. Oh, like, no encounters. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Alright, let's see what our... It's probably a Pidgey, right? Yep, okay. Let's go ahead and catch this Pidgey. Um, let's go ahead and fight. Oh, Bubble. Alright, let's see how much this does. more to bubble. Okay, um, probably take one more bubble. Okay, <laughs> I really hope we catch it in the first ball, because if we don't, I'm actually, ooh, put in the red. Don't, okay, because we'll actually be in trouble if we don't catch it here. Oh, okay, there we go, I'm like, that. there's the town map. Well, let's go ahead and use a Pokeball, and again, if we don't catch it, I actually die. So let's hope that doesn't happen, right? Epic. Alright. Here we go, we got ourselves a Pidgey. You have a nickname? Nah. Um. Hmm. We don't have another potion. Let's hope we don't. No! Do we just die here? Or we could try to run. Okay, we, I think we have to run because I will die. Okay, how's that good? We're gonna die here, man. I'm like, I'm a Pokemon noob. 
How did I do this as a kid? I almost just died right away. Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and, um... Oh, you want something I should really pull up? I should pull up, uh, route Pokemon guides. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna do that right now. So I can try to make sure... Try to get every single one of them, you know? So, the only Pokemon, the only two we can catch are Piggy and Rattata. So, let's go ahead and let's keep trying to find the Rattata. Um, so we just, again, maybe I'll just try to go route by route and catch every single one that's there. And there we go, Rattata. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and fight it. Let's get it, get it low. Bam. Okay. Well, let's, ooh. Okay, so that saves me one attack here. Alright, don't crit, please. I need it to actually not crit. Okay, good. Attack. I was probably gonna do six. Yep, around six. That's going to use a Pokeball. Okay. And then look, we're gonna go ahead and, um. Tata. Give nickname? No, I'm good. Okay, so we caught both Pokemon here, so we're pretty much good to go. Okay, so obviously our next objective is to kind of go up, but I think there are some Pokemon we can get over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's try to get them. And there's probably an item here. Yeah, there we go. On a potion. Okay, we actually might need that potion. over here and I think there should be Mankey and Spiro so we're gonna go ahead and try to catch both of those while we're here and then of course until we get a rod we won't be able to catch any of the water Pokemon anywhere but that's fine Mankey okay there we go okay let's go ahead and I'm actually kind of scared bubble might kill it but let's go ahead and take a look Oh, okay. Leer. Okay, so my defense goes down. Yep. Let's go and use Bubble again, and ho again, hope- I'm actually hoping for not a crit. Okay, that's good. Leer again! Cool, we don't even have to take any damage. Bag. Gonna use a Pokeball. So then the only other one that we're looking for is gonna be Spiro. Yep, because we got Rattata, Mankey, and Spiro. Now, Spiro is only 10% encounter rate. So, extremely quick to anger. It could be Dasa one moment, then thrashing away the next instant. Nope. Alright, let's try to look for that Spiro. Trying to learn Water Gun. Oh, Squirrel can't learn more than four moves. Delete a move to make room for Water Gun? Yes, please. Let's go ahead and remove... Um, Tail Whip. We don't need Tail Whip. One, two, and poof. Squirtle forgot Tail Whip. And Squirtle learned Water Gun. Okay, that'll help us quite a bit. Man, we're not even to Route 2 and we're already level 13. I Again, I know I could find a Spearow later on in the game, but I want a Spearow now. Spearow? Not a Spearow. Dude, don't tell me. It escapes again, I don't have any more Pokeballs, and I'll have to look for it again! That's terrible. Oh, no. Let's see, would I have killed it? No, that's... Oh, no, I have to look for it again. That's fine. Well, let's go buy some Pokeballs, and... Find it again. And again, I don't even care how much time this takes. Inside the Pokemart, let's buy. We have 3,000, because we grinded pretty hard right there. Let's go ahead and buy... 10? Alright, let's go ahead and buy... Let's go ahead and buy one antidote. Let's buy two paralyzed heals. Buy a potion. 
and let's actually buy two more antidotes. There we go. Alright, so there goes all of our money. But, I think that was some pretty good stuff right there. Another Spearow! Okay, this one was much quicker than the last, thank you. Alright, level 5. I'm actually still scared of killing it, so I'm just not gonna hit it. I'm just not gonna play those games right now. One, two, three. Good, okay. There we go! There's our Spearow that we could have gotten much easily later, but that's fine. Eats bugs in grassy areas, it has to flap its short wings at high speed to stay airborne. Give Spiro name? Nope, I'm good. Alright, so now we are, I don't know, I think we're heading to Route 2 and then Viridian Forest. Um, but it looks like my recording is at like 30, 40 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this episode here, guys. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment on this channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and bye. Hey, what's up guys? We're playing Pokemon again. We just finished up with Route 1 and Viridian City. Uh, well, now I've had my coffee and that's what I need to get going. Hmm? What is that red box you have? Oh, so you're working on your Pokedex? Then let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? I suppose I better show you then. Oh, I've already caught so many. Okay, if there's something you don't understand, watch that. It'll teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. Pretty epic. Alright, gym. This Pokemon gym is always closed. I wonder who the leader is. Hmm. I wonder who the leader is. I guess we'll figure it out later. Okay, Route 2. What can we find in Route 2? Let's see, let's see, let's see. We can find Caterpie and Weedle, but really, I think they're going to be a little bit... Yeah, they're going to be more easily found in Viridian Forest. And so if you guys didn't watch last episode, we absolutely pumped our Pokemon up. Or Squirtle, very, very high to level 14. So to be honest, we're fine. I'm going to try to skip Route... I'm basically going to try to skip Route 2 here. Just because there's no Pokemon I need. And I'm already leveled up. Raditza may be small, but don't underestimate his wicked bite. Are you going to Viridian Forest? Natural maze in there. Be careful, you don't want to get lost. Alright, so in the Viridian Forest, we can find Caterpie, Weedle, Metapod, Kakuna, and Pikachu. I came here with some friends to catch up some bug Pokemon. They're all itching to get into some Pokemon battles. Alright, so there will be people to fight here. Let's go ahead and try. Let's see what we get first. First, we got a Weedle. Or, yeah. Caterpie, come on. Um, Alright, question. Will we kill it with a tackle? No, it puts it, it puts it right in the red. Okay, good to know. Okay, my speed fell, but that's alright, because that's not what I need. Pokeball. One, two, three. But doink. Alright, Caterpie. Um, so really, the hard one to find. It's short feet or tipped with suction pods that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls. The hard one that'll be to find is really the Pikachu. The Weedle will probably find in, like, basically the next moment here. Oh, Caterpie. Okay. Um, okay, well, I guess we can take a look for the rest of the Pokemon. Ooh, Metapod. While we work. Um, let's do it. Will a bubble kill it? Okay. Use Harden. We could probably catch it. Why not catch it, I guess, right? Or if I don't manage to catch him in 10 Pokeballs or 9. Oh lord, okay. Well, we better start... Okay. No. Yeah, transfer to the PC. That's fine. Alright, let's go battle... Oop. Well, let's grab this. 
Let's go ahead and try to fight him. Oh, please don't be a Pikachu. Don't be a Pikachu. Okay. Well, while we're here, we can try to catch it. Try to tackle it. Hopefully it doesn't kill it. That's fine. String shot. So, really the only things we need are Kakuna and Pikachu. And they're both 5%. So, well, and that is, of course, if this manages to catch. Nope. Okay. Well, we'll have to come back and get another one. Can you poison me? Go ahead. Alright, well, I gotta go grab... I gotta get more money, so I have to fight some people. So let's go ahead and try to find some people, then. You. Hey, you Pokemon, let's go. Let's battle them. Give me your money, kid. Bug catcher, Rick. Alright, Rick. I am extremely overleveled, and I'm sorry for that. He's a water gun. Let's just kill everything in one turn here. There you go. Alright, about to use Caterpie. Nope. Another water gun. That's all we need. Alright, how much money? 72, that's not gonna buy me many Pokeballs, man. I need, I need money, I need some sh money, dude, for the Pokeballs. Give me some more sh money, dude. Can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Why not? Can jam out anytime. Alright, bug catcher Doug. Alright, Doug. What do you got? Gonna use a water gun. I'm not level 7. But again, I am extremely um, over leveled here. Dude, I shouldn't have wasted all those Pokeballs in the Metapod. That was a. Uh... That was a bad idea. Alright, and he's gonna flood his Kakuna. That's nah, fine. Its defense is high, but not as special, so. Okay, we defeated Bug Catcher Doug. Only, oh man, this is not gonna get me a lot of Pokeballs, man. Find an antidote. How about a Pokeball? I like Pokeballs better. Why don't you give me one of those, huh? Is this. Okay, here's another one I could fight. Fight me, dude. Okay, he has only two? Gonna use water gun again. Bop. We need to grab a water bottle. Probably grab it after this video. Nope. Don't want to switch. We're we're solid right now. The water gun. Bop. Yeah, maybe I should. Realistically, I don't need any more Pokeballs. I just need one for Weedle, one for Pikachu, and I really I don't I don't need that Kakuna to be honest. I really don't need because I can just evolve the Weedle and call it a day, you know? Oh, no. That's not very good. Oh, nope. I did not need anything else from you, bud. Will you give me some? Yo, I need some Pokeballs, man. Okay. Well, I hope if we encounter a Pikachu... We could just go for the catch here. I feel like, though, I really need to be careful because that Pikachu is a little more important. Whoa, we're already evolving? Squirtle's evolving. We're in Route 2 and he's already evolving. Wow. Okay. Interesting. I totally forgot, like, how, like, quickly he gets to his second evolution already.
Squirtle is now... Congratulations, your Squirtle evolved into a War Turtle. Pretty epic. Found a Pokeball, here we go. Alright, so I have two. The two whole Pokeballs. I could probably use one of them to catch this Weedle. What I might do... Let's switch out to Spearow. Let's see if we can get it a little lower, just because I really don't want to waste the ball right now. Alright, come on, Spearow. Peck. How much will Peck... Ooh, okay. That's alright, you, you, can, you can poison Spearow, it's not that big of a deal. Not like I'm going to use it much anyway. <gasps> oh, super effective, and I almost killed it. Super hurt by poison. That's all right. I don't... I just need to catch it, so... All right, here we go. Please don't escape. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I still have one Pokeball in case we somehow encounter the Pikachu. Off of the forest, eating leaves has sharp sting on its head that injects poison. Nope, you can go ahead and just go to the box. Alright. Alright, let's go this way. And I think there will be one more trainer up here. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and beat this guy up. Should that Pokemon evolve? I sure do. My Squirtle just evolved. All right, Bug Catcher Charlie. It's on his Metapod. Oh, that's not a good idea, my guy. I already got a level 16 War Turtle. I could probably kill the next two gems with this War Turtle alone. Oh, let's keep going. water gun again. Bop. Gotta keep track of time. I gotta be somewhere at 7, and it is currently 5 o'clock. So I do need to keep track of time. Okay. What's going on here? No, I don't... Well, let's just go ahead and cancel that. I don't want to switch. Another Metapod, huh? Another water gun. Alright. Let's continue out of here. Again, I'm probably going to stay and look for that Pikachu. But, I mean, there's a fat chance of encountering that one, to be honest. Well, I think there's an item down here. Please be another Pokeball. Potion. Ah, uh, okay. I'll, I'll take a potion, too, I guess. Alright. We have another encounter here. And then we just need to get the Pikachu, and we're good to go. Well done. Hey, wait up. Why the hurry? Why the rush? So I'm trying to get a Pikachu, bro. He only has one. Better be high level. Yeah, there you go. Level 9. A little higher than the rest, but it's not going to help you much. There we go. Still one shot at it. Hey, give me some money. How much money are you going to give me, Sammy? 100. Okay. That's good. Alright, let's go ahead and um, keep hunting those Pikachu. Pikachu! Oh! Okay, here we go. Alright. We need to make sure not to kill this. So let's go ahead and switch out Pokemon. Um, Rattata? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We gotta make sure not to kill this thing. Thunder, is that gonna kill me? Okay. I just need to get it to low and then that's it. Growl. Okay, that's fine. Attack went down. Not the biggest problem. Probably get a few more hits in. It's fine. Ooh, static paralyzed. That's fine. Yeah, I just, you, you, these things can all die. I just need to get a low. Oh, it's like hella cruel, but... Okay. Let's go ahead and pull out... Digi. 
Right, come on, Pidgey. Tackle it. Oh, please don't paralyze it. Oh, it's super effective. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Will I accidentally kill it? I don't think I'll accidentally kill it. You know what we can do? You can pull up the level 2 Mankey. And wait for the Growl. Use Growl. Perfect. Alright, and I gotta hope that I don't kill it here. Thing is, I need to get it into the red. Please don't. Please don't kill it. Oh, perfect. That's literally exactly what I needed. Okay, let's go ahead and use Leer. Oh, it's gonna kill me. No? Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's... I have one Pokeball. I have one try at this. Please don't miss. Please, please, please don't miss. Let's go. Okay. Alright, we got the Pikachu. That's what we came for. Yeah, baby! When several of these Pokemon gather, the electricity can build and cause lightning storms. Give a nickname? Nope. But we will put that in our party. Alright, that's literally all we came for. We can grab the Kakuna later when we evolve Weedle, so that's not a big deal. Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? They can be cut down by special movie up. Yep. Yep, so I'll have to look at a different plate. Did you know the evolution cancel technique? When Pokemon is evolving, you can stop the process. It's a technique for raising Pokemon the way they are. Yeah, I won't be using that. No reason to. Route 2. Okay, let's go ahead. Let me move on to Route 2. Is there anything here? Nope, nothing. Okay. Next, we're going to move on to uh, Pewter City. There's no Pokemon in there. Route 3. Okay, there will be a few Pokemon we have to catch in Route 3, so... We'll have to buy a couple more Pokeballs. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers out there. They're all, like, bug catchers, you know? Just hobbyists. The pewter's Jim Brock. Oops. What do you say? Jim Brock isn't like that. Not one bit. Yeah, but Brock is hard, huh? Okay. Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. And there is a couple of nice Pokemon on Route 3. There's Jigglypuff, Nidoran, both types of Nidoran. And wow, it's a 1% on the male Nidoran. Hmm. No, cancel. Wait. Huh? Okay, Pokemon Storage. Okay, so let's go ahead and deposit. Um... We gotta store this and... Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Get rid of... Let's just... Actually, let's put away everything for now. Boy, release? I was like, no. No, 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 no. Stop. Don't release. I hit cancel. Okay, withdraw. Here's the things that I know I want to keep. I'm gonna go ahead and keep Pikachu. I'm gonna go ahead and keep Mankey. I'm gonna go ahead and keep Pidgey. Those are the ones that I want. So we can exit, yep. And, um, I'm gonna definitely put a Nidoran male. Okay, but first, let's go ahead and just uh, check out the rest of this town. While we're here. Learn new techniques as they grow. Okay, certain moves, so certain moves have to be taught. Um, paralysis. Catching what is never... Okay, so... Again, more lessons, you know. You you weaken a Pokemon in any way, shape, or form, and they tend to be easier to catch. Which is, you know, it's a good lesson. Okay, so let's see. What is over here? There's the Mart. Which we'll definitely have to go grab some Pokeballs. Did you know... Do you know what I'm doing? No. I'm spraying Repel to keep wild Pokemon out of my garden. Okay. Cool. Oh man, that Nidra in 1%. That's gonna suck. Really? You absolutely have to go. Oh, he's taking me there right now. Okay, fair enough, I guess. We're going there right now. 
There it is, the museum. You have to pay to get in, but it's worth it. See you around. Okay, I could have just probably seen it myself, to be honest, but... Let's see what's inside this house. There's Nidra and Mail. Nidra and Sit. Our Pokemon's an outsider, so it's finicky and hard to handle. An outsider is a Pokemon that you get in a trade. It grows fast, but it may ignore an unskilled trainer in battle. If we only had some something. Some. Oh, I want one of those. I really want Nidoran Mail. It's like one of my favorite Pokemon in um, Gen 1. Okay, well, I guess let's go visit the museum while we're here. Um, oh, 50. Yeah, sure. Right. Alright, let's go in. I don't know if there's anything good in here. Aerodactyl fossil. Interesting. I'd be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. Ooh, this one's cool. Yeah, that one, I know what that one is. I want a Pikachu. It's so cute. I asked my daddy to catch me one. Oh, I have one. I'm not giving it to you. This month, we're running Space Exhibit. Let's go ahead and we could, this is bad, but we could probably go straight to fighting Brock here. Um, Clefairy came from the moon, that's what the rumor is. They appeared after Moonstones fell from Mount Moon. Well, that's one thing we're going to have to catch, but to catch we need money. Hiya, do you want to dream big? Do you dare dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. Nah, I'm good. It's a free service. Let's the first Pokemon out in a match is at the left of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of the Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. Try different orders to suit your opponent's party. Alright, well, Brock should be pretty easy considering we started with Squirtle, so stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Yeah, so this is not going to be a hard gym, partly because we're over leveled, but it's a rock gym, so. The Rocket Gym is always really easy if you start out with the Squirtle. So this is going to be one of the quickest fights ever. Yeah, super effective, so. The next gym might not be as easy, the Water Gym, because we're not going to be like effective against it, but... Um, really? We could even train our Pikachu, and then we could use the Lightning against it, you know. And the Pikachu's fast, so... Sandshrew. Sandshrew is another Pokemon that I really like from Gen 1, so... Might have to grab ourselves one of those. Darn! Light years isn't time, it measures distance. Oh, we got a lot of money from that, though. Alright, let's go ahead and fight Brock right away. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me? Fine then, show me your best. Yeah, I don't think I'll have too much trouble, but... Would like to battle. Alright, send out Geodude. Level 12? Alright, man. Well, I'm level 17, so... Super effective. Level 18. Alright, Onyx. Nope. Onyx is super sick. But, not really strong enough. Pretty easy. Alright, we defeated Brock. As proof of your victory, I confer you on this, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Cool. Our first badge of the game. Let's go. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, the Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. 1400? Alright, that'll buy us some Pokeballs. Wait, take this with you. Received TM39. TM Tech contains a technique for Pokemon. Okay. Team is good for only one use, so when you use it, pick a Pokemon carefully. Anyways, Rock Tomb. Hurls Boulder. Okay, so... I'm gonna have to be careful on who I put that on. 
Um, but let's go back, heal our Pokemon, buy some Pokeballs, and we'll probably end off the episode. See, I'll take nine. Yeah. I'll, and I'll have to be a little. Oh, I should have probably bought some of these. Oh well. Um, see ya. Yeah, that's fine. I'll need to get money from somewhere else. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the Pokemon. But guys, I'm probably just gonna end off the video. Mm, I don't know if I should end it off here. You know what? Let's go ahead. Catch one more Pokemon. Let's catch one more Pokemon. And then we can end off the video. I feel like we haven't done enough. Alright. We hope to see you again. Alright, let's head over to Route 3. And then we can end off the episode. After we catch one more. Oh, Red. I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. Receive the running Hey, there we go. Switch shoes with the running shoes. Press the B button to run, but only where there's room to run. Well, I must be going. Bye-bye. Okay, so I could press... There's a letter attached. Dear Red, here's a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. Okay, so I can run with that. Okay, cool. Oh, first battle. I didn't want to get into a battle. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and defeat this person. Lass Janus. Alright, what do you got? Pidgey? That's not gonna be that's not gonna be too hard to kill. Bop. Alright. Hmm. Nope, don't need to switch Pokemon. Although, I should probably start switching Pokemon unless I want to become a uh, Blastoise one trick. I'll probably start out to switching out some Pokemon, but. That'll be for later. Okay, and give me some more money. Alright, guys, I think I will end the episode off here, though. Um, and we'll start catching stuff next time. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, please like in the comments below the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye. Hey guys, we're playing Pokemon again. We're gonna go towards Route 3 and then Mount Moon. There's a couple Pokemon I want to catch here. Um, Jigglypuff and both Nidorans. Now, the Nidoran male is a 1%, so that's gonna be pretty hard to get. But, hey, we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. And also, we're gonna, of course, farm these uh, trainers for a little bit of cash here. Oh, this guy saw me at Viridian Forest. Another Bug Catcher. Bug Catcher Colton. And of course, we're extremely overleveled right now, so we're definitely gonna wipe through these guys. I'm not gonna even bother using Water Gun. I don't think I'll need it. Maybe. Maybe I do need it. Okay, well, that's fine. Not a big deal. There we go. Alright, I will use Water Gun on the next one just because, you know, hey, I'm tr you know, I got a life to live here. I'm trying to go fast. Can't learn. Ooh, bite. Okay. Room for bite? Yes. Let's go ahead and remove withdraw. Yeah, I don't need withdraw. And poof. War Turtle forgot withdraw and learned bite. Cool. Now my my War Turtle can just bite other Pokemon. It's pretty epic. Alright, Weedle. How much is bite? Um, it's a dark move. Chomp. Okay, that works. I didn't know he learned Bite at level 19. That's that's interesting. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a while, so... But, yeah, I didn't know he learned Bite. Chomp. Cool. Alright, 120. Not too much, but just enough. Alright. Um, let's go. I like shorts. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. Okay, man. I'm glad you like your shorts. Youngster Ben would like to battle. Alright, Radita. He's definitely got a top tier Radita. For sure. Alright, does Bite do it one? Just one? Cool. Alright. 
Um. Oh, I'm like spamming away. Oh, let's just do that. All right, let's go ahead and just use another bite. Aw, I didn't kill him. Oh, we haven't seen an Ekans before. That's pretty interesting. Okay. A little bit more money. There's a lot of trainers on this route. But hey, uh, we're going to need that money for Mount Moon, so that's understandable. Oh, he's got four. Well, we gotta go through all of them, so let's do this. I'll start using Water Gun. Let's just speed it up a little bit. And I'm reading the description for Route 3. I keep pressing that, and I never do want to switch. Water Gun. Okay. Kakuna? Well, that's not going to help you much either now, is it? Yeah, let's just use another water gun. Yeah, a lot of these battles are pretty repetitive just because I'm just going to keep using water gun again and again, you know? Metapod. Okay. Here we go again. Yeah, so this one... Nidoran is a 1%, man. I know I can trade for it later, but I kind of want to play this game by catching every single Pokemon on every single route. So I don't know. I, I might stay here until I get until I get it. All right, well, let's fight all of them. Because we need the money. The look you gave me, it's intriguing. Alright, last. Two Pokemon. Alright, come on. Let's get it over with. Another water... Quick attack? Ah, oh, that's not gonna do much damage, though. Okay. Nidoran. This is the one that I... No, that's not the one that I want. I mean, both are cool, but I, I really like Nidoran male. There we go. Be nice. Trying to be. I like to think I'm a nice person. Alright, we only got a few more battles left. Only a few. I think there's two more down there. Alright, come on. How much do you got? Two? Okay. Caterpie. What's all these bug catchers? You guys haven't caught anything cool? Just bugs? Also, who likes. I feel like. Who actually likes bug Pokemon, you know? Like, out of all of the types, you know, you've even got, like, your Pikachus and your, your Pidgeys and Monkeys and you choose Bugs. Seems a little weird to me, but... I mean, there are, like, a couple cool Bugs, but they're pretty rare. You know, you got your Scyther, you've got, um... Scyther. Can't even think of another cool Bug at the moment. Alright, kid. I'm not wearing shorts. He's right, I'm not wearing shorts. Maybe there is something wrong with me. All right, he's only got one. All right, youngster Calvin. Oh, he's got one juicer. He's got one big Spearow. I don't think I'll, I still think I'll one-shot it. Yeah. It was probably pretty close though, but. Okay. Lost, lost, lost. And hey, he gave me one more Pokeball. Sadly, now we do have to walk all the way around just because we have to do that battle, but... Alright. we got one more battle with this dude over here. Sorry. Woman. And then we'll just circle around in this grass until we basically find what we need. Ooh, okay, another Jigglypuff. One Pokemon person. I love these because it's just like free money. Alright, Water Gun. I know this thing is like, not like the final boss, but I'll- Ooh, and it- Ooh, wow. 
this is a much harder fight than the rest of them so far. You know, it's it's high HP, it's a Jigglypuff, it can disable, it can put me to sleep. So that's definitely like the final boss of the route, you know? But not like it'll stop me. That's it. Alright, here comes the boring part. We are going to be roaming this piece of grass until we get a Jigglypuff and... Oh, Jigglypuff! Okay, well, it's a 10%. We hit the 10% right away. Look at that. Alright, well, of course, I do not want to kill it. Why don't grab our Pikachu out? Hopefully, we can get it low with the Pikachu. You sing? Aw, oh, don't put me to sleep, dude. throw Pokeballs even while asleep. There's a trainer that throws them, right? Not the Pokemon? Not like it matters, right? Alright, but I hope this doesn't take too many, because again, the, the, the cash flow isn't crazy right now. Let's go. Alright, first encounter, and we hit that 10% already. Which is pretty good. When its huge eyes waver, it sings a mysterious, soothing melody that lulls its enemies to sleep. Nope. Alright, so far so good. Now we just need the Nidoran female 14 and Nidoran 1%. Oh, there's the Nidoran female. Okay, perfect. Okay, so... Ooh. I'm gonna use Tackle? Growl? Okay, that's fine. Let's see how low we can get it. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch out... Let's switch out to Pikachu. Right, let's go Pikachu. Level 3. You ran you scratch. That's okay. Ooh! Static paralyzed. That's amazing. That's exactly what I needed. Now, please do not kill. Please do. Oh, I'm asleep. Okay. <laughs> God, I was gonna say, please do not kill it, but. Okay, that's fine. We. <laughs> Even after we catch the Jigglypuff, it haunts us. Alright, perfect. I just need one. Don't kill. It didn't do anything! Oh no! Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, let's pull out Mankey. Let's see what Mankey can do. I just need you to hurt it a little bit. Okay, that's not good. Oh, dude, you're paralyzed! It's, it's like, almost not even paralyzed. It hasn't missed yet. Let's just get it to the yellow. Ooh, a critical. Okay, that's... Well, maybe we can get it to the red. Ooh, poison point. Paralyzed. Okay, that's actually exactly what I needed it to. Okay. Ooh. Okay, now we can probably get it to the red here. Alright, one more. We need to hit it one more scratch and we'll be good. Okay, I was gonna say, if it crits right there, dude, I'm gonna be pretty mad. By mad, I mean like, oh well, let's try to catch the next one. Alright, but it's paralyzed and low health, so really, there's no reason why we can't catch this right here. In no world would this ever escape, right? Alright, cool. So we got the we caught the two rares. We caught the Nidoran female and Jigglypuff. So we just need to get uh, the male. Although small, its venomous barbs rendered this Pokemon dangerous. The female has smaller horns. Cool. All right. Well, I'm gonna head back to town, heal my Pokemon. All right. Let's go ahead and keep looking for that Nidoran male. One percent. So it's probably gonna take a while. Ooh. Ooh. I can see that. Wow, that is extremely lucky. This is a 1%. Alright. Wow, that... Okay. Um, that's a clip right there. Like, hey. The only thing crazier would have been if it was somehow shiny. That Now that would have been the luck of a lifetime. Alright, well that's all we need. We That was a lot quicker than I thought it would be.
Alright, that poison's gonna hurt me a lot, isn't it? Is that gonna kill me? No. Okay, it's in the... Alright, you know what we're gonna do? Ooh, okay, well it's dead anyway. Yep, let's go ahead and put out War Turtle, just so we don't have Pokemon just constantly dying. And you know what? I have six, right? I'm good. I could probably waste like three. One, two, three. Don't even need to waste them. Nidoran, male. Okay, now this is a Pokemon that I will be leveling up. It stiffens its ears to sense danger. The larger its horns, the more powerful it secretes venom. Nope. And I think it's... Okay, so that one's gonna be... So we're gonna... You know what? We're gonna go right now back to town, and we're gonna go ahead and put that in our um, Pokemon. Because that's something that I'll probably be using the rest of the game, although I can't promise that. Um, I still haven't really thought about my final lineup, but... Um, it's... Hmm... Yet, I, this might be blasphemy to say it now, but Blastoise might not even be in my final lineup. I might end up just switching out Starmie for Blastoise as the water type and calling it calling it a day. Um, but we'll see when we get there. Okay, so storage. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and deposit Nidoran female. Um. We really don't need Jigglypuff right now. And I'll keep Mankey, because I do like Mankey. Let's go ahead and withdraw. We'll go ahead and withdraw Neater and Male. Yes, Neater and Male. And we'll leave that last slot open. See ya. Hmm. I might go to an earlier route and just very, very quickly train up Nidoran and Pidgey a little bit. I feel like they need it. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Okay, so we can learn quick, quick attack. So let's go ahead and learn that and then... Probably get rid of Tail Whip here. Yeah. Quick Attack will be pretty cool for, you know, when we want to kill something quickly. So that's pretty good. Alright, so just a very, very quick update while I'm talking. Um, this is what we're looking like. Pikachu's at 11, Pidgey's at 11, Nidoran is at 10, War Turtle's at 21, only Mankey's at 2. So I'm going to go ahead and train up Mankey until 10, and then we can get moving, so that's kind of the Okay guys, let's go ahead and go into the Pokemart here. We have a little bit of money. Let's go ahead and buy four Pokeballs. Um, and probably an escape rope. We won't need the repels, because honestly, it's just free levels, really. Um, but the escape rope might be handy in case, like, we're, like, stuck stuck. And then in that case, I don't want to lose money by dying, so. An escape rope might be useful. Okay, well then, let's go ahead and head over to Mount Moon. Oh, and I guess just a really, really quick, once again, showing of the Pokemon. Um, okay, that is not what I wanted to go to. I got everyone to here. So, Mankey is 10, Pikachu, Pidgey, and Nidoran are 11, and Wartortle is 21. Let's go ahead and stick Wartortle in the first slot. And we can go ahead and continue on with our adventure here. Um, I don't know what this kid wants, but... Okay. Phew! Better take a rest. The tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. Okay. Um, Route 4. Okay, so there is actually a new Pokemon on this route. There is a Sandshrew. 
which I definitely... Ooh, that's a boulder badge. You got it from Brock, didn't you? Brock is cool. He's not just tough. People like and respect him. I want to become a gym leader like him. Um, there's sh We should be able to get a sand shrew here. Ouch, I tripped over a rocky Pokemon Geodude. The real question is where? Oh, does Route 4 extend past Mount Moon? Okay, well then we'll have to get the sand shrew after. Let's go ahead and enter Mount Moon. And here I'll be able to get Zubat, Geodude, Paris, and Clefairy. So actually four new Pokemon just in this area here. Okay, so there's a lot of new Pokemon here for us to catch. All right, Paris, that's a 5%. We're getting pretty lucky with these odds, not gonna lie. Right, let's try not to kill it. Oh, that was almost close. All right, let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball. Let's just hope we can get it the first time. Yeah, a 5%. The only way we would've got luckier is if we hit the Clefairy. And we got the Paris. Okay. Here we go. Making our way up in the world here. Burrows to suck trees, roots, the mushrooms on its back row by drawing nutrients from the bug host. Nope. Cool. Alright, well, we got one of the rare Pokemon already. It's Bullet Seed. Okay. Zubat? Okay, well... We're gonna see a lot of these, so... Um, better prepare myself. Okay, just killed it outright. Well, maybe we can get a higher level Zubat that we don't just kill outright. Okay, but first we got a battle. Suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Bro, I ain't suspicious. Alright, what do Kent? Alright, Kent. What do you got? Weedle, Kakuna? Alright, man. Water gun. Let's go ahead and just take care of him here. Um, Kukuna. Level 11, so not tough at all. Get him out of here. Okay. Alright, is there an item above you? Yes, there is an item above you, but first, Pokemon. Alright, Zubat. Alright, well, let's just keep tackling them until one of them doesn't die. Let's see, they can go- they can become between level 7 and 10, so we'll just have to hit a level 10. Ooh, a Paralyzed Heal? Okay. Once we hit a level 10 one, we'll be fine. First, another battle. Okay, what do you got? I think she's only got one, right? Yep. Clefairy. Which, level 14, it's a little higher, but still another thing we can't take care of here. Ooh, wow, high, pretty high special defense. Interesting. Well, we're gonna, hopefully it doesn't sing us. Don't, oh, Encore? Okay, that's fine. Isn't that just gonna lock us into the move we just used? Which, that's, yeah, it's not gonna cause me any problems. Thank you, Clefairy, for Telling me what move I was gonna do next anyway. Level 22. Here we go. There defeated last Iris. Okay. So let me go ahead and do that just so I can kinda take a look at where I'm going here. Okay, so there's one ladder there. But there's a lot of other stuff I wanna gather. Okay, Geodude. And he's this is a 25%. And this one, I'm pretty sure I won't kill with Tackle. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a rock type, so. Mud Sport. What is that going to do? Is it less accurate? Electricity power. Okay, well, it's a good thing I don't have a Pikachu out. Okay. Tackle. That's not going to hit too hard. Nope. Oh, eh, I kind of wandered it into the red, but that's not, that's not a big deal. Um, we can go ahead and just use a Pokeball here, and let's pray here that we don't have to waste too many on it. There we go. Alright, so we caught Geodude, Paris, we just need the Zubat and the Clefairy. 
found in fields and mountains, mistaking them for boulders. People often step and trip on them. Alright, cool. Uh, Geodude's another contender for um, our team. I don't think it'll end up making the cut, but it's definitely in the contenders. Zubat? Come on, give me a level 7. I need a high level Zubat. I mean, I could just try to straight up just chuck a ball at it and call it a day, but... You know, I don't know if I want to do that. Alright. Potion. I guess we could defeat a couple of these trainers up here. Alright. Don't <laughs> don't sneak up on me. Oh, my bad. How many Pokemon you got? Two? Okay. Magnemite? Okay. First time we see one of those in the game. But he's a water gun. That should be pretty effective. I think it's like, wait, was steel a type in this game? Might it? That might just be electricity. All right, let's bring out Nidoran. Let's get let's let's get some levels going for Nidoran, huh? Voltorb. That's another new one. Okay, probably do a peck. Tackle. Ouch. Not really. Ooh, we're neither are very effective. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and bring Wardle back out. And we can get some XP. Is it gonna self-destruct? Okay, I'm like. Don't self-destruct, that would suck. Alright, let's go ahead and use water gun. Critical hit. Nice. And then that way our Nidoran gets a little bit of levels going. There we go. So there's one more trainer, two items, and then we might call it a day after that. Let's go ahead and defeat these trainers real quick. Alright. Oh, he's got three. Okay. Let's get comfy here. This man has a lot of Pokemon. Let's go ahead and get comfy. Honestly, we could probably bring out our Nidoran here. Um, but maybe we'll bring out the Nidoran. Caterpie. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring on Nidoran. Let's try to get us some levels, huh? Sit up Caterpie. I need I need to get it like a I need to get it a better move than Peck. But oh the Nidoran's pretty good against bugs, so maybe this is a good one to bring out for right now. Super effective. Alright, a lot of XP. Here we go. We're making moves. Nidra learned double kicks. Okay, that's a good move. That'll help. No. Because, again, Peck is very good. So, double, double kick will work a little bit better. Because it's also a fighting move. Okay. No. Uh, okay, maybe not good. Alright, back back to um something else then. Let's go ahead and switch Pokemon... We're gonna bring Pikachu in. Pikachu can use Thunder. And that might be able to kill us a tiny bit quicker. And if not, we'll bring back in War Turtle and just call it a day here. Alright, how much are you gonna do? Ooh. Oh, it almost killed it too. He's hardened. Alright, well hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and use this opportunity. Um to bring in Paris. Why not? Get you some XP. Yeah, let's get Paris some XP. While we're at it. What do you got? Scratch? Yeah, let's use Scratch. It's only it's probably only got like a single HP left, so this will be good. Bang. Yep. Alright. All of them gain some XP. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead. There should be two items. And we'll also get a couple encounters here, so. Ooh, encounter first. Geodude. Okay, we already have one of these. We're gonna go ahead and just basically blast through them here. Bonk. Super effective. Our first item rare candy. Ooh. That one we're saving for a long time. 
First, we're gonna definitely save that one for something special. Ooh, an escape rope. Okay, that's like 550 at the store, so. All right, let's try to get a few more encounters, and then we'll probably end off the episode. All right, just do me a favor and don't kill it. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly where I needed it to be, actually. Leech life? That's not good, actually. Um. We're gonna use Thunder Wave just to paralyze it, make it a tiny bit easier to catch. Use Astonish. Okay, Astonish is fine. Okay, let's go ahead and throw out a ball. That should be a pretty easy catch. And then next episode, we'll focus on getting that Clefairy and finishing out the rest of Mount Moon. But I feel like this episode, we caught a lot of new Pokemon, just this episode. Because we went through Route 3 and Mount Moon. It forms colonies in perpetual dark place and uses ultrasonic waves to identify and approach targets. Cool. Alright guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. Um, and we'll, we can go ahead and finish the rest of Mount Moon later. Um, so guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, please click in the comments for the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye. Hey everybody, we're playing Pokemon again. We're in Mount Moon. We've caught all the Pokemon here, except Clefairy. So, while we go along our uh, little journey through Mount Moon, we'll look for Clefairy, and hopefully we can encounter one. But we have a few more battles to go through. He's excavating. Sometimes a Brock of Pewter Gym lends me a hand. Oh, okay, I'm like, do we... Is this guy a battle, or...? Okay, level 7 Geodude with... Yeah, that's not gonna be much trouble. I kinda... I wouldn't call it a mistake, but I kinda made the mistake of way over-leveling Wartortle, so... I don't wanna say, like, the game isn't as fun, but the game almost isn't as fun because we're just so stupidly over-leveled right now. And, of course, we're gonna face a lot of, um... Zubats. But hopefully, eventually, one of them becomes a Clefairy. So we can kind of nab that while we're here. And of course, we won't be able to do anything with the Clefairy until we get a Moonstone or... Yeah, Moonstone, right? Um, but... Whoa, it's way bigger in here than I thought. That's what she said. Um... Alright, last... M Miriam, Miriam. Ooh, an Oddish. We haven't seen that one. And Oddish is going to be one of the Pokemon that I will not be able to get in this game, I'm pretty sure. I think Oddish is an exclusive for Fire Red. So we will not be able to get it. But what I'll... And I haven't really mentioned this, but obviously you guys know this is an emulator. So there's going to be certain Pokemon I'm not going to be able to get. What I'll probably end up doing is... I know there's a way to trade between emulators. So what I'm gonna do is have a probably a second copy of the game. Ooh, a bell sprout, another thing we haven't seen. I'll have a second copy of the game, and I'll play it and get Oddish and get all these exclusives, and then trade them over naturally, you know, so I still got them. But um we're gonna deal with any Pokemon that need to be traded once the game is done. So Anything like that, we're not going to worry about. I'm going to 100% the Pokedex as far as I can. And then once that is done, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out the trading then. Until then, I don't really have to worry about it. And I should probably bring in a couple of my other Pokemon into battle here. Um, let's go down this one first. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, can we sneak behind this guy? Oh, we can't sneak. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, will he see us? Alright, a Paris. Hey, that's a 5% spawn. Ah, I thought I could maybe get past them. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Alright, bud. Ooh, is this our first Team Rocket grunt of the game? I think it is. Oh, and I accidentally put Nita in. Okay, Nidoran can do it. That's fine. Oh, maybe not. That's really weak. Oh. Oh, because it's... Oh, no. That's not good. Wait. Oh, that's a fighting move? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do what we said we're not going to do. Let's go ahead and bring in Pikachu. 
Um, I want Nidoran, but he's confused and doesn't have very good moves right now, so... Oh, get paralyzed. That sucks for you. Alright, Thundershock. Let's go. Bop. Ooh, super effective. Let's go. Okay, but you missed because you suck. Probably use a quick attack here just to get rid of it. Bop. There you go. That's what you use quick attack for. I mean, I would have outsped it anyway, but... Yeah, they both got 63. Ekans. Uh, no, we could, we could kill the Ekans ourselves. Another exclusive to Fire Red. I will not be able to get an Ekans without trading. So, another fun fact. Oddish and Ekans. I th now, I'm going to look really dumb in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure those are exclusives for Fire Red. But one if but if I'm wrong, tell me in the comments, I guess. Okay, let's go ahead and um Let's bring in Bring in Pit Oh. Oh. Am I bound? Well that sucks. Okay, well Thundershock it is. Oh. Haha, <laughs> you suck. Get paralyzed. Alright, well I hope hopefully it stays paralyzed. Just do me a favor and stay paralyzed. Aw, oh, come on, really? Leer? Okay, that's fine. Because what's going to end up happening? I'm going to use Quick Attack anyway, so... Alright, I was freed. I'm going to use a Quick Attack and get rid of that, Kins. There we go. Alright, got some fat XP for Pikachu. So you are good. Ooh, that's some money right there, too. 350? Alright, what do we got? A thief! Okay, that's count right away. Clefairy. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking too wishfully here. Um, what about Peck? I don't think. I think it's not gonna be. Oh, that's fine actually. Okay, I could. I could. I could defeat it with Peck. Yeah, I can do that. It, it'll have to take four turns, but not the worst thing on the planet, really. Until we get, like, a better move than Double Kick. Kick will work until then. Yeah, there we go. Got some XP. Okay. Up the stairs we go. Alright, moving on. Alright, another kid we're gonna have to fight here. I think Nidoran is still out. Did you come to explore the cave too? Um... But that's fine, because I can just pull pull him out if I need to. Radita? I think we can beat a Radita. Um, try the double kick. Let's see what we can do. Okay, that lowers my attack. Defense. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right. Super effective against the Radita. You love to see it. It's pretty good. Excuse my sneeze. Level 13, here we go. Another Raditza? Nope, we're gonna go ahead and... Hey, if it's super effective against it, we're just gonna go ahead and keep double kicking. That's fine with me. Ah, you suck. You missed. Alright, come on. Alright, we can one-shot it again. Alright, Nidoran. Pretty good, pretty good. We get some levels on the way too, Zubat. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stay in, and then I'm gonna switch him out so he can still get the XP for it. So let's go ahead and uh, leer. Okay, so defense falls. Okay, he can do leech life, that's fine. He had full HP anyway, not like it matters. Okay, so now that its defense is lowered, let's go ahead and bring in Mankey. Mankey needs some XP too. Oops. Let's go ahead and do that. Use Leech Life. Okay, once again, you're at full HP, so... That's fine. And it's not very effective still. Okay, so go ahead and do... Low Kick won't be effective, right? Yeah. Ah, fighting is not effective. Okay, well then... Oh, this going to be such a long battle. He's just going to keep Leech Lifing. 
We got a little bit of XP for everyone. That's good to see. Losing stinks. I bet it does. Too bad I never lose, so... Joke's on you, kid. Nothing personnel. Alright, um... What is this? Connor right before. But very, nope. Again, too hope too much too much hopeful thinking. Go ahead and switch in War Turtle here just so we can take care of the Zubat pretty quickly. Bop. Okay, try to fight this. Man, honestly, I don't mind the move Leech Life. The only problem is it just takes forever to use. Just a little bit annoying. Alright, water gun. Let's go. Oh, I almost forgot to grab the item. Moonstone? Hey, I know what to use that on. If I ever find a Clefairy. Yo, whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. What did I shock you, dude? I didn't do anything. Alright, Hiker and Marcos. Alright, he's gonna have a bunch of rocks in his inventory. Um. Fighting? Okay, hey, not bad. I could kill it next turn. Alright. Please don't... Oh, defense curl? That's perfect. You can keep defense curling because you're going to be gone next turn anyway, so not like it matters. Okay, perfect. Alright, level up from Nidoran. Love to see it. Another Dio dude. Nidoran's doing fine. We'll keep him in. Oh, I was hoping his level up would take him above where he can one shot, but use another defense crawl. If you use the defense crawl, that would be pretty good. Thank you. That works, because then Nidoran just doesn't take damage, which is good in my book any day here. Onyx? Uh, let's keep Nidoran in. Why not? What's the worst that can happen, right? Alright, double kick. Oh, okay. Um, a little tougher, but we still can two- we still two-shot it, so not like it particularly matters. Okay, that tackle, like, didn't do much anyway, so... Yep, and we have just enough attack to hit it in two, so... Basically, not any better than any of the Geodudes, so... Oh, that's some juicy XP right there. We're level 15. Alright. Defeated Marcos. Wow, shocked again. Alright, let's go down the stairs. Where are we going? What? No, no encounter of that whole room. So we'll just go down here. Here we'll, we'll we'll fight this Team Rocket guy. Again, I could be avoiding a lot of these people, but there's no reason to. I might as well level while I'm here. It's just free leveling. Um, no, let's go ahead and pull out Pikachu. Again, I I really I don't want to over level my War Portal to like a stupid point. So, I'm going to just kind of hand out some XP as we go. That's fine. He'll only take, like, a single life. Oh, five? Oh, because it was... Oh. That was... That's nuts. Ah, uh, you're paralyzed. That, that's karma. All right, let's go ahead and quick attack it, just to make sure it can't get out in front of us, and, and we'll be fine. Okay, good job, Pikachu. Um, okay. Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. It could be bad news. Bro, that's weird, dude. Imagine being an adult and talking to a child that way. That's kind of, dare I say, cringe. Alright, I'm gonna double kick it. Ow. That actually hurt quite a bit, wow. Ooh, but we critted it. Oh, that sucks for that Radita. That that sucks. We just blasted it. 
to the stratosphere. Sand Trope? Um... I think it's a little bit more scary. Let me double kick and see what happens. Okay. That was a critical hit. Okay. Well, that noise is going to be very... No, don't kill me. Okay, that's fine. Who needs some... You know what, I think Mankey needs some XP. I'm, I'm kind of not giving Pidgeys a lot of XP, but... Alright, come on, finish him off. Oh, okay, Defense Girl, that's fine. That is okay with me. Although, I don't know if this will kill it now. No. That's fine. Keep defending yourself. Give Mankey some good XP. Ooh, that's a, that was a lot of XP. Level 11, here we go. Learned Karate Chop. That's a good move to have right now. That's actually a pretty good move to have right now. Alright, 416. We'll take that money. Although, um, let's go ahead and, um... Let's bring Wartortle to the front again. I'll, I'll let, I'll let Wartortle take care of the rest of the map here. Once again, we're still looking for that, um, Clefairy fight. Um, we could probably kill it with Bubble, just because I don't have a lot of PP for the, uh, water gun left. Oh, really? That doesn't kill it? That's slightly annoying. Oh, I should've used Tackle there. I was just mashing. I gotta stop mashing like that. I always forget that I can press Q to run. I don't know why I, I keep forgetting to run. Geodude? Wait, do I? Have I caught a Geodude? Yes, I've caught a Geodude. I'm like, also that the symbol's on it, so that's fine. But for a second, I'm like, I haven't seen a Geodude in a minute. Do I have one of those? But yes, I do indeed have a Geodude. Pressing the wrong buttons. I'm wondering, hey, why aren't I moving? Maybe because I'm not pressing the right buttons, genius. We, Team Rocket, shall find the fossils. Reviving Pokemon from them will earn us huge riches. Alright, bud. You do what you want. I'm just here to collect them all. Oh man, if I still had a Nidoran, that'd be cool. But I do not. Let's go ahead and bite it. Chomp. Alright, hey, a Zubat. That's cool. Send out your Zubat. Go to water gun it. Cool. Oh, even critical. You absolutely love to see it. Here we go. Now he's mad. What is he gonna do? Are we gonna assault the child? Okay. Another Geodude. Level 9 Geodude. Get water gun. Bop. Now it's just a wet rock. Let's keep moving. Ooh, a scientist. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. I, I think I'll take one of them, just for giggles, though. Super Nerd Miguel. Grimer? Okay, we get to see a lot of new Pokemon here. Oh, this is Water Gun it. Bop. Will it kill it? No. Pound. That's cool. I'll just bite you. Although, I, I don't see how biting a bunch of slime will be super effective, but... Voltorb. Nah, we'll keep. We'll keep Wartortle out. I'm pretty sure Bubble will be super effective, so it'll probably kill it. Really? Okay. Defense harsh. Well, that's okay. He won't get a chance to attack anyway. 
That's fine with me. And we'll get to level 24. There we go. We're level 24. Coughing. Another new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. That's pretty cool. Let's use Water Gun on this one, just because I don't feel like dealing with it too much. I really don't feel like dealing with getting poisoned, to be honest. Ah, uh, okay, I'll share. Alright, so we get to take one of them. Well, we'll each take a fossil. No, no being greedy. Do you want to, the Helix fossil? No. Do you want the Dome fossil? Um, I think I want the Dome fossil. Um... Yes. I want the Dome fossil. I know Lord Helix and all that, um... But I like Kabutops a lot better. So I will be taking the Dome Fossil. Better put the Dome Fossil in the key out of his pocket. Alright, then this fossil is mine. Alright, hey. Far away on Cinnabar Island, there's a Pokemon lab. You do research on regenerating fossils. Pretty epic. Maybe one day we'll do some of that. Alright. Give me... no Clefairy. It's alright, if we get to the end of the cave and we do not see a Clefairy, I'm gonna stay here until we get one. I know it's pretty stupid because it's a 1%, but I will be staying here until I get one. Um, so. Okay, antidote. Cool, not like we need it now, but... And we we're on Route 4. Now, there is a new Pokemon we can get here, which I think is Sandshrew. Let me double check. I think it's Sandshrew. Yes, we can get a Sandshrew and a Mankey. But we already have a Mankey, so we really only need the Sandshrew. Alright, well, let's go ahead and talk to these guys. A punch of roaring ferocity. Attack the destructive power. When the chips are down, Mega Punch is the ultimate attack. Do you agree? Yes? Now, let me teach it to your Pokemon. Hmm. You'll be back when you understand the work of Mega Punch. Okay, so these guys are going to teach a move, but I'd rather wait until we get, like, a good fighting Pokemon. You get right, Mega Kick is the ultimate attack. Um, so... Yeah, that's fine. We'll come back when once we have like a really good fighting Pokemon, like uh... I'm thinking the- I could probably teach it to Mankey? But I don't want to set my sights on Mankey being my only fighting Pokemon. I want to give it a, maybe a bit of time. So I won't do it just yet. Found Roar. Okay. So how do we get up here? Okay, so to get up there, we gotta go all the way around. Okay. Let's see if we can find a Sandshrew. Sandshrew! Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, and I, I left without getting a Clefairy. Oops. Okay, well, let's go ahead and tackle it. Oh, I missed? That sucks. Please don't kill it with a tackle. Oh, I don't, he almost critted it! War Turtle! Dude, you gotta be a little careful, dude. I'm trying to catch these things. Let's go to throw Pokeball at it. Well, it's in the red zone, so, you know. I guess I'm happy with that, but that was close. Alright, here we go. Sandshrew. Everyone loves a good, good old Sandshrew. Burrows deep underground in arid locations far from water. It only emerges to hunt for prey. Nope. Cool. I will maybe take out Sandshrew, keep him in my party. Alright, well, that's technically all we needed from here. We already have everything else. Another Sandshrew. Wow, okay. I'm hitting that 25% quite a bit. I'm gonna use Water Gun. And if I wasn't hitting that 20... If I wasn't... Fire Red, I'd be hitting the Ekans instead of the Sandshrew. But to be 100% honest, I actually prefer Sandshrew over Ekans. So I don't mind in the slightest. Here's my question. How do I get back up? 
Oh, actually, wait, I think I'll be able to go up through the town. Yeah, I think I'll be able to go up through the town. Cerulean City. Oh, how do I get up there? Oh, I forgot about this. Yo, Red, you're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong, smart Pokemon. Hey, let me see what you caught. No, I didn't want to fight you yet. I, needed, I didn't even go to the Pokes... Focus health center yet. Oh, okay. 17. Oh, this is gonna be a tough battle. I don't have any PP, dude. I still think we can win. But I wasn't expecting a fight right now. I totally forgot that he challenges us here. That's okay. We can do this. War Turtle is heavily leveled. And we still have some PP left in other things. So. That's fine. He didn't evolve his Bulbasaur yet? What a weirdo. Let's go ahead and bite him. That's what you get for not evolving. Flinched? Oh, that's good. Let's bite him again. Flinched! Whoa! He's nuts! He made him flinch twice. That's what you get for being Bulbasaur. The worst. Oh, that's a little going too far. I was going to say the worst starter of all time, but. No, not really. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. Alright, let's go ahead and bite him. That should be super effective, because it's psychic. So that's fine. Okay. Um, cool. It's trying to learn Rapid Spin. Um, what does Rapid Spin do? Oh, no, I don't want that. That's fine. Yes. No. Um, no. Okay, there we go. Stop learning Rapid Spin? Yes, I don't need Rapid Spin. But Radita... That's fine. Okay. Alright. I was super scared, but apparently I didn't need to be scared in this... Oh, I should have... I, sh I shouldn't have used Bite, because that's not... It's not going to be effective, I don't think. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Alright, well, that was a pretty... Hey, take it easy. You won already. That wasn't as hard of a fight as I thought it would be. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. I added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC, too. Since you're using his system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Smell you later, dude. Oh yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really. You're always plodding behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. Name checker. Chatty a chatty gossip like you? That thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. Alright, this time I really am gone. Smell ya. Okay. So I don't think we're gonna be able to go up without fighting people. Okay. I We'll go back to Mount Moon another time, I guess. I... Didn't realize I'm not going to be able to get back there if I, if I jump, so. Okay. Um, I can't go back to get uh, Clefairy, so we will go back to Mount Moon once I get um, to Beryllion. Uh, yeah, so. Ha, huh, that sucks a little bit. Um, but that's my B. You're making an encyclopedia on Pokemon? Oh, I already talked to him. What about you? If that slow bro wasn't there, you, you could cut down the small tree. That way you could get to the other side. I think there's a way around it, though. Yeah, I think so, too. I want a bright red bicycle. I'll keep it at home so it won't get dirty. Well, what's the point of owning a bicycle, then, bud? Alright, give me a bike. And hey, welcome. We's got just... Uh, okay, yep, no. Nope. Thank you. Um, uh, one million? I could probably grind to that, to be honest, but... Slowbro. Okay, Slowbro, you Sonic Boom. Come on, Slowbro, pay attention. Okay, what other... So we got the gym. You're a trainer, too. Collecting battle is type, isn't it? Alright. Um, we could probably beat Misty pretty easily. Let's go ahead and go to the P PC. Let's go ahead and heal. Alright, let's go ahead and just heal real quick. Bup, bup, bup. 
And I won't... I was thinking of picking up Sandshrew, but I probably won't. Um, not, I don't really need him. That Bill, I heard that he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. He's not above doing all sorts of things I've heard. Interesting. Okay, let's go check out these houses. Sigh, too much, too much little, it's, okay, so nothing of use. Alright, let's go in the Pokemon, let's see what we can buy here. We have a little bit of money now. So, Pokeballs. Yes, I only have four. Let's buy, let's buy six more. Oh, um, no, I don't want any now. How many potions do I have? I have four, so I don't need any. I don't actually need any of this stuff right now. So, we can, we're, we're fine. We'll, we won't spend money that we don't need to be spending. Okay. Let's go up to Bill. What's in here? My husband likes trading Pokemon. You're collecting Pokemon for your Pokemon, aren't you? Would you please trade with them? Uh, depends. What do you want? Hello there. Do you happen to have a Poliwhirl? Um. Okay. Um. If I get a Poliwhirl, I will trade with him. But. Oh. I didn't go inside these houses yet, did I? But actually, let's go into this one first. I collect a variety of medicine from berry powder. Using good berry powder, I can make any medicine. Now tell me, have you ever interested in berries? Yeah. Why must you lie to me? How many berries do you have? Not one. Okay, so I need to get some berries before I come talk to the berry man. That's cool, I guess. Only skilled trainer can collect badges. I see you have at least one. These badges have amazing secrets, did you know? Now then, which of the eight badges should I describe? The attack stat of all your Pokemon increases a little bit. It also lets you use the move Flash outside of battle. Um, okay, so each of them gives me a small power-up. That's pretty cool. Um, before I go up, what was this dude doing here? People here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Okay, so we can't do anything until we probably beat the gym. That's probably what they're looking for here. Anything back here? Nothing. Okay. Then, let's go up and do Bill, and then we'll probably come back for, um, for Cerulean Gym. People call this Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Okay, I'm sure you guys won't be too hard. What's the worst you can do? You're a bug trainer. much to catch but and a kakuna if i'm at it but guys we will well we'll end off the episode on this let's go ahead and get a nidoran ev evolution here now that is exciting it's a good way to end off the episode huh a little evolution here we go congrats your nidoran evolved into a nidorino pretty epic guys i'll see you in the next episode hey guys we're playing pokemon we're on our way to bill and then we'll take cerulean gym um let's get started we've got we defeated the first trainer here i'm second now it's serious we defeated the first trainer last episode and we evolved my nidoran so now we're on the second trainer here and we're probably going to be able to beat it pretty easily so you know what let's go ahead and switch we haven't fought with the nidorino yet so let's go ahead and see um what Nidorino can do here. Much cooler sprite. I like it. Let's go ahead and uh, double kick it. I don't think it's effective. Oh. Won't even kill it. That's sad. That's fine, though. We will... Okay, if this doesn't kill it... Okay, I was like... I know it's not going to be effective, but I, I would hope that it'd kill it right there. Oddish? That's fine. I wouldn't want War Turtle fighting the Oddish anyway. And double kick. Oh, wait, I could have pecked. Yeah, I should have pecked there. Yeah, that was my mistake. Man, starting off the episode on a bad note, I'm making all sorts of mistakes. Alright. 
my evasion is fell. That's fine. Let's go ahead and peck. Yeah. Although, ah, oh, man. Really? You're in the red? That sucks. Alright. Come on, peck it one more time. Bop. Alright, Nidorino gaining some good XP. Bellsprout. And we'll, we'll keep Nidorino out. Just so I can level him up to 17 real quick. I think Bellsprout is a little lower. A little lower HP. I was hoping to one shot it still, but that's fine. This is gonna increase its attack or special attack. Uh, let's go ahead and just double kick it in the head. I don't like Bellsprout. I don't like its design. I've never really liked its design. I think it could have been so much cooler, so. I'm, I'm going to be glad to just kick Bellsprout in the head. Alright. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, I'm going to quickly make my way... Alright, I quickly healed my Pokémon. Let's get back into the battle. Just because I want Nidoran to keep fighting. Um, but he... Got absolutely blasted there, so I'm number four, getting tired. Um, not particularly. Actually, yeah, I'm a little tired. I wish I didn't have to fight five people in a row. Oh, you got a need random of your own? Well, that sucks. Although yours is 16, I don't know why yours is 16. Without it being leveled up. Oh, critical in that second. Oh, what are you gonna do to me, Lear? That's fine, dude. Just gonna peck it. Maybe that'll be a little better. Eh. Oh, we both got a peck. Cool. Oh, and a critical. That's good. I don't. I think it would have had a sliver left if it didn't critical. So that's useful. All right, level 18. Here we go. Poison sting. Yes. Let's go ahead and get rid of. Um... No. 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 Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. That sucks heavily. That sucks heavily. Oh, no. That was a mistake. Okay. Well, we have to live with that. No more peck on Nidoran. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Oh well. Hey, we're gonna get better moves later, so not like it really matters. We're gonna get better things anyway. Okay, let's go ahead and, um, I guess, oh, congrats, you beat our five contestant trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize, received a nugget. Okay, by the way, how would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make an offer you can't ref... Okay. I'm gonna send my Pokemon at you. Ekans. Is that what you got, dude? You're gonna throw a snake at me? Okay. Um, again, I'm so mad that I got rid of Peck. Let's go, let's go ahead and bring a War Turtle. I don't, I must be a hundred. I don't feel like dealing with this guy right now. I'm just going to water gun him and call it a day. I really just don't feel like doing this. Oh, you survived it? You dummy. Alright, we'll just tackle you just for a little bit here. Zubat, that's fine. Water gun, and hopefully it'll kill this one. I think it'll probably have a little less, yeah, a little, a little less HP. So that one should take care of it. Okay. There we go. With your ability, you'd become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. 
Don't let this chance go to waste. Well, I will definitely will. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can get uh, what we need here. Weedle? Okay, we don't need that. Um, this is basically just farm at this point. What? Really? Oh, because it's a bug. And of course, I don't have tech anymore. Ugh. And let's continue with the rest of this route. Abra, okay. Abra will run instantly, so... Let's go ahead and just throw a Pokeball and hope that it catches it. Because he will run right away. Oh, so close. And... It runs away. We're going to have to deal with a lot of that. Alright. Pokeball. Attract. That's pretty cool. Let's check our TM case. Man, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. TM case. What do we got? Roar. Bullet Seed. Um. Mm. Can we teach Rock Tomb to Nidoran? No matter wh which one we go to. We're fine on either one. Pidgey. Alright, Pidgey versus Pidgey. And they're both level 11, so this is, this is a pretty decent training area for Pidgey. Abra and Bellsprout before we continue here. I just, I really want to catch these two before we continue. Let's go ahead and just throw out a Pokeball here. And again, I really hope we catch it because I can't keep wasting Pokeballs on Abra. Oh, no. Yep, and it just goes away right away. Well, we keep we keep looking. Okay, new Pokemon. Level 14. Alright, we probably won't kill it with a gust. Realistically, we won't kill it. Yeah, I didn't think so. We we'll kill it if we accidentally crit. But I'm just hoping we don't crit here. Okay, perfect. Vine whip. Okay. Alright, Pokeball. So now we just need to catch that Abra and we'll be good. I mean, and if I if we encounter a Kakuna, that wouldn't be the worst thing on the planet, but they're usually not very, like, good to catch because it's just a lot of money and you just evolve the Weedle, so... Alright. Bellsprout. A carnivorous Pokemon that traps and eats bugs that appears to use its root feet to replenish moisture. Give nickname? No. Now, Bellsprout might be a good grass Pokemon to raise up, um, but I'm currently not interested in that. Abra, here we go. Alright. Here we go again. Please, just stay in your... This is this is $200 a Pokeball, and I ain't, I ain't flowing with money right now like that, so... Let's go. Alright, our third Abra. Not the worst thing on the planet. Not the worst thing on the planet. I'll take it. Its ability to read minds. It will sense impending danger and teleport to safety. Nope. Okay. And what we'll actually do... Let's... Oh, okay. Let's head back to the box. I actually want to switch out some Pokemon here. Um, I'm going to get rid of Paris. And I'm going to switch in... A couple of people. Alright, never mind. We will not be using the Abra because it can only be done through trading that third evolution, so um, I'm not going to worry about that until the end of the game, because once again, I told, I think in the last episode, anything that deals with trading that I need to do, we will do at the end, so there. So we're basically just going to get rid of the Paris, and we're going to withdraw, we can do Bellsprout or Sandshrew, we can always do Jigglypuff, but we can do Geodude. Maybe Geodude? You know what? Let's just go ahead and do the Bell Sprout. We need a Grass type. I, I don't think it'll be very useful against Misty because I'll probably just plow through it with War Turtle, but it's level 14. It's a pretty high, you know, base, so. Alright, 
Let's go ahead and uh, speed through them here. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna try to do these as fast as possible. Maybe not. The chop. It's like my Pidgey's kind of weak. Let's go ahead and switch out. All right, let's get War Turtle in here, and we could probably just have War Turtle kind of slam through them. Yeah, that's fine. My chop is pretty cool, though. Tackle. Ooh, Pidgey 13. Oh, he learned Pick Attack. Okay, that's not going to help too much, but that's pretty cool. Geodude. Nope. Geodude is a good matchup. I can just water gun him. There we go. Bop. Honestly, I just gotta do this because I need the money. I'm gonna need to buy more Pokeballs. Ooh, 540. That's not bad at all. Alright, one by one. Let's keep them going. Alright, red tough. Oh, man. He's Gust. Ooh, Tail Whip. Critical. Okay, well then that means we'll be able to probably kill it. So that's that's good. Okay, defense fell. That's fine. I mean that my next person might kill me, but that's fine. Getting some juicy XP right there. Spiro. Um, we could probably bring in. Let's bring in Mankey here. Mankey could be fun. Gonna do karate chop leer. Oh, that sucks. A karate chop him in the wing, dude. Sweep the leg. Okay, well we might not be able to kill him now, but yeah. Okay, he just keeps. <laughs> okay, that's fine. All right, karate chop him one more time. There you go. All right. Good amount of experience there. Alright, youngster Joey. My bad. Um. Let's switch out Pidgey. For Mankey here. Because that'll be a rock type. You're going to see Bill? First three battle. Oh, he's only got one? Onyx? Okay. Ooh, but it's a big boy. Mankey's only 11. Um. Okay, this might suck. Especially Mankey can't get out now. But it's super... Okay, we actually have a chance. Six levels down. But Mankey actually has a decent chance of beating him. Which is, like, actually kind of impressive. Alright, Bion. Yeah, just keep using Bion. That's cool. I just need one more one more karate chop. Oh. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we got close there, but... Hey. Level 11 Mankey versus level 17 Onyx? Dude, who would have thought Mankey had it in him? It's actually a... It's actually like a... Pretty proud of Mankey right there. And he got that... Juice, dude. 620? Um... How many potions do we have? Let's go ahead and use a potion on... Mankey. Yeah. Just because I want Mankey to fight him. Youngster Dan, only only one again. All right, Slowpoke versus Mankey. Karate Chop. Oh, that's not very good at all. Okay, we're gonna get Mankey out of here. Let's 
Let's go ahead and bring Nidoran back in. I don't know if the double kick will do anything, but let's go ahead and try to eat double kick. Oh no. That's not very good. Please double, tell me double kick is, oh yeah, because he's dark. Ooh. Oh no, he's psychic. And I'm, oh, that's not good. Um, okay. Switch him out. Um. Bellsprout. Bellsprout is a, a grass Pokemon. We can go ahead and do that. Water gun. Haha. <laughs> Get absolutely pranked. Um, Vine Whip? Yeah, Vine Whip is good. There you go. Tackle, but you missed. Do we kill it here? Good, good. Alright, hey, we get some XP rolling. Mankey's 120, Nidorino, and he's leveled up 19. And Bellsprout. Alright, good. We're not being every other person who plays this game and absolutely shreds their starter. Hey, we're passing some of the XP around. My boyfriend, hi, my boyfriend is cool. Yeah, I bet. My, wait, no. <laughs> okay. Nidoran? Alright, Mankey. You think you can survive a single attack from Nidoran? Okay, that's not very good. Alright, let's definitely get out of here because he will definitely die now from a shot. Yeah, Bellsprout. Alright, Bellsprout's so cool. Let's go ahead and bring him in, see what he can do. Ouch. Okay. Um, uh, Vine Whip. Why not? This actually might not be a good idea. Yeah, that's not very... Okay, bad idea. Um, alright. War Turtle, get in here, dude. We'll bring out... We'll bring out the obvious choice here. Alright, Water Gun. Nidoran. Yeah, we'll keep him in. Water gun again. Oh, really? Didn't kill him? Alright, let's finish it off with a little tackle. Okay. My conditioning isn't the best. Well, your boyfriend's so cool. Alright, we got a few people up ahead of us. Let's see. Let's go ahead and, um. Let's go ahead and put War Total up front. Just so we can get through these two people in a timely manner here. Oh, he's got four? Why do you have four, dude? You're gonna take up so much time, dude. I was supposed to get Cerulean... I was supposed to get Bill and Cerulean Gym done in this episode. There's there's so many trainers here, though. And I gotta go through all the trainers, right? Well, I guess we'll just make this a long episode. Or wait, we might end up doing... These two routes, Bill, and then maybe we'll save Cerulean for next episode. Okay, here we go. Nope, I do not want to change. Um, water gun. One more Pokemon, here we go. Okay. Water gun again. Okay, cool. 
They're defeated. And we got some more shmoney. Alright, I think one more guy to defeat. One more, and then we'll be out. I'm I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. Good to know, bud. Oh man, this this guy has a girlfriend? Flint? Or look at your stance. Man's gotta get a better stance than that. You're looking kinda weird. Especially your Pokemon suck. Ekans? Okay, and Ekans is pretty cool. I'll take it back. He has an Ekans. I don't have an Ekans. Probably because I can't get an Ekans. But Ekans is pretty cool. Bruh. Alright. Get tackled. Oh darn. Can I get this stuff behind you? Epic. Found secret power. That's good. Oh, we do have another battle. We got a little kid running around. Other than this kid, do we have anyone else? Okay, we have a kid and a girl. Okay, two more battles. Two more battles. Um. Okay, let's we can keep fighting with War Turtle for now. I had this feeling, I knew I had to battle you. And the feeling that you want to lose? Are right, only two, that's fine. Okay, water gun. Sand true, we'll keep him in. And water gun again. Okay. I knew I'd lose. Alright, last fight. Let's go. My my friend has many cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Well, you can always catch some yourself, bud. Last Haley. Three Pokemon. Okay. Wadish is not a good matchup against War Turtle here, but not like it really matters to be honest. Absorb. Probably a little better than Leech Life, right? Yeah. Sorry, I can totally just tackle you here. Okay. Cool. We to use another Oddish. Yeah, why don't we switch over to Pidgey? Might be a little underleveled and a little hurt. I think Pidgey can do some cool things out here, though. Let's do a Gust. It should be super effective. Right, as long as we don't die here, we're good. Oh, that's gonna save him out of the. Maybe. No, it's not. Okay. I thought I was going to maybe take him into the green zone, and then that way we can't kill him, but actually, never mind. Pidgey's good. No problem. Okay, level 14. Pretty cool. Pidgey. Okay, let's get, P let's get Pidgey out of Pidgey. Um, let's bring in War Turtle back, just so we can take care of this Pidgey quickly. And we use a water gun. Well, wow. 27. Okay. Okay, let's go inside Bill's house. Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here? Yeah, why not? Wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Okay. 
Red initiated the teleporter cell separator. Hey, what's up, Bill? Where'd the Clefairy go? Can I keep your Clefairy? Okay, maybe not. Yeah, yeah, thanks, but I owe you one. So did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't. That's a bummer. I've got to thank you. Oh, here, maybe. This'll do. Received a ticket to the SS... Yeah. Put the SS ticket in the keep... That, that's cruise ship SS Anne in Vermilion City. I hear there are a lot of traders on board, too. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dues. Why don't you go instead of me? Go on and have a good time. That sounds pretty epic to me. Can I open any of these boxes? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Alright, well, that is Bill's house. Let's go ahead and, um... Can we can fight these guys, right? Hello, are you here alone? If you're out at Cerulean's Cape, well, it should be as a couple. This cape is a famous date spot. Misty, the gym leader, has high hopes about this place. Alright, well, speaking of Misty, it's actually where we're headed next. We're gonna go ahead and... Uh, we're gonna end this episode off here, uh, but I'm gonna go back to town, and I'm gonna go ahead and heal, and first thing we do, um, next episode, we're going straight to the gym, and we're gonna fight Misty. We might be utilizing Bellsprout, we'll see, but I'm also maybe gonna grind, um, some levels for a couple of Pokemon, um, out in the bushes between episodes here, so... Um, but guys, thanks for watching this episode, and I'll see you guys later. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon. Um, today we're gonna go almost straight to the Cerulean Gym, but first there's a couple of um, evolutions that I want to take care of. So if we take a look at my Pokemon, I did grind a little bit um, this episode, so you could see um, Bellsprout is up to 20, so he evolves at 21. Pidgey is up to 17, and he evolves at 18. And then uh, Mankey, Pikachu, and Nidorino all had a couple of level ups along the way. So we'll start off with, let's go ahead and go in our TM bag. Um, I want to grab Bullet Seed. So we're going to go ahead and use Bullet Seed on um, Bellsprout. Partly because I accidentally deleted um, Vine Whip. Same thing I did with Nidorino. Um, so we're going to go ahead and learn Bullet Seed. And forget um, growth, just because we don't really need growth. So, absorb bullet seed. There we go. So now we have a decent grass type attack. Um, secret power. What can we teach Rock, Rock Tomb to? Only Mankey? Okay, well, we won't teach that to Mankey just yet. Um, so let's go ahead and get out of that. Now, question where is that Moonstone? Moonstone. So we can use this Moonstone on somebody. On somebody. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a Nido King. Um, I thought I was going to use a Moonstone on Clefairy, but actually, what am I doing? I want a Nido King. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a Nido King, like, pretty early in the game. Um, but Nido King is definitely, like, one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 1. So this is something, like, you know, I have to get. You know, as soon as possible here. So this is super sick. Alright, we get ourselves a Nido King. Alright, now this is definitely something I'm gonna be using throughout the game. I'm trying to learn Thrash, but can't learn more than four moves. Delete a move? Yes. Also, while I was leveling up uh, Nidorino, I learned Horn Attack, so that's pretty cool. But we're going to go ahead and get rid of Focus Energy, and we're going to learn Thrash. And Thrash, so now all of a sudden, Nido King is a very good Pokemon again. After I accidentally uh, got rid of, um... Something, I forgot what I got rid of already. Low memory. Okay, very cool. So we got our Nido King. Let's go ahead and take a look at him one more time. And then, let's go ahead and get... Um, yeah, that's super sick. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, evolve our Bellsprout and our Pidgey. Get those two evolutions, and then we go straight to Cerulean here. I forgot I have running shoes. Well, I read it to Fainted. Level 21. Alright, and something magical is happening. 
We are evolving our Bellsprout. And I'm really glad I caught the Bellsprout at level 14. So we, we caught it at a pretty decently high level for where we're at. So the evolution over uh, wasn't terribly long. I didn't have to train it for that long. All right, your Bellsprout evolved into Weepin' Bell. Pretty epic. Okay, let's go ahead and move Pidgey up front. Let's go ahead and evolve Pidgey, and then we'll go to Cerulean City. And Pidgey's in the same boat, very close to 18 here, so... Um, the kind of matchups are a little bad here, because the Spiros are kind of hard to take down, but... Level 18. What? Pidgey's evolving? Nutter, dude. Alright, we got ourselves a Pidgeotto. Congrats, your Pidgey evolved into Pidgeotto. Cool. Alright, let's head back to town. That is all the things that I wanted to do uh, before our Cerulean fight. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to incorporate a lot of our Pokemon into the gym. I know, again, most people just kind of stomp their way through with their starter. Um, but I really wanted to make a point of the series to not do that. I, there's 151 Pokemon, man. Like, let's, let's, let's expand our horizons a little bit past Blastoise and Charmander and Charizard, you know? Yo, champ in the making, let me give you some advice. The leader Misty is a pro uses water type Pokemon. You can drain all of their water with grass type Pokemon. You might see, or you might use an electric type Pokemon and zap them. So I can use Pikachu or Bellsprout, but. So actually, let me go ahead and, um. Let me. Why don't we put in Needle King? We just, we just got Thrash and Needle King is an evolution. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what Needle King can do. Splash, I'm first up, let's do it. I think there's only two trainers in this whole building area, so it shouldn't be that hard in the first place, but... Alright, who are you gonna use? Horsey? And of course, we can't get any water Pokemon until we get... Oh, that's a pretty cool sprite. Until we get, um, a rod. Oh, that's a pretty good move. I mean, maybe not, because I didn't kill a level 16 horsey, but... But that's fine, it worked, so... No problem. But he's... Shelter. Another cool Pokemon. Um, which I will not be able to get, I'm pretty sure. I think it's an exclusive to Fire Red. Oh, okay, I am confused. Oh, cool. Even in my confusion, I can still use Thrash. Tackle. That's not going to do much. Can I still use Thrash? Amazing. Thank you, Nido King. You absolute baller, dude. I could also just use Horn Attack, but... This can't be. Only 64? Bro, this man's cheap! Alright. What are you... Uh, what? You? I'm more than good enough for you. Misty won't have to be bothered. <laughs> Alright, bud. Alright, Picnic or Diana? Goldeen? Well, I like mine better. Let's go ahead and uh, double kick it. Double kick it in the fin. Alright, Water Sport. That's fine, I guess. Fire's power is weakened. Well, that's cool to know. Use Horn Attack? That's pretty good. Tail Whip. Cool. Thank you, Goldeen. I appreciate it, bud. There you go. Alright. On to... Misty. Let's see. Hi, you're a new face. Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offense with water-type Pokemon. Alright, let's do this. Leader Misty would like to battle. Sent out Staryu. That's a pretty cool Pokemon you got there, bud. 
I wish I had one of those. Um, I don't know. Is fighting good against psychic? I always forget. Seems like I don't. It's not. It's not super or. Okay. All right. That's cool. I guess. Scorn attack it. Super potion. Oh, I forgot she can do that. Ah, oh, okay. That's fine. Let's do two horn attacks in a row. Yeah, I can't wait until I get a Starmina Staryu. But I think I need to get a pretty decent rod for that. Which makes me a little sad, but that's fine. Uh, you know what? We will switch out Pokemon. Let's go ahead and bring in Weeping Bell. Let's see what our new grass type can do. Now, Bullet Seed probably won't be super strong. Oh, but they're, they're matched in levels, so... Really, this should work pretty well. Ooh. They still hurt a lot for not being super effective, to be honest. Alright, let's hit it with some seeds. Okay, not super, super strong, but... Strong enough to kill it in two... Two... Three turns, maybe, because it didn't hit a third time. It's a pretty... That's a... It's a... Oh, it confused me. It's a strong Starmie. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. One more? It's not gonna kill it though. Yeah. Oh! Before Bullet Seed? You're nuts. Okay, dude, Weeping Bell, an absolute clutch. Oh, that's a lot of XP. Wow, you're too much. Alright, you can have the Cascade badge to show you beat me. And $2,100, dude? Cascade's badge makes Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders you got in trades. There's more. You can now use cut anytime, even out of battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite TM. Um, okay. I don't know what that TM is. Teaches Water Pulse. Oh, that's good. You can use it on Aquatic Pokemon. Okay, I'm gonna keep that for a little while. Yeah, I don't know how when I can get a Starmie, but, um... Mm, we'll see. I just won't teach it right now. That's fine. And did she say up to level 30? Um... Dude, I can't train my War Turtle much more because he's like level 27 or something. So, um. Yeah, I have to be careful here. What is my War Turtle at? 27. Yeah, he can't go much higher. So, I just probably just won't. I'll just end up just not using him for a little while. Which is like the easiest way to do this. Because, you know, they don't want me to get the third evolution before the third gym, you know? Um. Okay, well, he's letting me inside now, so that's cool. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. Okay, that's a move. Those miserable rockets, look what they've done to my house. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. I was going to use it on Mankey or Sandstrew. That cost me a bundle, it did. I feel like you could probably teach him without a TM, but... Hey, stay out. It's not your guard. Hey, I'm innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Alright, we got battles right away. Right after leaving town. Alright. You got two Pokemon. First one is Machop. We'll keep Nero King out for a while. Um, no. Let's use... Let's use Thrash. That's fine. We'll be able to beat it pretty quickly here. Alright, focused up but you're about to die pretty quickly, so. Fair enough. Drowsy. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, switch in Mankey. Let's get Mankey some levels, huh? All right, Drowsy, you're about to get karate chopped, bro. Critical hit. Oh, but it wasn't very effective, was it? Okay. Alright, well, I can't use Karate Chop, but not like I wanted to use it anyway. So let's just go ahead and scratch him. 
Yeah, that'll... Confusion, that's not good. Oh, that's very not good. Um, so I'm gonna switch out. Go to Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto probably needs a couple more levels. Headbutt, ow. Alright, quick attack. Will it kill it? Good. Oh, and it's critical. That helped quite a bit. Pidgeotto gained 186 XP. Very cool. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. Recovered. Oh, I got dig? I better I better get moving by. We got dig for that? That's cool. Alright, I don't want to hop back into town, and I can't go that way, so. Um, down to Vermilion we go. Um, anything over here? No? We could. Can... Alright, let's jump these fences, I guess. Okay, Route 5. Where are we at here? Alright, can we catch anything new on Route 5? We can catch a Meowth! Okay, we will be looking for a Meowth here then. I do want one of those. Meowth, as I say it. Alright, so we're not gonna use it, but I definitely wanna catch it. Let's go ahead and, um. I'm gonna kill it with this. Bring in Pikachu. Yeah, if I, use, if I hit it with Nidoking, King, it's gonna die. Okay, and they're like the same level, so that works too. Maybe I can even paralyze it just to make it that much easier. Ouch. There we go, and it's in the red. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get a little Pokeball out. We only got six of them, we don't have too many. But I could definitely buy more. We actually made a considerable amount of money as of recent because we took a lot of fights. Alright, Meowth. There we go. And... It doesn't look like we're going to catch another Pokemon for a little while. The, the next route does not have anything. The next route doesn't have any new Pokemon. And then it's Vermilion City. A door is around objects. It wanders the streets on a nightly basis to look for drop loose change. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and continue on. Um, there's no, again, there's gonna be no other new Pokemon, so we don't really need to bother looking for any more. Let's try and make sure not to jump off here on accident. I run the daycare service. Would you like to be raised to raise one of your Pokemon? Um. Yes. Oh, okay. Well then, let's go ahead, let's grab a, go ahead and take Mankey for now. Fine, I'll look after your Mankey for a while, come see me in a while. Alright, well then, in the meanwhile, let's go ahead and grab uh, a new sixth Pokemon while we leave Mankey here. Um, what am I feeling here? What, what's like a decent level we can actually maybe use? All these are basically poop. Let's withdraw Geodude. Alright. Alright, let's keep moving. We will come get Mankey later. When he'll have plenty of levels. Okay, so I'm guessing I can't go through here, right? Something will stop me? I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait, there's the road's closed. Okay, so. Can't go through him. Do you have a Nidoran? Want to trade her for my Nidoran? Uh, nope. I actually have both. Because I spent the time to get the... What is it? The 1% Nidoran mail? So... Um, joke's on you. I don't need it. Um, I've even got a Nidoking, so... Definitely don't need one. People often lose things in the darkness of the underground path. So basically telling me to click around because you might find something but all right route six um what's up here oh that's just the guard that was really dumb why can't i just go past that road okay um i'm not gonna actually find any pokemon because like i said there's nothing new um but i will fight these people just to gather some more monies 
Weedles. Um, I'm going to do a Thrash, but I might bring out Pikachu. Oh no, I might bring out Pidgeotto. Okay. Caterpie. Oh, I should have clicked yes. I'm like, my brain is thinking without me. That's why we just keep thrashing him. Needle King can get a little bit more XP. Yes, let's bring in Pidgeotto. Let's get Pidgeotto a couple levels here. What? Did I... Uh, okay. That's fine. Needle King just go through all three of them. Not a big deal. Okay. Maybe... Let's go ahead and, um... Maybe... Let's bring Pidgeotto up front. Is this gonna be a dual battle here? Excuse me, it's a private conversation. Oh, maybe it's... They didn't have dual battles in the remakes, so... I think it might have been later in, like, Gold and Soul Silver that they introduced it, maybe? Okay, Gust. Hyper Fang? Ooh. That's gonna hurt. Quick attack. Man, these trainers are getting a little better. Alright, good job, Pidgeotto. I'd use Pikachu. Okay, let's switch out because Pikachu's not a not what we want. Alright, Weeping Bell. Let's see what Weeping Bell can do here. What are, I keep pressing Q on accident. I'm a dummy. Double team. Okay, that's a good thing. It doesn't kill me. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Um, let's bring out Geodude for just a hot minute, just to get him some XP. I hope he just doesn't get slaughtered. Oh no, he has high. Yep, he has high defense. That's fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and um, go and bring War Turtle. Let's just end this right here. Use Tail Whip. That's okay. All right, water gun. And why isn't he using thunder moves? Those would hurt a lot. Okay, cool. You get a little bit of XP to everyone. Pidgeotto, War Turtle, and Geodude. Now right, what about you, bud? Who's there? Quit listening on us. I don't know, man. It's kind of fun. Just one? You just gotta. Oh, your Squirtle's level 20. Why don't you evolve it, you weirdo? Alright, let's gust it. Oh, am I dead? Alright, all right, let's... Um... Weeping Bell it is. Let's get Weeping Bell in here. Let's get some Bullet Seed going. Withdraw? Okay. I was like, where are you going? <laughs> There's nowhere you can go. Pull a seat. Alright. It's not, not doing a crazy amount of damage, but... Ooh. Okay. Killed him in three. That's pretty good. Alright, Pidgeotto and Weeping Bell. We're to level 22. Camper Ricky. All right, what do we got? One more? Oh, we got, all right, we got three more fights. All right, um. Who do we bring out? Switch War Turtle back in. Um. Yeah, that's fine, because we'll, hopefully we'll be, uh. I can't hit another gym until after SSN, right? You know what? No, let's. I take that back. Let's go ahead and put Needle King in. Yeah, because Needle King's only 23. He still has some leveling to go before hitting. And again, I'm pretty sure I'll I'll get rid of that 30 cap in a minute here by going to the next gym. But I just don't want to get myself in a position where I can't use War Turtle. Butterfree. It's actually pretty cool that he has one at level 20. Ooh. Supersonic, but he missed. 
All right, thrash him, Needle King. Cool. It's a good bit of XP too. Cool. All right, Bud Catcher. My bad. Let's fight these two. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. How many? Please tell me you have like one. Oh, you have three. Oh, why do you have so many? Alright, let's go ahead and just keep using Thrash. Thrash seems to work pretty well. Seems to kill them all in one turn. Where's my phone at? While I'm doing this, I surely should, like... Um... Check if anyone in real life needs me. Um, doesn't look anyone needs me as of this moment. I think there's, like, a couple of replies I need to message back, but that's fine. Oh, I'm confused. So confused. There we go. Not bad, Needle King, not bad. Alright, one more battle before huh, you wanna talk to me? One more battle before we go ahead and do go go to Vermilion. Or Vermilion? We might not be a Vermilion yet. I always forget the names of the towns. Go ahead and use Thrash. Only two, so this should be able to get us there. Okay, is, wait, what did you say? Ra is that Eradicate or... Oh, Eradicate. Okay, I still won't save you, but that's pretty cool. Oh, level 25. Alright, Jeff. It's, this stinks. I couldn't beat your challenge. Sorry, Jeff. Vermilion. This is Vermilion. Okay. Very cool. I'm putting up a building on this plot of land. I own it all. My Pokemon is stomping the land to lay foundation. Okay, so we got our Mart here. We got a thing there. We're careful about pollution here. We've heard Grimer multiplies in Toxic Sludge. Did you see the SSN more in the harbor? Yes, that will be where we go next, I think. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without it. Tell me, do you like to fish? I do. Grand, grand I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. Received old rod. Okay. Fishing is a way of life. It's like the finest poetry from the seas to rivers. Go out and, and land the big one, my friend. Will do. Um, probably next episode here, we'll probably try to catch some of these cool Pokemon. I know we'll definitely, uh, first thing we gotta get is probably a Magikarp. I think that's basically all we can get for a while, I think, is the Magikarp. I don't know if we can get any other ones. Once we get the good rod, we can start getting Krabbies and Horsies and stuff like that, but... Um, okay. So we can go down, so we can... Okay, what are all these buildings? Let's go to this one. Hi, do you have a Spearow? Wanna trade it for my Farfetch'd? I do, actually. Let me go grab my Spearow. All right, let's trade. Hi, do you have a Spearow? Wanna trade it for my Farfetch'd? Yes. Go ahead, take my level five Spearow. Spiro will be sent to whatever her name was. I wasn't fast enough. Bing bong. And this shows how you trade Pokemon. And we get a far fetched. Alyssa. Chiding? That's his name, Chiding. Take good care of Chiding. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, what level is Chiding? Level 5? What do you got in your hand there, bud? Received stick. Um, you could probably have your stick back, to be honest. 
I don't know what this stick does. Oh, yeah, okay. The ting was given the stick. Yeah, yeah, let's give it back the stick because it's an item only for Farfetch'd. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the Pokemart. Let's buy some things. Hi there, may I help you buy? Um, let's go ahead and buy... 10? Yeah, let's go ahead and buy 10 of those. We'll go ahead and buy two Super Potions. Um... Go ahead and buy five more antidotes, a couple of paralyzed heals. Um, I want more than one. Let's go ahead and buy four. I don't need awakening ice heal. Let's buy a few repels. Although I'm not gonna use them, I'm gonna let's just buy them. Let's buy one ice heal. Okay, and I think we'll be fine with that. Is there anything else? Um, no, I'm good. Okay, so we got a little bit more to explore. What is this? Did we already... I'm like... Okay, no, we haven't gone in here. I'm getting my Pidgey to fly a letter to Saffron in the north. Okay. I want to exchange mail with all sorts of people. I send my Pidgey to a union room to exchange mail. Alright, guys. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and check out this building and wait i can probably cut this we'll go ahead and check out everything in the next episode guys if you enjoyed make sure to like and comment subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys later god bless and goodbye hey what's up guys we're playing pokemon we just got to vermilion here um so let's check it out um what is this building we checked out every building but this one won't you admire my pikachu's adorable tail no i'm good i have my own our chairman is very vocal about Pokemon. I, I chair the Pokemon fan club. I raised more than a hundred Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. Did you come to hear about... Yeah, sure. Then listen up. My favorite is Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Ah, yes. It's stunning, kind, lovely. Hug it. When sleeping warm and cuddly... That thing has fire shooting out of it, dude. Um, thank you... Received a bike voucher. Hey, take the bike to the bike shop. Don't worry, my favorite Firo will fly me anywhere I need to go, so I have no need for a bicycle. Hey, um, we take those? I'm actually tempted to go right now, so um, we can't get to the gym unless we have cut. So, question. Am I able to run back to Cerulean right now? Go. Oh, that's a bike voucher. Okay, here you go. Oh, thank you, man. From a million to zero. The bicycle and the kit. Yeah, thank you. Come back again sometime. Okay, now how do I use the bicycle? That's a real question. Do I have to go to the bag? Um. Okay, so I, I registered to something. Okay, so I I made it my my three. Okay, cool. So whenever I want to use the bike, I just use I press the number three on my keyboard. Now, question: Do I have to? Oh, I'm gonna have to use it every single time. Okay. Oh no! No, why'd you jump over that? All right, let's get back to Vermilion. Okay, so we have a route over here. Oh, I need to go around. Bought the bike. What route is this? Route 11. So this is route 11, and we could also go in that hole. So let's go ahead and... What can we get at route 11? Okay, the only new Pokemon we can get here is Drowsy. So let's go ahead and catch a Drowsy. And then we'll actually come back to fight these trainers later. For now, I just want that drowsy. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, actually, we need another Spiro. Um, we need another one of these to evolve. And I killed it. Oops. Well, there's a lot of Spiro in these bushes, so we'll just grab another one. There we go, another Spiro. 
Oh, this one's level 13. I don't want a level 13 spear. I want a level 15. Alright. What will let's see how much poison sting does. Okay. Okay, so on the next spear we'll get, we'll just use poison sting, because that one will kill it a little less quickly. Alright. Also, I'm still looking for that drowsy, so oh, there's the drowsy. Alright, level 15, perfect. Go ahead and use it with a poison sting. Okay, and it was poison, so it'll slowly take damage. All right, it's in the yellow. We could, we're probably good on throwing a pokeball here, and we have 15 of them, so, and we still have a good amount of money. We're not like in the beginning of the game. The beginning of the game, I was having a lot of trouble buying pokeballs, um, but we have a decent amount of cash nowadays, so. Pokeballs aren't too big of an issue. And there's Drowsy. Number 96 puts enemies to sleep, then eats their dreams. Occasionally gets sick from eating only bad dreams. Pretty epic, Drowsy. Pretty epic. Alright, on our way out, let's go ahead and grab another Spearow, please. Give me a, another Drowsy. This one's only level 11. Oh, did it get poisoned? Oh, but I hope it doesn't die. Maybe if it goes into the red, that'd be kind of cool, but... Okay, four. Alright, don't die, please. There we go, right right into the red, right where we need it. Look at that. Alright, let's get ourselves the Spearow, because we traded our other one for a Farfetch'd. So, we're gonna, we're gonna need another one of these. Cool. Caught a Spearow. Give nickname? Nah, I'm good. All right, let's get back. Let's get back to our mission here more often. But not even a nibble. Let's try maybe over by the ocean. Um, bag, old rod. Let's try over by the ocean. You've, it's got a nibble here, right? Unless it doesn't like nib. Oh, unless it doesn't like nibbling at towns. But magic carp. Okay. Honestly, with Magikarp, I'm not going to even bother. I'm just going to chuck a Pokeball at it, and I'm sure it'll be fine. Alright. Easy catch. And then, inside of the Diglett's Cave, we can actually find Duck. In the distant past, it was somewhat stronger than the horribly weak Descendant that exists today. Um... We can actually find Diglett and Duggeo. We don't even have to do the evolution line, so I'm gonna go ahead and look for both and just catch both. And I'm very curious to where does this take me again? Well, isn't this a surprise? Diglett dug this long tunnel. It goes right to Viridian City. They tell me. Okay, that's good because then I could go back to Mount Moon. All right, so then you know what? Let's go ahead and um. Okay, Diglett, Duggeo, head over to Viridian, grab the Mount Moon, get the Clefairy, and then come back. I think that sounds like a plan to me. Go ahead and poison, sting. I don't want to kill it. Okay. Magnitude 6. That'll probably hurt a lot. Maybe not. Oh, it is super effective, but it just sucks. Magnitude 7. A little bit of higher of a magnitude. Okay. Let's go ahead and chuck a Pokeball at it and hopefully I don't have to go and get it into the red, but. Okay. There we go. Cave Pokemon lives about one yard underground where it feeds on plant roots. It sometimes appears above ground. Cool. Alright, give me give me your older brother who has or your older brothers who has Can I bring a bike in here? Who has a 5% chance of spawning, please. Okay. Okay, that is the exit. Alright, well then, let's go ahead and, um, 
Go back in until I find that Doug Drio. I need that Doug Drio. Whoa! Okay! Yo! Here's the Doug Drio! Holy crap! That only took way too many battles, like, for a 5%? That took way too many battles for a 5%, like, way, way too many. Um, now I'm kind of scared looking for the Clefairy, because that's a 1%. Alright, well, either way, let's go ahead and try to catch this Dugdrio. So we just never have to deal with it again, and that'll be super wonderful. Let's go ahead and put it to sleep. Oh, went into the ground. Don't do that. Don't go into the ground. Don't kill me. It killed me. Okay. Let's go and pull up the Pikachu just so we can paralyze it. Thunderwave. Here we go. Oh. I just need to paralyze it. Doesn't... And I'm dead? Bruh. See, yeah, look. Mewtwo King's 27, War Turtle 27, Pidgeotto's 26. Like, I can't go much higher on a lot of these Pokemon before I hit that 30 limit, so... Alright, let's just chuck a Pokeball on. Just please. Doug Geo, you are now very close to being one of my least favorite Pokemon. Just for the simple fact of how stupidly hard you are to get. Which, it's a 5%. It really shouldn't be that hard, but it is. And is dumb. And the Fury Swipes takes forever. Alright, let's throw a couple more. And if it doesn't catch in like 2 or 3, I'll go ahead and try to get it down to the red. Alright, we're good. Doug Geo. Let's go. Cross off the bucket list. We don't have to deal with it. A team of Diglett triplets. It triggers a huge it triggers huge earthquakes by burrowing 60 miles underground. No, I do not want to give you guys nicknames. You guys will never leave my box. Ever. You will never leave my box. Okay, let's keep moving on here. Because this is technically a new area around these parts right here. I don't have cut, so I can't get past that. Is there a girl in here that... Oh, actually, I don't have cut. Which is, okay, still... Okay, well, I don't have cut. I'm looking for a Pokemon Abra. Want to trade it for a Mr. Mime? Um, yes, I do, actually. But I don't have it on me, and I don't have cut. So I will be right back. Um, here. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. We're gonna go ahead and grab Abra, but we're not gonna head over there yet because we gotta head over there anyway to come back for the Clefairy. So I'm gonna grab Abra right now, and then once we head back there, we'll go ahead and grab that Mr. Mine. Um, but for now, let's just go ahead and grab it. There's our Abra. Okay. And then we'll also grab another Abra on the way back. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Alright, we're all healed. I think we are all good to go to go to the SSN because I can't get cut yet. And that kind of stops me from doing a lot of things. So let's go ahead and move on to here. The SSN is a famous luxury cruise ship. It visits Vermilion once a year. Welcome to the SSN. Thank you. Do you have a ticket? Um, I do. Great, welcome to the SSN. Alright, and we have to get everything while we're here because we can't come back. Passengers are restless from this long voyage. You might be challenged by the more bored ones. Okay. Okay, what Pokemon do we have out right now? Weeping Bell? Okay, Weeping Bell is a good one to level up right now. Well, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, unless... 
Um, uh, no, that's fine. Bonjour, I'm the writer. I will be happy to serve you anything you please. Uh, let's strong silent type. Okay. Are these all doors? Those are all doors. Okay. Waiter, I would like a cherry pie, please. Um, nah. Wait, I want. I wanted to check that plant real quick. Okay. <laughs> Confirmed. Nothing in the plant. We should probably go door. So let's try door number one first. Okay, door number one first. I am but a solitary traveler. My sole companions and friends are the Pokemon I caught on my journeys. Okay, bud. Gentleman Thomas. Growlithe. Oh, that's one that I am not going to be able to get in Leaf Green. Oh, that's also a really bad um, matchup. So, we're going to go ahead and bring out War Turtle here. Yes, come back. War Turtle. Ember. Ouch. Please, Water Gun. That should take care of it pretty easily. Super effective. Alright, Thomas. Ooh, 1,200? Um, a question. Is the Pidgeot still burned? Or the Weeping Bell still burned? I have a burn heal. I don't have a burn heal, man. Well, I guess Weeping Bell just dies then. Let's go ahead and switch in Pidgeotto up front. I guess you just die now. Would you like to take a short rest? We can heal here. Okay, I didn't realize we could heal here. Okay, cool. So I think it's gonna be another battle. You insolent pup, how dare you barge in? Bro, I can do whatever I want. Two Pokemon? Alright, what do you got? Nidoran? Male, not evolved. Use a quick attack. There we go. Attack. All right, another quick attack. Just take care of it. No, I'll keep Pidgeotto in. Quick attack. Oh, this one's a little stronger. Defense is gonna go down. Probably use. Let's just use tackle. Tackle might be slightly stronger. Not quicker, but strong. Oh, also a critical hit, so that's cool. Alright, Arthur. No sense of courtesy. I have a lot of courtesy. Alright, we've already been in the fourth door. I'll, I'll just double check. Yes. This is the girl that wants her cherry pie. Fifth door. Wiggly tough. I don't have one of those. World crew so elegant yet cozy. A kid. I always travel with Wiggly tough and never leave home without it. It. Okay. Is this fight? This is three fights. Okay. I love Pokemon. Do you? Uh... All right. One. That's good. I don't want to fight too many of you guys. Level 21, though. That's pretty high. Go ahead and just tackle it. Alright. We can kill it in two. That's all that matters to me. Oh, are you kidding me, dude? Alright, well, we can pull out a quick attack. Just to make sure it doesn't even get a chance. Now I'm poisoned. That's pretty annoying. Alright, Tyler. He thinks I'm great. We're cruising around the world. Alright, we got two fights, not three. Okay. I collect these Pokemon from all over the world. Well, if you go all over the world, do you have anything that's not in the Kanto region? I don't think so. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, tackle it. My bird is bigger than your bird. Therefore, my bird is better. 
Ouch. You done quick attacked me. Nidoran. Let's go ahead and switch out to Needle King. Let's give Needle King a little a little action here, huh? Horn attack? That'll work. I want her to use Thrash, but. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh no, I went around the world for these. Well, <laughs> this sucks for you. They, they're terrible. Found TM3 or Brick Break. Okay, we could probably teach Brick Break to a Machop or something. Eventually. I'm a global police and I'm on the trial team rocket. They're up to no good. Let's go back to the healing lady. I need my I need my stuff healed because one of them's burned or something or poison. Oh yeah, poison, not burned. Okay, what do we got around this corner? Okay, so that goes down. That goes up. This goes to the chefs. Oh, a great ball. That's good. We'll have to use that on something special. I am indeed Le Chef. The main course is salmon. Okay. Sniff, sniff. I only get to peel onions. <laughs> that actually is kind of... That's a... Ooh, I found Chestleberry. Cool. That's a pretty funny dialogue, actually. A cherry berry? There's nothing. Okay, what about this one? Petcha berry. Pretty cool. Alright, I guess let's go upstairs first. This ship is a luxury liner for trainers at every port. Okay, I don't really care. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of doors. We, oh! Okay. Bonjour! Imagine seeing you here. Right? Were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawling around a grassy areas and look hard for them. I don't know how many I've caught, but probably around 40, to be honest. Alright, what do you got? I'm guessing you don't have his Raticate, huh? No. Where's your Raticate at, Blue? Did I accidentally kill it? Oops. Quick attack. Alright, well, my tackle's gonna be a little stronger than that. Oh, and a crit. Look at that. Alright, level 27 making our wing attack delete yes I do actually let's go ahead and remove um sand attack we don't need sand attack these status moves are you know they're just they're not very useful in the actual game to be honest eradicate wait oh <laughs> now I look dumb he still has his eradicate this is where we kill it so he still has it. Now when I kill it, it'll never come back. So. Sorry, Raticate. I actually, like, somewhat feel bad for this, but... It's gotta be done. Alright, well, we'll never see that Raticate ever again. Kadabra? That's a pretty cool Pokemon. That is actually pretty sick. Um, sadly, I'm gonna trade mine away, so... But this isn't a hard battle. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm using just Pidgeotto for the battle. I could probably use someone... Ivysaur? Well, okay, let's switch Pokemon. Let's, um... You know what? Let's get Needle King up in this mix. I feel like I've been neglecting Needle King lately. I got him up to 27. I just didn't want to use him anymore. Alright, let's go ahead and just thrash this Ivysaur. It won't kill it, but it'll become close. Find what... Alright, thrash again. Critical. It's even just more salt in the wound. 28. Player defeated rival blue. Hmm. At least you're raising your Pokemon. I heard there was a cut master on board. 
but he was just a seasick old man. Cut itself is really useful. Yep, it'll be handy. You should go see him too. Smell ya. Yep, that's probably where I'm headed. I don't... Um... So that's more up. This is... M okay, well, I guess let's go door by door, right? Is this you? I've journeyed, from, but all, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. Something like that. Okay, that's a Snorlax. Everyone loves Snorlax. Okay, let's go ahead and do these two battles. And then we'll probably end up ending the episode here. And we'll finish the rest of the SSN next episode. Goldeen. He's a gust. I don't know if that's effective. I keep forgetting. Good match. I feel young again. Okay, guys. What is this item? Stardust. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. Next episode, we will finish the rest of the SSN. We will grab Cut. We will finish the gym. We will go back to get Mr. Mime and Clefairy and catch another Abra next episode. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, we're Pokemon. Let's go ahead and finish up the SSN and then we can get on probably with the gym. And there's a few other things that I need to do along the way. Um, but let's go ahead and, um, um, fairy people cost water. Um, small trees can be chopped down using move cut. Remember this cut is an HM technique. Once learned, it is not easily gone. I totally forgot which doors we went in last time, but I'm pretty sure we haven't gone in any of these doors just yet, so... Yeah, partly because we have to fight them. Which do you find more worthy, a strong or a rare Pokemon? Well, why not both? Alright, he's got two. I'm guessing one's gonna be strong, one's gonna be rare? Let's take a look. I'd consider Growlithe pretty rare. Sorta. I mean, I can't get in this game considering it's a version exclusive, but... He's also probably gonna, like, smash me. Leer? Okay, that's fine. You can lower my defense, it's not a big problem. Let's do... Wing attack. How much will that do? Okay, about the same as Gust. Ooh, hey! We get we get some more X, XP and he just brought in someone that's actually good? Ooh, oh, but I'm paralyzed, I forgot about that. I need to unparalyze War Turtle. Okay. Eh, and War Turtle is now 28. Cool. Okay. Um, Ponyta. Yeah, let's go ahead and change this because he's paralyzed. I oh, can bring in, go ahead and bring in Needle King for um, just a little while. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And that is a Pokemon that we haven't seen just yet, so that's another new one. Okay. Um, yeah. Not much of a problem there. I must salute you. And we got hella money. Right away. I don't believe I saw you at the party. I probably didn't. No, not much of a party here. Alright, last dawn. What do you got? Radita? Alright, that'll be pretty easy to take down for Pidgeot. Actually, maybe not. Let's do a wing attack. Okay. Good. Good. I like, you love to see it. Pikachu. Let's go ahead and bring out War Turtle. Let's see what War Turtle can do. Hmm. Can use Water Gun. Tail Whip? Okay, it's not the most, it's not the worst thing on the planet. I don't want to affect this too much. Alright. Oh, really? Alright, let's... Let's go ahead and bring in... Let's, let's bring in Pikachu just so we can get a little bit of experience rolling here. Okay. And Quick Attack. Just to get some experience going. Oh, Pikachu is paralyzed. That's alright, I can, I can go heal in a little bit. Alright, we defeated Dawn. 
take it easy. Oh, she gave me like no money. Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna need to come back and because that Pokeball is currently stuck. Found X attack. Okay, that is not particularly useful. How many door? How many doors we got? We got two more doors. Are these both fights? You, my daddy, think the Safari Zone is awesome. I wish we could go there again. Have you gone to the Safari Zone in Fuchsia? No, but I'm actually pretty excited for it because I do know there are some pretty rare Pokemon there that I want. Oh. Okay, the captain said he's awfully sick. He's all pale. I hear many people got get seasick. Okay, so we got the two stairways to go up, but real quick, before we do any of that, I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Just because I don't feel like doing all this. With two paralyzed Pokemon. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a rest. Okay. And let's go ahead and move up. Oh, I can go this way too? Oh yeah, we're already here. What am I doing? Alright, let's go up the stairs. I guess we can go up this one first. Our captain is a sword master. They say he even teaches cut to Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Oh, I feel ill. I get seasick, so I stepped out. Oh, scrubbing decks is hard work. Ahoy there, are you seasick? I don't know we'd have a battle here. Alright. Sailor Trevor. Sorry, I got a text. Alright, Machop. Okay, um, probably do a gust here. Okay. Um, yes, I'm like totally being super engaging in the video right now. Tentacle? Yeah, let's go ahead and, um, bring in Weeping Bell. Should be a good matchup for Tentacle. Because they're both poison and. Grass is good against water, so we can go go do a bullet seed. Bop. Oh, that is not very effective at all. Okay. Do two times. Okay, constrict. That's not good. Can I switch out? Um, what about you, kid? Party's over. The ship will be departing soon. Hey, matey. Oh, let's do a little jig. Okay. Two fights on board. Alright, what do you got, bud? Two. Oh, same thing. He's got a Machop. Doing attack. Super effective. I love to see it. Shelter? Nah, we'll just we'll keep Pidgeotto out for now. We attack. Supersonic, but you miss because you're garbage. Another wing attack. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, I think that's everything we have up here. Okay. Then we can go ahead and go up this one and see where this takes us. Is this the... Captain. Oh, I feel hideous. Ugh, oh, seasick. Red rub the captain's back. Whew, thank you. I'm feeling much better. You want to see my hidden cut technique? I could show you my prize cut technique if I weren't so ill. I know, you can have this. The hidden machine. Teach cut to your Pokemon and you can see a cut anytime. Using cut, you can chop down small trees. Why not try it with the trees on Vermilion City? Okay. We'll set sail soon. Farewell until our return to Vermilion City. Okay. Cool, so I guess he just... He just gives us cut. Well, we got one more place to see. And then I'm also going to quickly Google everything 
about this boat just to make sure I don't miss anything on my way out. I know we have a staircase down here that we also need to go down. Okay, we got some more doors to open. Let's go. My buddy Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to move big rocks. Found super potion. Okay, I literally just stole this kid's super potion. With, like, absolutely no shame. Found hyper potion. That's a good item. Oh, two fights. Okay. Come on, then. My sailor's pride is at stake. Alright, bud. There's gonna have just another Machop. Horsey. Alright, wing attack. Aw, oh, come on, man. So close. Alright, let's use quick attack. Shelter. Yeah, let's go ahead and change Pokemon. Bring in Needle King again. Let's go ahead and use Thrash. There we go. Alright, and he's about to use Pentacool. We'll go ahead and stay with uh, Needle King for now. Use Thrash. Yep, pretty easy. I gotta watch out though. Neat. Well, actually, we're gonna go to the gym right after this, so. I just wanna make sure they don't go above 30. Okay, another fight. You know what they say about sailors and battling. No? I mean, not particularly, bud, but. One Pokemon. Shelter. It's gonna be. Is it. Why don't you at least, like, bring out a cloister? Like, come on, man. You got a single shelter? Alright, let's go ahead and attack it. Ooh, withdraw. Fence rose. Okay, that's fine. Let's do a gust. Okay, that's worse. Okay. Noted. Okay. How many? One, two, three. Okay, we got three more to go through. Battle right away. Feel feisty. I, I like feisty kids like you. And well, these people have some weird interactions with kids, man. All right, let's go and do wing attack. I'll probably switch out Pidgeotto out of the first slot just because he's getting very close to 30. Horsey. Yeah, let's go ahead and change it up. I'm gonna bring in Weeping Bell back in. I, I know Weeping Bell is kind of slow because Bullet Seed is just not a very good move right now, but let's try it. Let's try Acid. Oh, actually, not bad at all. Smoke Screen. Okay, accuracy fell. Do another Acid. Yeah, Acid did not work that terribly, actually. Nice. Okay, about to use horsey. No, we'll keep keep Weeping Bell out for a little long, a little while longer. Another acid. This man's just training up a bunch of horsies. There's smoke screen, which that's fine, but I don't think acid can miss. Never mind. Acid can miss. I literally just ate my words two seconds later. Oh, there's a cheese stick right there. I kind of want to eat it. All right, we defeated Sailor Dylan. All right, give me whatever item you got there, bud. So you're careless about the fight. Give me this item. Found one ether. Okay. Get some PP rolling if we've run out. Okay, another fight. Even us sailors have Pokemon too. I bet you do, bud. I bet you do. Um. Okay. What do you got? Tentacle? Real quick, I'm just gonna pull up 
a little checklist to make sure. Not bad. And you sailors don't have a lot of money. Found a TM. Rest. Okay. That could be pretty good, I think, right? You would think. Ah, uh, two more battles. Okay. Okay, I think that is everything. I I checked and it looks like we got we got all the items. So we did this, grabbed that, we, we did all the things upstairs. So I think we're all good to go. We are all set. Goodbye. And if I missed anything, you guys can make fun of me in the comments. With the SS gone, I was about to make a joke. The SS and is SS gone, but I totally just like wonderful. Alrighty, we gotta wait for the ship to pass by because of course it is unsafe. Hope you had a good trip. Thank you. Oh, totally thought he was gonna say something to me there. Okay, so we've got a couple of things to do. First of all, TM case, open. Cut, use. I think we can probably teach it to Needle King. Um, already has notes for moves just because, um, Poison Sting. Yeah, we could probably get rid of Poison Sting here. So here's the thing, I'm gonna need Cut throughout the entire game, and I'm going to be keeping Needle King throughout the entire game. Might as well give him Cut. I know a lot of people have like an HM Slave, but in this case, I'm really gonna try to incorporate my HMs in a Pokemon that I already want to use. So, I think that's good. I don't think I have to... I don't have to... Rock Tomb? Needle King is able to turn Rock Tomb? We're not going to teach these moves just yet. Just because we don't really particularly need to. As of this moment. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon, and then we've actually got something to do. I have a notepad up from last night. So, all the episodes, or most of the episodes up until now, have been over two days. Well, this is the first episode on my third day of playing. I have a little notepad here, so, um, I got cut. We hope to see you again. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do is, we're gonna come back, but we're gonna go... Back to Mount Moon, grab Clefairy, I gotta grab another Abra, I, and I have to trade. Do I, have, do I have an Abra with me? I do have my Abra with me. What item do you have? Let me take your item. Okay, we have made it out of the cave, if I can aim it right. So we come up over here, first thing we gotta do is go to this house. And we will go ahead and perform a little trade here. Oh, uh, wrong dude. I need to go to you. Looking for Pokemon and Abra. Trade one for Mr. Mime? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, take him. And I, I kept the Twisted Spoon because it's my Twisted Spoon. Okay. And do a little trade. And we get Mr. Mime. Maybe I should keep Mr. Mime in my party throughout the entire game. Maybe that's something we should do. So Mr. Pa Miss Mimey? Mr. Mime is pretty sick. Alright. Ourselves. Hey, thanks. Okay, no problem. I mean, you gave me the better Pokemon, so okay, bud. Okay, so where does this go? This tree looking to be cut. Would you like to use cut? Yeah, Needle King used cut. Go Needle King. What is down here? Does this take me. Once a Pokemon learns Flash, you can get through Rock Tunnel. Okay. Where does this take us? Oh, we can get this Pokeball. Found Ether. Ether in items pocket. Ooh, more items. On a Paralysis Heal. Okay, so. I think that is everything. Let's go ahead and head back up. And now we gotta head through cave, trade with Abra. Um, I guess we can go check out the museum. Um, I don't 
know. I don't think we can do anything with the fossil yet. But might as well check it out, because I don't I don't particularly remember to be completely honest. Let's go ahead and let's store Pikachu away, that's kinda sad. Let's store Mr. Mime away. Um, oh, I did not want to do that. Well, I guess he yeah, actually, that's good. Okay, so we gotta choose two Pokemon here. Um Who do we want to evolve? We gotta work on evolving a couple of them anyway. Okay, let, let's go ahead and grab Spiro. And then... When does Sandshrew evolve? Evolution level... 22! Okay, let's go ahead and grab... Um, Spiro and uh, Sandshrew. Oh, look at that. Let me cut. Yes, I would like to cut that. You can talk to this dude. Can I get my fossil Pokemon, bud? Listen, I need to share a secret with someone. I think that this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be a shattering scientific breakthrough if Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore what I have to say, so I have a favor to ask. I want you to get this examined at a Pokemon lab somewhere. Okay, you just take it to a scientist, bruh. Okay, that's fine. I'll just take it to a scientist. <laughs> we have two fossils of rare prehistoric Pokemon on exhibit. Secrets of space, mysteries of Earth, there's so many things about which we know little. If that should spur us to study, the only thing... Uh, how about Seismic Tosh? I teach it to a Pokemon. Only once. Yes, Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss any good? Maybe I'll teach it later. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back. I don't, I don't, I don't want to rush into that right now. What about you? What are you going to say to me? You can't sneak in the back and let's try, kid, but no. Do you know what Amber is? He's a general lab interpol that's a lab somewhere from Amber. Okay, so they literally said, hey, there's a lab somewhere. Um, we just like don't really care. Can you just like find out where it is and just like take it to them? Thank you. Okay, bud. Alright, anyway. Let's go ahead. So I gotta remember Spiro at 20, Sancho at 22. Let's go ahead and our main task is of course to catch a Clefairy. But our secondary task is to evolve uh, Spiro and Sandslash, just to of course fill out our Pokedex. Let's go ahead and go in inside of Mount Moon. And we're going to have to go through it just like any other place again. Okay, guys. Oh. Oh. We did it. There's the Clefairy. All right. We have made it. Let's, um... I know this is, like... Oh, wait. I'm just gonna chuck my Great Ball at it, dude. For real? Like, this thing is a 1%. I'm straight up just, like, not even playing or... That sucks. Not... Oh, no, dude. Didn't even... It shook once. Oh, that's a waste of a Great Ball. Alright, well, let's go ahead and throw a normal Pokeball, and if it doesn't work, then we'll go ahead and try to lower its health a little bit, but... Alright, let's lower its health. Encore, but it failed, yeah, because I didn't use a move. Go ahead and scratch it. Okay, Scrowl, that's actually good. Go ahead and scratch it again. Oh, now I'm attracted to it. Fetch Wild Freeze Growl. Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and throw one more Pokeball, see what happens. Zoink. Two. Three. There we go. Well, fairy. Alright, that took a little while. I actually have Spiro. Um, with its magical and cute appeal, it has many admirers. It is rare and found only in certain areas. Give a nickname? No, I do not want to give it a nickname. I've actually, um, Spiro's at evolving level. 
Um, so let's go ahead and... Might as well, while I'm talking... Let's go ahead and try to evolve Spiro. Evolve, but yeah. Let's go ahead and throw a water gun. Super effective. Okay. Alright, level 20. There we go. We should be able to get an evolution off of that. Very nice. And then Sandshrew will be 22. So I've got a little bit, I've got a little while to go with Sandshrew. But at least we can get this Spiro evolution rolling here. Bu -bu -bu -bu. And we got Spiro. Congratulations, your Spiro evolved into a Fero. Cool. Alright, well, now, time to put Sandshrew back in, and, um, I'm gonna sit here and grind for a while and get Sandshrew. Okay, everybody, I think we're very, very close to getting Sandshrew up to Sandslash, and we're level 21. And we are very close here, I think. Alright, and that is level 22. And we will be getting our prized Sand Slash here. And another evolution to put on our little checklist. Our Pokedex. There we go. And well, we got ourselves a Sand Slash, which is... Um, another one of my favorites from this um, generation. Now, I don't know if I'll be using him, but it's definitely one of my favorites. And now, while I'm here, I do have to catch another Abra. Here's an Abra. Um, so, we just need to simply catch it. Now, the problem with these Abras is they tend to like to run away, as you saw before. So, likely, I won't be able to catch this one. Knowing my luck, it'll probably be... This one's psych, just kidding. My luck is great. Alright, so there we go. Um, let me pull up my little notepad here of things that I have to do. Um, so we went to Mount Moon, got Clefairy, I went and got an Abra. Alright, well, we are good to go to take on the third gem. So, we're gonna go ahead and make our voyage over there. Um, we'll hear all the Pokemon when we get there too. And I think what we're going to end up doing is, let's go ahead and... I don't know if I'll finish the gym today, but let's definitely do some of it. Oh, um, I could check on Mankey? Let's check on Mankey, just to kind of see what he's up to. Totally forgot I left him in here. I wonder if he'll tell me. Your Mankey is growing a lot. Yes, quite a lot, I'd say. Let's see, by its level, it's grown by 10? Aren't I great? You owe me... Wow, that's a lot of money. Okay, then let's go to withdraw. We gotta put one back in there. And I think it would be probably wise of us to give him a magic harp to hold on to so we can evolve that into a Gyarados later. So, let's go ahead and grab our Mankey back. Aren't I great? Yomi. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that back. I've got on the day. Okay, would you like me to raise? Yeah, let's go, let's go ahead and um. Okay, Mankey's 25, so we need three more levels, and we can get Primate. So honestly, um, no. Fine, come anytime you like. Let's go ahead and um. It's only three levels for Primate. So why don't we go ahead and train him while we're at it? So let's go down to the gym. Alright guys, one more fight, and really, we should be able to evolve uh, Mankey here. So, let's go ahead and um, do this last fight together. So, level 27, very, very close. We can go ahead and do a Karate Chop. Will this one-shot it? It'll one-shot it. Look at that. Mankey is growing. Alright, and level 28. And I attribute all this to the Daycare Man for the 10 whole levels. What? Mankey is evolving? See, I definitely want to utilize a daycare man. You know, why not? It's, you know, he got us a free primate. Well, free by free, I mean a thousand one hundred dollar primate. But he saved me a little while of grinding, you know. And there we go. We have our primate. Another pretty, pretty cool Pokemon. Evolved in a primate. Let's 
trying to learn rage, but probably can't learn more than four moves. Delete a move? Yeah, let's go ahead and delete um, probably Fury Swipes. I don't really need Fury Swipes. I know it's the only normal move we have, but I just don't see it being super, super useful. Okay, so um, that is everything. Yeah, I wasn't expecting for to do Mankey today, but he was so close, I had to do it. Let's go ahead and fix our box here. So let's go ahead and, um, well first we gotta figure out who we wanna withdraw. We could probably withdraw, I don't even know who we need, I guess Geodude? Geodude can come along, everyone else can stay. Okay, so that's fine. Um, yeah, why not, Geodude's pretty cool. We'll, we'll hopefully catch some more new ones pretty soon, considering we're gonna head to some new places after this gym. We've kind of been stuck in this area for like a couple episodes here. Not really been able to catch new things, that's why I've been trying to, you know, fill the gaps to evolutions. But, now we can go ahead and head over to this gym. Gotta cut it. And, let's take a look. Yo, champ in the making, Lieutenant Surge is a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Bird water type Pokemon match poorly against the electric type. You wear paralysis too. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. He's locked himself in, so it won't be easy getting to him. Okay, let's see how many trainers we got in here. Okay, we got a few. Let's go ahead and take on one. Actually, I want to take on this guy. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. That's why I joined this gym. Let's take on one dude. Let's just see what they got. Engineer Bailey. Okay, he's got two. He's got Voltorb. Oh, I don't even know who I have in my first slot. Oh, I still have Primeape. Okay. Well, hey, we haven't seen him in action yet, so let's go ahead and... Um, Primeape, use Rage. What happens? Spark. I mean, I'm 28. Oh, that didn't even do much. It's building. Okay. Go ahead and rage again. And it gets stronger every time I'm guessing I rage, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll just do karate chop. Hit the ball right on the head. Then an eye poke. Ooh, that's a lot of XP. Engineer is about to use Magnemite. Yeah, let's go ahead and change. Why don't we switch in Geo, dude? Obviously, no G dude's not gonna fight. But let's go ahead and switch him in. We could probably get a level up from it. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, um, switch him right out. And let's go ahead and go to Needle King. Needle King could probably take care of this Magnemite. Use Sonic Boom. Alright, don't confuse me. Alright, let's go ahead and Thrash. It's a dark move, so it should be. Oh. Never mind. Not effective. Ah, you suck. Just thrash again. I should be able to kill him. All right, so um, the gym is around level 21, 22. It's not the worst thing on the planet. And we got Geo to level up. Oh, we got him two level ups. Look at that, because he was. I guess we caught him when he was pretty low at Mount Moon. Okay, guys, I think we're gonna end today's episode off here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and comment for the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey, everybody, we're continuing some Pokemon. We're here at the third gym. We defeated one dude, let's go ahead and defeat the rest and get the third gym. This is no place for kids, not even if you're good. Well, uh, alright, alright Sailor Man. Alright, he's got two, what does he got, Pikachu? I think I still got Primeape in my first slot, which I should probably move him out. Um, let's go ahead and do a Karate Chop. Hit the, oh, critical, okay. Well then, that will give us a chance to switch someone out. Another Pikachu. Yep, let's go ahead and move Needle King in. Needle King. We could probably get him to level 30. Never mind. He's still got a little ways to go until 30. Um, we're going to use Horn Attack. I don't want to use Thrash right now. And that Quick Attack is literally going to do nothing. Okay, one Horn Attack. Let's just take care of it. Good. Okay, we defeated Dwayne. That's $600. I think, okay, does this guy, okay, let's go ahead and defeat this guy and then we'll start pulling switches. He was a hard taskmaster. 
All right, uh, gentleman Tucker, one Pikachu. All right, um, we're gonna go karate chop him right in the face. All right, another critical hit. All right, they defeated gentleman Tucker. Stop, you're very good. All right, bud. Um, which one was it? Nope. I always forget. The last one I try. Hey, there's a switch. Okay, it was almost very, very close to one of the last ones I tried. Oh, wait, we've got two beams. Okay, the other one's over here. Yep, okay. There we go. Alright, Brock. Or, no, this isn't Brock. This is Lieutenant Surge. Hey, kid. What do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, not with your puny power. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. What war? Is that my enemies into paralysis? It's the same as I'll do to you. Alright, man. Let's do it. Alright, Leader Lieutenant Surge. Voltorb. Level 21. Okay. Then, um, let's. Maybe we can beat the Voltorb with the Primate. Aw, oh, really? Shockwave? That's pretty annoying. Um, let's go ahead and just do a low kick. Super Potion? Well, maybe I shouldn't use Low Kick then. I guess it won't matter either way. I'll still need two hits no matter what, but... This is another Low Kick, and then we'll probably switch Pokemon for the second one. Alright, we gain a little bit of XP. Leader wants to use Pikachu. Yeah, let's go ahead and, um... Let's bring out Geodude for a second. Just so we can get some XP rolling here. Hey, Pikachu. Um, and then let's go ahead and bring out a uh, War Turtle here. And hopefully it doesn't take too much damage. Double team, alright, that's fine. Double team is not gonna particularly do much here. Okay, Water Gun. Splash. Okay. Do Fainted. Geodude grew to level 11. And he learned Rock Throw, which is pretty good for you, dude. Raichu. Alright, yeah, we'll keep out War Turtle for the Raichu here. Level 24 Raichu. Zap. Ooh, I'm paralyzed. Hopefully I can get a, an attack in. And I don't think this will kill him. No. What about a bite? Shockwave. Ooh. That actually hurts a little bit. What about a bite? Okay. Well then, let's go ahead and bring out... Um, honestly, you can never go wrong with Needle King. Whenever I pull Needle King out, he tends to just take care of it. Double team. It's okay. And I'm just going to do a horn attack. Ouch. Oh, you got poisoned. That sucks for you. It shouldn't, have, it shouldn't have touched me. And there goes Raichu and the third gem. Alright, both games makes it clear defeated leader Lieutenant Surge. Now that's a shocker. You're the real deal, kid. Fine then, take the Thunder Badge. And we got some shmoney. And the Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly, Pokemon fly lightning quick anytime, kid. Your special kid, take this. Received. Uh, TM34 contains Shockwave. Teach it to electric Pokemon. A little world of advice, kid. Electricity is sure powerful, but it's used against ground type Pokemon. Okay. Very nice. Alright, so our speed's a little higher now. And we can go ahead and move on with the game. So, um, I guess our next mission is to tackle this on the right. Now, I didn't... I think I fought one dude over here on accident while I was trying to, um... Um... Level a Pokemon. Let's go ahead and, um... Mm, let's go ahead and actually bring Weeping Bell out front. Just so I can get some uh, levels on him. And... Now, this is probably going to... Take a, like a large majority of this episode, but let's go ahead and go through all these trainers. It's gonna take a little while, but let's go ahead and do it. 
in, in the meanwhile, we could uh, get some level ups. Okay. Go ahead and do acid. Wait, acid's probably not a good idea for Ekans, but oh well. Yeah, that was my mistake there. Clear. Okay, maybe I'll maybe I'll bring in Nido King. Maybe that's maybe that's the way to go right now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm just wasting time. Wait. Yeah, I shouldn't have brought Weeping Melon. I can use Bite. Okay, that's fair. All right, Needle King, come and save the day again, please. Can use Leer. It's fine. And we already caught all the Pokemon on this route, so we don't have to worry about trying to find anything new. And we defeat a youngster, Eddie. Hey, that's not right. Well, you didn't have to fight me, kid, to be real. Alright, Needle King. Get up front. Um. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we fought this kid. That's the one kid that I had to fight on accident. So then there's one dude up there and one dude running. Oh, here's a drowsy. And too bad I already caught one of you, so. Um, I will horn attack you for basically just fun, which is like hella cruel, but oh well. Alright, let's fight this old man. Watch out for live wires. Where, dude? We're in the middle of a forest, my guy. Uh, Bernie? Hey, Bernie? Alright, Magnemite. Uh, I think Nido King could probably take care of him. That's fine. Horn attack. Never mind. Oh, never mind. But it still did over half, which is actually kind of crazy. Alright, and because it did over half, might as well just do another horn attack and call it a day. And it was even a critical hit. Look at that. Okay. Another Magnemite. Does he have, dude, does he have three Magnemites? Well, then let's go ahead and just do a Thrash and see if that's any more effective. Um still won't kill it in one turn, but it is more effective. They're actually, like, taking down the HP of my Nido King pretty heavily. I mean, I guess they're level, like, 18 and 19. They're not super weak, but... Magneton? Yeah, let's go ahead and switch Pokemon. Let's get Pidgeotto. Ooh, that was a bad move. Pidgeotto's a flying Pokemon. That is exactly what I don't want in a Magneton battle. Um... But you know what? Um, let's just see what happens. I Okay. I I need to stop saying it. Let's just see what happens, because it's usually never a good thing. Um Let's bring in Primeape. We could probably get in some karate chops here. Supersonic. Don't oh no, dude. Why'd you have to do that? It's confused. Don't hurt yourself. I made. Dude, oh! <laughs> okay, wow. Well, Primeape is probably gonna die here. Never mind. Primeape is an absolute G. And took care of it. Although, we will need to run back and get and heal. But, wow, okay. I didn't win, lose, or draw. I didn't realize old man would be right there. That's fine. I think we got Pidgeotto up front. Gamer Hugo. Doesn't look like a gamer, but hey. We haven't seen a Poliwag yet, which is pretty cool. What a double kick it in the face. Bop. Okay. Alright, what's your next Pokemon? Horsey. Cool. Everyone loves Horsey. And we can double kick this one too. Oh. One shot said either way. And level 30 on the Needle King. Cool. Player defeated a gamer, Hugo. Okay, well, I was totally on my way to heal, but we at least got that one out of the way. Kid. Oh my. <laughs> oh. 
I was just trying to fight the kid and he just kept running exactly where I needed him not to. So I just run because I don't feel like fighting that. Hey, kid. Oh, okay, I'm like... I raised my Pokemon carefully. They should be ready by now. What? I hope this isn't the kid's first fight because it's going to be very discouraging. Nidoran, female, male. Female is the other one. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Mine is much more evolved than yours. I'm about to use Nidorino. Oh! He's got... He's got an evolved one. Which still sucks because... Yeah. Still not as cool, but he survived. Hey, I'll give him that. He survived. And uh, we're just gonna give him a small cut. Cool. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Thanks, kid. Okay, we defeated this kid. We just need to saw this old man is next. Congre competition, I can't get enough. I thought he said congratulations, I just can't get enough. I'm like, congrats on what? Alright, Bell Sprout. Level 18. Let's go ahead and double kick it. Oh, it won't kill. Why? Okay. Growth. Oh, that's nothing but a time waster. Oh, I was gonna try to use Cut, but either way, it'll die, so not like it particularly matters. Kicked it in the face one time, and it's <laughs> your stupid little circle face. Oddish. Yeah, let's go ahead and give it a switch up. Let him bring Pidgeotto out. Skirt! And I should be able to wing attack it, and it'll probably die. Cool, super effective. Pidgeotto. Here we go. I had a chance. Uh, did you though? Found X defend. Okay. What about you, guy? Careful, I'm laying down some cable. But why are you laying down cable in the middle of this field? Alright. Oh, only one. Okay, I love these battles because they tend to be high level and they're fun. They're not like seven weak Pokemon, which I just have to just spam hit. Go and do a horn attack. Critical hit, but it's not effective. Sonic Boom. Let's go ahead and uh, bring in Geodude just for a second. Actually, wait, Geodude could probably just kill it. Yeah, yeah. Super Sonic, but it missed. That's really good. Now let's go ahead and throw a rock at it. Oh, don't. Oh. No, dude. Okay, well we gotta switch you out. Cause now you're gonna die. Good job, genius. You had one job. Throw. You are a rock. Throw yourself. <laughs> Dude, everyone's missing. What is going on? That's a little swipe. There we go. Yeah, that, that fight was a mess. Nobody wanted to hit anything. That was electric. I, that's the exact opposite, man. People get missing. It's not electric in the slightest. Found escape rope. Hey, epic. Let's go fight the old man gamer. I have never won before. Oh, uh, that sucks. Two Pokemon, Growler. It's a bad next fight. Alright, my attack goes down. Let's go ahead and horn attack it. Ember. We're gonna hurt not a lot. Let's go ahead and cut it. About to use Volpix. Let's go ahead and switch out to War Turtle. War Turtle is good against Fire Pokemon. And we've never seen a Volpix before, so that's a new Pokemon that we have we have never seen before. It's super effective. Oh, Vulpix fainted. Okay. Defeated Gamer Darien. Alright, on to the next fight. I'm the best in my class. I train every morning. Okay, kid. Let's see. 
youngster Yasu. Oh, and he's got three. Dude, if you if you have three rata, dude, let's see if I can cut it and just kill it. Yeah, even just a simple cut will kill. I'm about to use another rat. It's uh okay. Gonna bring in Geo, dude. And then I'll probably just switch him right out. I mean, maybe I could win. Let's do a rock throw. Not very effective. Can I? Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, um, let's bring in Weeping Bell. Why don't we get Weeping Bell a couple of, get a, get a little action. Hyper Fang. That would have probably killed the, the Geodude there. There we go. And I might get two level ups there. Oh, okay, Geodude will level up. Weeping Bell is very close though. Eradicate. No, let's keep let's keep Weeping Bell out here just so we can get uh, this leveled up. New Bullet Seed. I don't know how much damage it's gonna do, but okay, not too much. That's fine. Only two, really? Wow, that's unlucky. Tackle. Okay. Gonna war let's get War Turtle back in here. Let's go ahead and just water gun it. Water gun, pop. Bruh. Alright, you're gonna get bitten. Because you didn't want to just lay down and faint. Okay, Weeping Bell with 26. Oh, I was hoping War Turtle with the 30, but. Darn, my Pokemon need to be stronger. Give me $272, kid. Nothing personal. Alright, this is just a very random fight that I don't feel like fighting right now. But because I'm here, I might as well just thrash you. Just because I'm at it. No reason to lose out on 124 free XP. Alright, last guy. Fahaha, -ha, I've never lost. So, the one dude keeps losing, this guy keeps winning. Well, need both of you are gonna lose. Voltorb. Okay. Oh God, and let's get let's get Needle King up to level 31, huh? Sounds like fun to me. Dang, one shot. Yeah. Um, actually, no. Let's keep Needle King up because I want to get him to 31. We can use Thrash. I don't know how effective this is gonna be. Whoopsies. Not very effective. All right, one more time. There we go. Okay. You okay? Level 31. Cool. Player defeated Gamer Dirk. My first loss. Indeed. Your first loss. That. Okay, we found a great ball. That's good. I think that is everyone in the area, right? We defeated this kid. We defeated this one. Defeated this guy. I think that is everyone. Okay. Alright, well then, let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh, I keep running through the grass. Drowsy. What is it? What is the level drowsy that we have? So I'm saying, I don't know if I can maybe catch something that's a higher level. But. Totally forgot my buttons all of a sudden. So I already know we probably won't be able to get past here, so we'll just quickly just see why. If you're aiming to reach Lavender Town, take a Rock Tunnel and get to Rock Tunnel from Cerulean City. Don't you think it's hard to think up good names for Pokemon, especially if you've caught a whole bunch? In Lavender Town, there's a man who rates Pokemon nicknames. He can, have, he can even help you rename your Pokemon too. Right, anyone up here that's useful? Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If your Pokedex says complete dead on 30 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. Pokemon Oak entrusted me with the item finder for you. So, Red, let me ask you. Have you gathered dead on at least 30? Yes, I actually have. Great, you have caught or owned 34. Congrats, here you go. 
Received the item finder. Okay. So what does that do? There are items on the ground that may be hidden from view. Use the item finder to detect any hidden items close to you. The machine is a bit limited. Can't pinpoint item locations, but it does show the direction where the item is. Use it to get your bearings, then search the suspect area by hand. Okay. I'm looking for the Pokemon Nidorino. Want to trade one for my Nidorino? Um, no, just because I don't really need it. I have both, so. And when I go this way, surprise, surprise, Pokemon is sprawled out in deep and uncomfortable, uncomfortable slumber, so. Um, we now have to go back to Cerulean City. We are kind of all done in this area. We went through the Diglett Caves and SSN and Gem. But we are done here. We have to go back up. Back to Cerulean. Ooh, hello? Oh, hello, Red. How are you doing? So, you want to uh, Did you meet the other aide? He had a package for Professor Oak for you, Red. He said he'd look for you around Route 2, Red. If you're in Route 2 area, please look for him. Okay. Well. Okay, well, maybe at some point we'll go back to Route 2. Can I get past you? I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait, there's the the road's closed. <sighs> Still for real won't let me just walk by. I don't get the point of that because like this is the exact same thing, except I'm going underground. So I, I don't particularly understand the point of that block off, unless that goes to another city that I don't know about. Oh, that might. Oh wait, that might go to another city. I don't think it's a direct connection between the two. Well, real quick, what we're gonna go ahead and do, we gotta go heal our Pokemon. So let's go over to the, um, well actually, we need to buy some more stuff too, because I have like $31,000 and like no Pokeballs. So let's go and buy 10 of those. Um, okay, I guess let's buy one more. Gonna buy two super potions. Yep. Dude, oh my gosh. Um, antidotes. Don't need any of those. Yeah, actually, we don't need anything else. I just needed a couple more Pokeballs. Here. Let's go ahead and visit the berry guy. Only skill trainers can collect. Uh, oh, wait, no. I need the berry guy. Um, okay, stop, 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 stop. I don't want to listen to you. I just keep clicking buttons on accident. I need, I need the, um, I need the berry, dude. Yes, you. I concoct a variety of medicine from berry powder. Using good berry powder, I can make any kind of medicine. I'll tell me, have you interest in berries? Yes. Uh, good for you, then I have just a thing. Powder jar. Powder jar. Okay, there's something new on the second floor of the Pokemon Centers at the, the direct corner. They installed a wireless adapter machine for crushing berries. This is where you come in. I have a favorite ask. One that I can entrust only to you. Could you make berry powder for me using that machine? Don't forget, the machine is at the direct corner of the po Pokemon Centers. I'll collect machine I'll collect concoct medicine for you if you bring me some berry powder don't forget crush berries into berry powder and bring it to me okay I don't particularly think I'll like do that but that is something that we can do all right well where we have to go now is I think to the right of here yes so now we can cut this little tree down and we can head over to route 9 right route 9 and this area has no new Pokemon, so we're gonna go ahead and defeat all these trainers. But really, we're not we're not gonna be looking for any. Oh, you have four. Why do you have so many, dude? I don't want to fight four Pokemon. Why can't you have just like one strong one? All right. Well, I'm just gonna keep thrashing all of you and calling it a day, to be honest. Okay. So the next, all the most of the other fighters have two. Um, let's bring in War Turtle. I don't, I don't know what Pokemon they just sent out. I wasn't reading it correctly, but oh, Bell Sprout. That's alright. We can fight it. Chomp. Oh, level thirty War Turtle. 
Cool. Use Oddish. No, we can keep War Turtle out. Let him bite it again. Punch? No, oh, perfect. So we use Bite it again. Just keep munching on that lettuce. We use Bell Sprout. No, nope, we'll just keep we'll keep War Turtle out the rest of the fight. Bite. Chomp. Okay. Defeated Freaking Fear Alicia. Alright, let's actually let me bring the map back. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's defeat this dude over here for an item. Aerial Ace. Ah, great. I was bored. Alright, well, that's cool. Two Pokemon. Let's go ahead and just thrash. I think that'll, that'll be good. Okay. Here we go. 99 HP on Nido King. Which is kind of cool. It'll go above 100 soon. Let's go ahead and bring in. He's bringing in Onyx. Let me go ahead and bring in War Turtle. Onyx. Go ahead and do Water Gun. Super effective. He did a hike for Jeremy. Keep him coming. I'm out of Pokemon. Okay, so now we could go up here. We could fight these two people. I'll fight this one first just because I got up early every day to raise my Pokemon from cocoons. Oh, yeah, because he's a bug trainer. That makes sense. Alright, Beedrill. That's one we haven't seen yet. It's cool. I like Beedrill. We'll have to get one of our own eventually. It is a pretty cool Pokemon. One of the cooler bug Pokemon, in my opinion. Well, it's quite literally just a bee, but... I'm to use Beedrill. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring out War Turtle this time. Because we can share a little bit of XP here. Beedrill. Let's go do a Water Gun. Oh, wow. Okay. Gonna kill it. Hopefully we can get a better water move soon. I know War Turtle is pretty close to getting into Blastoise. We just need six more levels, but Again, defeated the bug catcher Brent. What? A total waste of time. Alright, you're next. Well, who's that walking there with those good looking Pokemon? That's me. Alright, Chris. What's up, Chris? Ooh, okay, I was gonna say, it's a good thing. Well, actually, it would be cool if my, um... War Turtle was out. Gonna thrash it. Aw, oh, come on. Oh, it's more, I'm just gonna sit back, slump in my chair, and we'll get these fights done slowly. Honestly, I don't, I don't particularly know why I'm doing the fights. I don't really need them. Not, I mean... I'm at a decent level, but I feel like to complete the game, I have to do these fights, right? Like, I can't just finish the game and not fight everyone. I feel like it's like, you can't do that, you know? Alright, super effective on that. Level 21 Charmander. Defeated Chris. Out like a light. Alright, let's go ahead down to this dude over here. Just so we can grab that item. Baha, ha, bring it on. Alright, dude. Oh, I got a Reese's over here. Ah, uh, no. No Reese's right now. Need a king against Geodude. I'll do a horn attack. That'll work. Probably not. Never mind. It, it won't work. Hey, but I tried my best. That's all that matters, right? Double kick? Yeah, fighting a fighting move will work. Yeah, there we go. Everyone loves fighting moves. Um bring in War Turtle. 
I wasn't even looking at who's next, but we're bringing in the war turtle. Hiker Alley brought out Onyx. Alright, water gun! You've been water gunned with a critical hit. I'm getting tired. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm getting a little sleepy. It's only 8 30. <laughs> Oh boy, it's only a 30. I'm gonna learn protect. Do I need protect? No, I do not need protect. No, dude, I don't need it. Delete? No. Uh, stop learning? Yes, please. I do not want to learn protect. Hi, right, Hiker Allen. You beat me, fair. I sure did, bud. Oh, I almost forgot the prize. Burn heal. Okay, we did. We fought a man. Just to get a burn heal? Alright, we got, looks like three, one, yeah, so four, including this guy, or three after, after our boy Connor here. Uh, we'll probably bring in someone else, but you know what, let's go ahead and get Needle King to level 32, and then we can probably switch someone else out. There you go, level 32 Needle King. I'm trying to use Venonat, yeah, let's go ahead and change Pokemon. Primeape. Let's see what Primeape can do. Sent out Venonat. Alright, I'm about to karate chop your bug in the head. Oh, okay. Not very effective because it was a crit and didn't even do half. I am confused. Well, in my. Let's go ahead and just do Rage. Nope, instead of punch itself in the head. Okay. Use foresight. Okay. Still confused? Are you gonna punch yourself in the head again? There we go. Okay, that. Was bringing out Veteranet or uh, probably a bad idea because that did not seem very good. Use a seismic toss, dude. There we go. Will we get it to 29? Nope, but very close. Weedle. Well, we can we can probably defeat Weedle with the Primeape. Um, another, another karate stamp that. Oh, good, good. Starbuck still won't be effective, but it's more than half, so honestly, no matter what we do, we're always gonna have to hit with two times. Alright, karate chop it one more time, and we'll be at level 29. There we go. And player defeated Connor. Now, honestly, maybe I shouldn't be leveling up Primate because I don't think he's gonna be one of my like really final Pokemon on my team. So I guess there's really no reason to level him up further. But I really do like Primate as like a Pokemon. Okay, let's go and crash. Let's go ahead and bring in oh, Victor Weeping Bell. So I just googled quickly how to get Staryu. Apparently we can only get Staryu using Super Rod. It's kind of a shame because I want to get Staryu early on, but sadly. I don't let me Google when we get the Super Rod. Or oh, Bullet Seed. Will Bullet Seed work? Oh yeah, that'll work. Okay. When do we get the Super Rod? You get the Super from the... He is located on Route 12 below Lavender Town. Okay, so maybe we'll get the Super Rod soon. Let's use Ekans. Let's go ahead and switch out. Let's bring in Geodude just so we can get him a couple a level maybe. Alright, Atkins. Intimidate. Attack is down. That's not good. Alright. Pidgeotto. 
think Pidgeotto could do some good stuff. I haven't brought him out in a minute. Ah, Poison Sting. Alright, Wing Attack. And super effective. Maybe not super effective, but... Are you Sans True? Alright, War Turtle it is. And Water Gun. Alright, after this we get to Route 10. And we will be able to find a Bullport there. So that'll be our first new Pokemon in a very long time here. Okay, so we defeated that guy, we defeated that guy. So we got two we got two more to defeat. Two more. Aren't you a little toughy? Well, I like to think of myself as a little toughy. Alright, three. Geodude. I'll probably have Needle King finish this one off. Just so I don't have to do much here. Alright. Actually, we'll get... Oh, actually, no. We still won't get new. Well, even when we get to Rock Tunnel, the only new Pokemon there is going to be an Onix, and it's a 5%. So, hmm. That won't be really super, super good. Wait, we get Machop! Actually, never mind. We get we get Machop. That's a cool Pokemon. And I definitely think Machop will be one of the things I will keep in my party long term, I would think. Let's see. Did you use Defense Curl? Um... Alright. Use Thrash again. Although I just realized that we can't get my champ without trading. Mm. That's no fun. Ouch. Mm. Let's go double kick it. Hurt itself in confusion. Alright, dude, just freaking. Just hit the Geo, dude. Guy, come on, man. Needle King, man. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> just. Oh. Hey man, you just had to just cause me trouble. No way you could have just hit him one more time. Yeah, War Turtle, get in there. Then bring a weeping bell. Let's see what he could do. Or she? No, I think it's a he. Alright, let's go to Bullet Seed. How much does Bullet Seed do? Oh, that's a decent amount. Yeah, actually, no, never mind. Not, not. Maybe we hit it a couple times. One more, one more. There we go. Four. Okay, good. Let's focus on his energy. Alright, well, I'm gonna just throw acid. Which I don't recommend doing in real life. So you're aware. I, right, dude, you've had enough Pokemon, man. You don't need that many. All right, I think this is our last fight before Route 10. Don't you dare patronize me. I'll try my best. I mean, all right, Caitlin, just got a meow. I'm absolutely gonna destroy this meow. With my wing attack. Cool. See, those are my favorite fights. W one and done, you know? Why do you gotta put yourself through torture like that, you know? Alright, so now we're in Route 10. We have no rods, so we can't do anything with the C. And we only really need one Pokemon here. We just need one. 
and that is Voltorb. You guessed it. Let's go ahead and tackle it. Hopefully we won't kill it. Pidgeotto, dude. What are you doing? Why you gotta be so good? Don't do that. Don't don't crit, please. Begin chart. Oh, it's gonna blow up. Alright, let's chuck a ball at it and make it not blow up. I don't I don't want it to blow up. Well, it's gonna blow up. Oh, I didn't blow up yet. Alright, come on. Please just stay in this. I want the ball to stay inside the ball. Just. Oh, yes, let's go. Alright, Voltorb. Voltorb's dad was added to the decks. Usually found in power plants, easily mistaken for a Pokeball. It has zapped many people. Nope. No nickname. Alright, let's move on. That's all we needed from here. I'm glad there's a PC here, because I didn't know if there was. Glad there is. Would you like me to heal? Yes, please. Go ahead and heal my Pokemon. Especially Needle King, who, in his confusion, just didn't do anything. The types of Pokemon matchup definitely... Uh, okay. Do you guys have any interesting dialogue? I've been looking for you. It's me, one of the ever-present aides. What has completed... On 20, I'm supposed to give you a reward for us, Rogue. Have you interested me with the Everstone? Yes, I have, actually. Great, you have Connor on 35. Congratulations. Everstone. So, something will never evolve if I put that right. Um, you may not want a certain punch, so in that case, you want to use the Everstone. Yep, okay, cool. Yep, I get the, I get the premise. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Is this a battle? Okay. I've been out of out at a Pokemon gym a few times, but I always lose. That's probably because you're terrible. I mean <sighs> Alright, Heidi. What do you got? Level 20 Pikachu. Right, level 32 Needle King. Alright, this should one shot. Yep. Um, no, let's just keep. Let's keep, let's keep on Nido King. Ooh, Clefairy. That's kind of cool. I, uh, I don't think... Okay, I was gonna say, maybe we won't one-shot this one, but... After all my training. Okay, time to go into the rock tunnel. Okay, guys, um, I think we will go ahead and end the episode off here, though, and explore the rest of the rock tunnel later. But actually, before we do that, uh, do I need to teach Flash to someone? Yo, where's Flash? How do I get Flash? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I missed something. I need to go to a professor's uh, thingy to get Flash. So before I do anything... Let me go ahead and we will run back together um, so we can grab Flash. And then we will come under for Pokemon. Um, if your Pokemon has completed at least 10 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward and trust in me with this. So let me ask you, have you gotten? Yes, I have. Great. Um, here you go. Okay, and that'll teach us Flash, which will be able to help us get through the cave that we just got to. So, gonna go in the bag. TM case open. We need to go to Flash. Who can learn it? Only Weeping Bell. Alright, well, Weeping Bell, then you will be our Flash user. What can I get rid of? Um, let's go ahead and get rid of Sleep Powder. One, two, and. Dang. Alright, Weeping Bell learned Flash. Here we go. Alright. Now, the tunnel. But we will go ahead and go through the rock tunnel next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys. Uh, very, very quick. I'm recording this in between episodes. I am actually on a Fire Red account gathering Pokemon.
so I can trade them to my main. So right now I am literally leveling up this Geodude to get it to Graveler so I can trade it to Golem. And Shiny Spiro. Um, I've, this is like kind of crazy. I've never had a Shiny Pokemon before in with, you know, not Pokemon Go in this. And I just looked up and I'm like, it's shiny. So it's kind of weird because it is not in my main game. This is Fire Red. This is a whole different game. And this is literally just a feeder game. Um, like this is not, like I don't consider this a real game. I'm just literally, I need to, I needed the other version to get the Pokemon that are unobtainable. Um, but I'll probably end up trading over this uh, shiny Spearow while I'm at it. Um, just because, like, wow, this is, like, shiny Spearow, you know? On my game is also, I even muted it just because, like, you know. There we go, shiny Spearow. Very, um, interesting. Full odds, full odds shiny Spearow. Um, no. Okay, well... Anyway, I'm going to keep grinding. Um, very interesting. Hey everybody, we're playing Pokemon again. We're just about to go into the Rock Tunnel, but before we go, um, I want to do a few things. Obviously, you guys know I'm playing on an emulator, therefore, there are certain exclusive Pokemon to Fire Red, and there are certain Pokemon that only evolve when trading. Well, it just so happens that... Um, basically all three of the Pokemon that only evolve through trading happen to be my favorites that I want to use and I obviously want to use the final evolution. So here's what I did. Um, in between episodes, I made a new fire red account. I went ahead and got all the Pokemon that I needed because they really, really need to be like level 28. It's really not that hard. And I have that account. And now through my emulator, I will be trading for those Pokemon so I could have them. Um, and once again, they were legitly caught in fire red, therefore um, I'm not spawning them in, I'm not cheating, they were legitly caught, and I'm just trading them to myself, and we're going to be doing that right now, because again, a lot of those Pokemon I really, really want um, in my Leaf Green playthrough. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So you can see here that I have um, my main Leaf Green big game out front, and then I have the little Fire Red on the side, just so you guys can see. So let's go ahead and go through this trade process. we got to go over to this lady over here. Welcome to the Pokemon Cable Club. Which one of our servers do you wish to use? I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. Okay. Um, right now, I am on the Fire Red on the left. Welcome to the Pokemon Cable. So, we're going to go and trade. And we're going to click yes. And we're going to go back, trade. I'm going to click yes. 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 Okay. So, both of them are saving. And then it should theoretically let us. And also, I have the games muted because there's two games. Please wait. Okay, so now we're waiting. Waiting link up. All right, here we go. Uh, here we go again. So, um, and this time I'll actually show you guys uh, what I'm trading. Okay, got to go over to Fire Red. Okay, please wait. So here's what I'm going to be trading. Um, basically, um, the three Pokemon that need to be traded to evolve, Kadabra, Graveler, Machoke, and then I gathered two Leaf Green or Fire Red exclusives, Oddish and Ekans. Um, and then I will probably grab the Charmander. And then that's all I'll trade for now. And in a future episode, we will grab the exclusive Water Pokemon and some of the later ones. But I just wanted to grab the three that I know I needed and just a couple of the early game exclusives. And we'll take care of the rest later. So let's go ahead and... Um, Okay, so I am on I'm on the right here. So we'll go trade that one. And then we'll go ahead and trade Kadabra. Oops, okay, I don't want a summary. I just want to trade. So there we go. Um Yes. Yes. And then we're gonna go ahead and trade all six of them slowly. Alright, see so yep, I'm getting rid of my Geodude to my leaf green. And I will be getting back a Kadabra. And again, this whole process is going to take a little while because i got to trade all six. And eventually, later in the game, we're, we will be trading more because um, there's more exclusives and stuff. But for now, we'll start out with six. 
Okay, so we got the Kadabra, and now, I don't know if sh it might evolve later. Yep, okay, so it actually, it just evolves right away. Okay, so, I'm guessing the other guy needs to just sit here and wait while our Kadabra evolves into an Alakazam. Perfect. Beautiful Pokemon. And this is, again, one that I definitely want to use on my team. Um, same with the Machamp, and I don't know about the Golem, actually. Probably not the Golem. Maybe I'll just use um, the Alakazam and the Machamp, because those are two that are, like, super sick. Like, who doesn't want to use those two at the end of the game, you know? Now, question, will it kick me out, or will it let me do another trade? Okay, so it will let me do another trade. Okay, so let's go ahead and give the Voltorb. And then on here, we're going to go ahead and give the Machoke. I keep clicking Summary. Okay, and then trade, trade, yes, 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 okay, cool, all right, we're sending over the Voltorb, and we're going to get back Machoke, I could probably turn on the audio for one of these, okay, um, very, very jank audio, but I feel weird just talking with absolutely nothing, so... And once again, I want to make sure to reiterate that the Pokemon were caught legitly. I played the game up until the point to catch them with, you know, real Pokeballs. These are real Pokemon. I did not, uh, you know, spawn them in anything. These are legit Pokemon. So that's why um, I quite literally just have two accounts and I'm trading between accounts. And that's simply it. There we go. We got ourselves a champ. And again, I... Because I have two uh, windows open, it's a little laggy, so that's why the sound is very weird. Um, so hopefully you guys don't mind that a little bit until we can just get these things traded. And then we can kind of, we can just honestly get back to the game. Because this is, that's one thing about Pokemon games that it, I really wish there weren't version exclusives, but the reality is there are. And we have to, I had to jump through these hoops to get the Pokemon that I wanted, you know. Alright, next one, we're going to go ahead and Graveler. Why did I... Okay. So let's go ahead and click that. Trade. Trade okay? Yes. Trade okay? Yes. So, I really wish I didn't have to jump through these hoops just to get Pokemon that I want. Um, but, it is what it is. And we will play by the rules that we can. And this will work. And we will get the Pokemon that we want. So we're... we're we're a good ways into getting all the Pokemon that we actually wanted, you know. So let's get Machamp, Alakazam. Um, we're not going to get Starmie for quite a little while. And then Graveler is evolving. Here we go. And then we got three more to trade. Okay, guys, all the trading is done. We are back in my world on my normal, actual Leaf Green playthrough. Let's go take a look at what I just did. If we go to my Pokemon. We have Alakazam. We have Machamp. Golem. I grabbed the Charmander, or technically the um, Charmeleon, Oddish, and Ekans. So, and again, these are not crazy levels. You know, 29, 28, 25. Um, 35 is maybe a little high, but not really... Most of these are actually the exact same level where we are at right now. So, I think it's all in fairness. Alright, so that is the clip. Um, I actually didn't end up grabbing that Spearow, but I will grab that Spearow probably uh, the next time we do the big trading. But uh, Now, I want to jump back into the Leaf Green. I got the Pokemon that I really, really wanted. So, let's go ahead and jump back in. So, let's go ahead and um, kind of fix our party here. 
Um, so I'm not going to need Ekans. We can sort in box one. I'm not going to want Oddish. Um, I'm not going to need Charmeleon. So I'm not going to be using Char uh, Char uh, Charizard in this playthrough. I really don't want to use any of the stars. Even Blastoise, I'm probably going to get Blastoise, then I'll probably get rid of them. Um, but I will probably... I'll probably keep Golem. So let's go ahead and withdraw. Now we got to decide what, what three... Because... We had six Pokemon, so now we kind of got to decide what we no longer want. So these are the six that we have. I'm going to keep Nidoking. Um, probably Pidgeot. And then I really have to decide between Wartortle or Weeping Bell. And honestly, I think I'm going to keep Wartortle for now. So this is what our team is going to currently consist of. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and move War Turtle to the front. So we're gonna have War Turtle, Machamp, Golem, Needle King, uh, Pidgeotto, and Alakazam for now. Now let me see if I can teach him any moves because a lot of these Pokemon don't have very good moves. Um, TM Case. So let's see what I got. Thief, no. Attract, no. Secret Power, can I? Okay, let's go ahead and teach it to Alakazam. Because he doesn't have many other moves. And actually, I don't have any psychic moves. Aerial Ace. Um, let's go ahead and teach it to Pidgeotto. Um, yes. So let's go ahead and remove... Um, probably Tackle. We don't need Tackle here. Alright, so he forgot that. And he's going to learn Aerial Ace. Okay. Rock Tomb. Probably give that to... Give it to either of them. I'd, let's probably give it to Golem. Yes. Uh, which move should be forgotten? Probably Mud Sport. I don't need Mud Sport. And of course, this isn't my final team. It, it could still be subject to change. Honestly, I'm not 100% set on Golem. And I'm not really... And again, I don't really want the Blastoise in the end. So this is nowhere near um, done. I'm going to teach Brick Break to Machamp. Um, no. Yes, I do want to keep pressing the wrong buttons. Yes, okay. Which move should be forgotten. Um, we should probably get rid of... Um... Let's get rid of low kick. Honestly, like low kick is cool, but yeah, it's very niche. Okay, we could use dig. Who can learn? We should probably teach dig to golem here. Um, and then we could probably bulldozer are herd. Probably get rid of tackle. Let's go ahead and get rid of tackle. That's fine. Okay, learn dig. Okay, I think we're good. Um, Needle King. Okay, so let's go ahead and go inside the rock tunnel. And funny enough, I still need to catch a Machop. <clears throat> that is something we still need to do. Um, and I think the other one that we need to catch in here is um, also Onyx. Let's go ahead and use Flash. That should light up the place a little bit. And also, let me quickly... Alright, here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and move on with the game here. And once again, we just really need Onyx and Machop. And let's go ahead and we could probably... Let's just tackle it so we don't kill it. Okay, Karate Chop. Critical. And even that critical did like nothing. Okay, now I need War Turtle to not... It. Dude, my guy Wartortle has a real problem with critting at like very much the wrong times. Which is like I, good in like battles, but see, like now I'm gonna have to like go ahead and find it again. It's like, oh man. Alright, water gun the Geodude. 
but I'm really, really happy that I got my Champ and Alakazam. They're definitely like my, one of my my favorite evolution lines that I really don't didn't want to play the game without. And I'm super glad that the trading between emu emulators wasn't that hard either, which that makes me just as happy. I thought it'd be I thought it'd be maybe like a really hard process, but it really wasn't. Um, as long, you know, I had to play the other game to get caught up, but other than that, you know, it wasn't crazy hard, so that's good. And we'll keep War Turtle up, just because I do want to get Blastoise. Um, again, I don't know what's going to happen with the future Blastoise, I don't think I'll keep him. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll keep him, but we'll see. Oh man, it was like so close. Oh, but it flinched. That's perfect. All right, let's hit it with the tackle. Just to get rid of that red HP. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -bum. Okay. And then once again, we'll, we'll just get him a chop and an onyx along the way. All right, Zubat, that is definitely not something that I need. But water gun the poop out of you. There we go. Oh, I could also use my bike. I always I always forget that I can use my bike. It's a very bad habit. Alright, water gun. And we will bring out some of them up, some of the other Pokemon later. For now I'm just gonna keep War Turtle up front. Alright, let's see, where did we land? I'm just trying to take a look at the map here. So we're probably in floor two. Okay, so we're at the bottom. We have another battle here. I draw illustrations of Pokemon when I'm home. Oh, good for you, bud. One. Slowpoke. Okay, that's it? That's all you got? Slowpoke? I mean, I'm glad. Very glad. Let's hope I can maybe one-shot you. Oh, no way I one-shot. Yeah. Ah, but you punched again. Right, let's go ahead and tackle you. Send you to the Shadow Realm. Level 32. Here we go. Defeated Winston. Got some money, too. Alright, Mankey. Oh, man, so now, where's the Machops at, man? Where's the Machops at? Ooh, that was a, that was a quick encounter. Alright, there is a Machop. Level 17, a little higher. And then War Turtle, please just don't crit this time. Okay. Karate chopped. No crit, War Turtle. No crit. Okay. Exactly what I needed. Go ahead and throw a ball. And I do need I need to buy more Pokeballs too. I neglected to buy some. I have a lot of money, so there's no reason why I don't buy any. I guess I'm kind of waiting for the Great Balls to come, but I don't know. I don't know if I get those at Cerulean or Vermilion. Or not Vermilion. We were at Vermilion. Or, uh. Loves to build its muscles and trains all styles of martial arts to become even stronger. Or at, at Lavender. Okay. Well, anyway, um, that is just basically the Pokedex Machop. Um, ooh, a revive. That is rare, so I'll have to keep that. Don't know if it come here, but I will battle you. Alright, so all we have left is the Onyx, which is a uh, 5%. So, not high at all, but I'm, I'm sure we'll, we'll do it. Well, the Oddish is not a good one to fight. Let's go ahead and bite it. See if we can maybe... Oh. Oh, critical. Okay. War Turtle is all about getting crits. About to use Bulbasaur. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch out. And let's switch to a new Pokemon. Let's go to Machamp. Let's get our first battle with Machamp going. It's a pretty weird sprite, but fair enough. Why is it like sideways? Um, okay, let's go ahead and use Brick Break. Not very effective, and it still was that strong. That's pretty nuts. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. Um, not a fan of this sprite. But 
Fair enough, I guess. Alright, try to chop it. And then hopefully I have an antidote in my bag to get rid of this poison, because I don't want my Machamp dying. Level 29. Okay. Screw you, Martha, for uh, poisoning me right before I left. Antidote. Oh, yeah, I bought some more. Okay. Alright, Machamp. There we go. Okay, let's keep moving on. Onyx? Yeah. It, like I said, I, we're probably going to get to the end of it, and then I'll probably just have to um, look around for the Onyx. Because it's not going to be an easy one to get. Oh, do you know about Pokemon cosplay? Uh, I mean, yeah, in a sense. I don't know what type of cosplay this dude's into, though. Looks a little weird. Oh, I'm a water type. This is sick. It's Charmander. This is like a perfect matchup. Yeah, and then I did, like I said, I brought over the Charmander from my other game. I will also, I will probably have to make a third one to get Bulbasaur. Um, but I will do that once again at a later date, partly because I have absolutely no interest in Bulbasaur. That literally might be the last Pokemon I get for the Pokedex because it's Bulbasaur, like... Yeah. Which I know many of you are probably going to get terribly mad at me for, but I just very much dislike Bulbasaur. Alright, it looks like we got a few, few battles. Okay. Got a water gun you. So we got two different trainers, and then we have a ladder. So let's go ahead and beat both of them very, very quickly. And I will fight both of them. I know you only, I only need to fight one, but I will fight both. I just hope they don't have like seven Pokemon each. Okay, only two. That's not bad at all. I think that's doable. Alright, go ahead and use Water Gun. Alright, didn't kill it. Okay, we could probably just use a tackle. If a tackle doesn't kill it, I'd be very surprised. About to use Onyx. Now we can we can keep um, War Turtle out. So you can use Water Gun again. And I think Water Gun will kill this just because it's a rock type. Yeah. yeah oh, oh, and it's and it's critical. Critical, super effective. Yeah, that could that would have been like a could have been a level 40 Onyx. That probably still would have killed it instantly. Let's make sure we fight. Oh, we fight this guy. The Pokemon techniques will leave you crying. Alright, bud. Oh, only one. Good. Um, and in my other game, I also did grab the uh, Helix Fossil instead of the other one, so I will also do that. Go, oh, super effective. Level 33 War Turtle. We might be able to get Blastoise very, very soon. Oh, encounter right before, but it's gonna be an Onyx. Uh, psych. Another Zubat. Throw a water bubble at you. Back at floor one, right? Yep. Okay. Well, we got three. I think we got three trainers to beat on this level. And I'm ru I'm running low on water gun PP, so I'll have to be a little careful here. Um, we should probably should go up and beat this guy first. I know I just like walk past them, but I should beat this guy first. This tunnel goes a long way, kid. Yeah, I could tell I've had to fight already a million of you. Oh, he has four. Why do you have four, dude? Why do you gotta torture me like that, man? Four of them. And they're all low level. 
Oh, okay, come on, get it over with. It's late at night, man. Um... Bring out Alakazam. Let's see what Alakazam can do. Maybe not a good idea against Rock, but whatever. I love Alakazam with his little spoon. I got my spoon. He's staring intently with his spoon. Um, probably do Secret Power. Okay, now I forgot Normal's not effective. Please don't destroy my Alakazam. What about Shock? Oh, well, electricity's not gonna work either. No! Alright, Alakazam was not, isn't coming out super impressively. I'm just going to be 100% honest. Alright, well, um, that's fine. Golem. Let's see what Golem can do. Alright, we don't even see Golem. Where's his head? I can't tell what's his head and what's his arm. Let's throw a rock at him. I know it's not going to be effective, but... Yeah, okay, never mind, guys. Alright, let's uh, shove all these cool Pokemon back in our party here, and let's just get Wartortle out. Not, that's fun, I'm just wasting time. Wait, Magnitude is super effective? Alright, well, I'm gonna use a Magnitude on you, then, if it was super effective. Alright, never mind, I'm using Magnitude. Maybe Golem did have a move. Tina boosted? Okay. Nope, I will. Let's just keep Golem out. Let's keep using uh, Magnitude. Magnitude 7. Super effective. Want to use Machop. Alright, I will switch back. Let's go ahead and go to Pidgeotto. Give Pidgeotto a couple levels here, huh? And then let's go ahead and use Aerial Ace. There we go. Super effective. Good, good stuff. Defeated Biker Lenny. Uh, let's head down to this guy now. For an encounter with Onyx. Nope. Never mind. Skirt. battle with this guy and I think we should be coming near the end of this hopefully please tell me you only have a couple three all right bud yeah see onyx that's that's what I'm looking for give me one of those I want one of those give me one of those Ooh. thank you all right onyx Nah, let's just keep let's keep Wartortle out. Wartortle's he's a he's just a good type matchup for everything in this cave, so I might as well just keep him out. War Wart was basically built for caves at this point. Geodude. Okay. Another rock Pokemon. Okay, another water gun. go. Defeated Hiker Oliver. And we made some monies. Alright, there should be an item over here, Onyx. No. The Zubat. Always love the Zubats. Which reminds me, we need to evolve ours to a Bulbat eventually. I'm just putting that off, because... Ooh, that was like a five-step encounter. Right, another Machop. Go ahead and bite this one. Chomp. Oh, it's not very effective. Clear. Alright, well, not like it's gonna get a chance to attack, so that's, that's cool with me. Sorry, Machop. I've already... I've already got him a champ. And he has four arms instead of two. So... Jokes on you. Outsiders like you need to show me some respect. I don't know about that one, man. 
too? Alright. Your two better Pokemon better be pristine if, you, if you're trying to get me to show you some respect. It better be pristine. Alright, give me like a level 40 Onyx, huh? Graveler? Okay, honestly? Nobody else I've seen has had a Graveler. So, maybe a tiny bit of respect, but like, not really. Narrative Golem. Level 34. There we go. Defeated Lucas. Alright, does this take me out? Okay, no, we're still... So now we're on floor one. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here, but I'll double check. Okay, Geodude. And we got a couple more trainers to fight up here, sadly. There's a lot of trainers in the rock tunnel. Like, a lot of trainers. More than usual. It's a rugged rock. Okay, so I need to come back here when I get smashed. wonder if I should... I mean, I feel like I should just be running away from these, but... I feel bad for running away because it's basically free XP, you know? And I'm gonna have to level up War Total anyway, so... Instead of doing it later, I could just take time and just do it now, you know? Okay. Where are we? Okay, so we're down there. We're on floor two. Okay, I moved a single tile up and... Okay, that's fine. Um, Onyx. Alright. That is cool. Alright, um... I'm gonna bring... Wait, will I kill it with cut? Will I? Okay, I'm very scared I'm gonna kill it with cut. But I shouldn't, right? Cut won't kill it? Okay. You never know, like... Honestly, even that is like... Pretty nuts, though. Okay, there we go. Alright, Onyx. The 5%er. Let's go ahead and catch you, and then we could hopefully get out of this stupid cave. Alright, let's go ahead and just, uh... Let's, let's use our Great Ball here. I, I don't feel like having this Onyx escape. We'll go ahead and shove our Great Ball at it. Oh, really? That's a little annoying. Hopefully I don't doesn't escape four more balls, because I only have four. I can't use another cut, or I will kill it. Alright, well, hey, um, three more, three more chances here. Three more chances. Oh, no. Alright, um... Can we do to increase the odds? I need I need a, a status effect. I need a status effect. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but not really. Whatever. I guess we just. Oh, we have two more. Okay, two more. Sorry. I thought I had one more chance. Come on. Dude, oh, wow. Okay, this Onyx is actually making me pretty mad now. Like, that's nuts, man. Come on. Like, really? Don't, don't... Watch me, like, encounter a shiny on the way out. Like... Wow. I, I'm actually, like... For, like... I'm very, very frustrated. You got, you gotta be kidding! Oh my god! Fine, your accuracy is gonna be lowered because you're dumb. All right, well, we're gonna come back, buy Pokeballs, and find another Onyx because because we're dumb. We didn't bring enough Poke. 
I think this might be the most annoying Onyx I've ever seen in my life. Come on. Alright, we'll have to come back with, um... Some more Pokeballs. How many more people do I have to fight? I'm really not in the mood for fighting anymore. I'll just be one hunted. Alright, looks like we gotta fight four more. Four more fights, man. Oh, no. Sophia. Okay. Alright, Sophia. Dude, I'm literally... I might just, like, do this and just not talk and just, like, go to sleep. I'm almost out of water guns, too. Did you? No. Go ahead and bite the Pidgey. There we go. Use Meow. Okay, we will bite the Meow too. Alright, bite the Meow. You just threw money at me. Well, oh, now you're gonna get tackled. That's what you get for throwing money at me, dude. And again, I just hope to God I don't encounter a shiny. I mean, the chances are low. But like, if I do, I will cry myself to sleep. Like, actually. You never in any Pokemon game want to just be out of balls. That's like the worst fate you could have. But I have to do it for a little while. When you're up on the Rocky Mountain like this, rock slides are a threat. Can you imagine? Boulders tumbling? They'd be like, wow, you don't seem to be scared. Want to try rock slide? Only once. Is that okay? Yeah. Which Pokemon? What about my champ? Actually, Nido King might be able to use it. Yeah, let's see. What move can he delete? Um... Probably get rid of Horn Attack here. Alright, cool. Might be scared to use it in this tunnel. Okay, I just won't use it in the tunnel then. Okay, is there anything up here? Okay. Max Ether? Okay. Also, you're not gonna do it just because I don't feel like dealing with anything anymore. Let's go ahead and uh, use a Repel here. So we can get through the rest of this cave with hopefully um, not too many more interruptions. Because no matter what I do, I just don't have balls. So like, right, like why, why would I want to face things knowing I don't have any bore balls? All right. Hopefully, you have a Pokedex, I want one too. Hopefully the last guy of this stupid cave. He has three. Let's get him over with, bud. Let's get him over with. Alright, let's go ahead and bite him. Chomp. Super effective. And from here, we'll get to Labrador Town. Kind of sick. Do you slow poke? I'll keep War Turtle out. We'll just keep biting them. Just like a shelter bites on the tail of a slowpoke. Okay. Okay. Now let's go ahead and chomp on one more slowpoke. Chomp. Alright, and I think that is the last trainer of this cave, hopefully. 
no! I've been sc I've- I've- Oh no, there's more! There's more trainers! <laughs> no, dude! Dude, say it ain't so! Diana's about to use Pidgey, and I think, actually, I think our War Turtle, doesn't it evolve at 36? Or is it 38? I'm pretty sure War Turtle evolves after this match, and it's our last one out of the cave. I'm out of Pokemon. Yes, we do actually get our Blastoise here. What? War Turtle is evolving? Amazing. We get our War Turtle. We get our blast voice. Man, I'm tired. What time is it? Oh, it's 11.30. Okay, well, that probably explains it. I, I was tired at 8.30, so... Amazing. Got a blast voice. Congrats. Your war total moment to a blast voice. Repels wore off. Okay, that's fine. Um... Nothing over here. Don't be shiny. Okay, just a stupid Zubat. See what Blastoise looks like. Cool. Yeah, actually, that's not actually that's not a bad sprite. Again, a lot of the sprites I'm not a big fan of. Like uh, both Golem and Machamp, I, I really don't like their sprites. But eh, what are you gonna do? I just feel like when they were designing them, they definitely could have like put like five more minutes into it and be like, yeah, we could probably make a better sprite for this. Like. Realistically, but all right. Question. So now we get to Route 10. But honestly, dude, right now I need to just get. Here's guys. We're gonna come back. No, I was gonna say we're gonna come back and fight these guys. Um. Never mind, guys. We'll just let's just let's just take care of it. Let's just fight them. Okay, we got those four done. I think this is Lavender Town. Here's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna do anything crazy. We're ending the episode. But, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. Let's go buy some balls. Let's go look for an Onyx. And then we're done. I swear, and then we're done. Because, oh, Lord Almighty. I am done for today. Alright, the Mart is over here. And I... I can't deal with Lavender Town at uh, night, so that's just we'll, we'll deal with Lavender Town in the morning. Oh, we can buy Great Balls. All right, let's go ahead and buy 15 of those. And if the Onyx wants to break out of those, then um, we're gonna have a problem. Um, Super Pelts, buy like four of those actually. I want some of those. And we still got 35k in the bank. And we're going to keep that 35k there. Oh, okay. Here we go. 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 All right, we got an Onyx. Um, honestly, man, here, just... Yeah. Just stay in the ball. Um, I don't even know what status effects I can use on it. Um, it's gonna bring out Needle King. Oh, you could probably use Cut. Get it a little lower. And I swear, if Needle King crits and kills it, I. What time is it? Almost 11.40. Oh, Needle King, you absolute piece of poop, dude. If that was your second hit and you critted... Lord, oh, and it's poison now. Oh, alright, well, we gotta catch it in like two turns, two, three turns, or it's gonna die. Alright, here we go. Time. Clock is on time. The time is on the clock. One. Okay. Doesn't want to stay in the ball. 
Alright, Onyx, you have almost become officially like my third most hated Pokemon of all time. Like, only legendary should be this hard to catch. Holy. Alright, come on, big snake, rock snake. Let's go, dude. Alright, an hour and 13 minutes later. As it grows, the stone portions of its body harden to become similar to black-colored diamonds. Dude, you can go in my box and you can stay in my box, big dude. For real. Alright. Let's head back to Lavender Town. Let's get out our bike. Alright, guys. This will be the end of this episode. Next episode, we'll go ahead and continue with Lavender Town and... Whew, I need some sleep. So I'll see you guys later. Hey, what's up, everyone? We're playing Pokemon again. We just made it to Lavender Town, I think. Um, this is what our Pokemon are looking like. It's been, I think, a day or two since I played last, because I've been uh, busy with work. But, um, yep, we made it to Lavend Lavender Town. Let's start exploring. Ghosts appeared in Pokemon Tower. I think there's spirits of Pokemon that the rockets killed. I wish we that I can run. This town is known as Gravesite of Pokemon. Memorial services are held in Pokemon Tower. That's odd, Mr. Fuji's in here, where'd he go? It's so warm. Pokemon are nice to hug. Very spooky. Hello, I am the official name raider. Want me to rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? No. Alright, comes it again. So that dude can just, um, basically rename our Pokemon. Which I'm not in the business of doing. Those horrible rockets, they deserve no mercy. That poor Keybone's mother. It was killed trying to escape from Team Rocket. Well, that's not very many of them. Alright, so here's the Pokemart. Um, let's go ahead and um, purchase some items. Hey there, may I help you? We have 35k. Wait, did I already buy some? Oh, I already have 12. Let's go and buy 7 of them. Okay, buy 7... Um, let's go ahead and buy a couple more super potions. I think we can go ahead and buy five more. I think we only have one revive. Let's go ahead and buy four of them. Here we go. And, ooh, I think we have a couple of these. Let's buy one more super repel. Alright, we still have 20k left over, so that's good. And then we still have some things to sell, like the nugget, if needed. So, we're definitely, we ain't, we ain't no broke boys. Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah. Really? So there are believers. What do you mean, dude? There's literally a ghost type being in Pokemon? Much confusion. I, there's, there's a ghost typing. I came to pray for my dearly departed Clefairy. Sniff. I'm a wish in tears. Wait. Did you come to pay respects? Bless your Pokemon loving heart, son. Nah, bro. I came to catch him. For real. My Growlithe. Why did you die? Because you probably killed it, you genius. Pokemon Tower was erected in the memory of Pokemon that died. I am a channeler. There are spirits up to mischief. I sense them high in the tower. Here we go. Now, are we going to encounter them? Alright, well, first we got to battle Gary, of course. Hey, Red, what brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? <laughs> it's alive. I can at least make them faint. Let's go. Well, we know why he's here. Because we killed this stupid Raticate. B R Rival Blue would like to battle. Alright, who'd- Oh! Huh. I totally forgot that Pidgeotto Pio was up front. Um... Let's go ahead and do an Aerial Ace. Why not? Um, I want to see how much damage it does. Oh, good. You know what? Let's just go ahead and finish off the battle. Bird versus bird. And then we'll go ahead and switch to another Pokemon. Oh, I should have used Quick Attack, but that's fine, because I was quicker than him anyway. Alright, he's about to send out Gyarados. Yes, I would like to change Pokemon. Let's go ahead and bring in... I want to bring in, you know, different Pochamon. Let's go ahead and bring in Machamp. Machamp versus Gyarados. With Machamp's really, really dumb sprite. That's a cool Gyarados sprite, though. I wonder what it looks like from the back, though. Alright, let's go ahead and do a Brick Break. I don't know if that's going to be effective, but... Not very effective. Alright, noted. 
Ooh, thrash. Um, well, all of these are fighting moves, so that was a mistake. I'm gonna bring on Nidoking. We'll cycle through all of our Pokemon just to get let them each get a taste. Alright, Thrash is not gonna hurt me that much. And he confused himself like an absolute doofus. Alright, I mean, we could Thrash him ourselves, but let's throw a rock at him. There we go. You've been rocked. Where's my water? Oh, let's go. How did my water get that one? Oh, there we go. Whoa, what are they? Oh, we. Which, my champ's level 33. Trying to learn Vital Throw. Alright, what does Vital Throw do? Makes user attack at, in return. The hit will not miss. Ooh, that's 70 power. Ooh, but this is 75. Um, yeah. Ooh, stop. Yeah, okay, I do want to learn it. Delete a move, yes. And I'm going to delete Revenge. Yeah, there we go. Man, I'm recording these episodes. I haven't done this in a while. My throat's getting dry. Alright, vital throw. Alright, it's about to use Kadabra. Yep, let's go ahead and change over to... Let's give Blastoise a little time in the spotlight. We just got Blastoise here just a little while ago. Right as we exited the tower, I think. Go ahead and use hopefully I get like a really good um, water move soon because I'm still using a water gun which is not super super good obviously we're 18 levels above them so it's gonna be a pretty easy fight but I'd use the Ivysaur yep let's go ahead and change I'm gonna bring on Alakazam for a little while with his stupid little s spoon it's got a spoon all right, and we're gonna go ahead and do secret power, and I and Alakazam also needs a move. Oh, it's paralyzed. I don't have any good psychic moves for him. Oh, he's put me to sleep. All right, well he's paralyzed and I'm asleep, so let's go ahead and bring out Golem. And with Golem coming out, I think we've used every single Pokemon in my arsenal here. He used Raise Relief, which is hilarious, so that's not going to do anything. Uh, Psych. That's super effective. I, I was mistaken. Let's go ahead and put him in a Rock Tomb. I think this will kill him. No? Well, hopefully he's just paralyzed. Haha, <laughs> you suck. Okay. Go ahead and put you in another Rock Tomb. Put him in a Dirt. I mean, I was totally just saved by him being paralyzed, but I don't care. Okay. Golem is at level 30. But again, really, my main is I just... I don't have very good moves for a lot of these Pokemon. Growlithe? Yeah. Let's go ahead and bring out Blastoise again, just because that's going to be a good tight matchup. Alright, and lastly, your Growlithe, which you should really evolve to an Arcanine pretty soon, but... But I am, again, very much leveled, so I guess I, I'm not surprised. Okay, and there goes Gary. Player defeated rival blue. What? You stinker. It took it easy on you, too. Bro. How's your Pokedex coming? I just caught a Cubone. Can't find the bigger Marowak. Where could they be? I bet there aren't any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish. And unlike you, smell you later. I right, smell you later, dork. Even we cannot identify the wayward ghosts. A self scope might be able to unmask them. So I have to go get a self scope. Okay. Well, then I guess there's no reason. So, like, even if I go up here and I try to find one, right, I am i don't have a Sylph Scope, meaning, yeah, there's nothing that I'm going to be able to really do about it. So, like, nothing will hit it. Okay. Okay, so, let's go ahead and run away. And let's go out and... 
Let's not come back until we find a self scope. Cause there's really oh I this isn't okay. I tried to pull on my bike. Apparently, Doctor Oak, Professor Oak, sorry, is really against the use of bikes indoors, which I can completely understand. But okay, so we got up and down. Let's go ahead and bring out our bike. We got up and down to go. We can go this way to Route Eight, or we can go this way to Route Twelve. Okay, let's go ahead and go to Route 8 here. So we've got some trainers we got to battle, and there's actually one Pokemon that we need to find. Only one. What's cute round and a fluffy Pokemon? Probably Jigglypuff or Clefairy? Probably. Clefairy. And her other one's probably Jigglypuff. So there's only one Pokemon that I need from here, and that is... Ulpix. We already... We already have Meowth, Pidgey, and Sandshrew, so... Okay, I don't really know what the point of that was, but you are... Ooh, now I am... Infatuated. Alright, player defeated Julia. I don't I don't like facing the fairies, because they, they put you to sleep, and... Let's go ahead and, um... Let's put Needle King up front. I want, I want Needle King to fight here. I'm a rambling gaming dude. Why are all the gamers old? I feel like that'd be the exact opposite. Gamer rich. Alright, Needle King. Growlitz took down an attack. Alright, let's go ahead and rock slide it. There we go. Super effective. We'll pick, so we'll go ahead and keep Nido King out. I'm probably gonna leave out Nido King for a while. Just cause it's Nido King. Who doesn't love Nido King? Super effective. Ooh, that's a lot of money though. Also, I just read that there might be double battles coming up. Alright, so keep her too strong as the front, and I do, so that's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to fight everyone, and then we'll look for Vulpix. You should be informed. You need strategy to win at this. Uh, well, not particularly. I mean, you could just uh, be overleveled and call out a day. Like, watch this. I'm just going to drop some rocks on you, and... Um... Oh, but it flinched. All right, I'm going to cut you. There we go. Alright, he's about to send on Muck. I think it's the first time we've seen Muck. Um... We'd probably thrash it. I don't know if that's better than Brick Break, probably not. Sludge. Okay, I'm just glad it didn't poison us. And we just thrash again. Ooh, second one's even a critical, even though I don't really need it. Alright. 34. Super Nerd Glenn is about to be a Grimer. Oh, let's go to switch Pokemon. Um. Bring on Blastoise. Why not? And let's go ahead and bite it. Bite the slime. Wow, these guys really don't like dying. Like, right away. Alright, I'm gonna just tackle you. There you go. Alright, we defeated Super Nerd Glenn. It's not logical. Ah, eh, so many. Ooh, there's a double battle. Oh, and there's four battles? School is fun, but so are Pokemon. I agree. Well, let's take out all these people and then we can, like I said, then we can go find Vulpix. Coughing. That's a pretty cool Pokemon. Go and rock slide it. Smog.
Okay. Mm, probably double kick it. Oh, that was a mistake because that did not do as much damage. That did not do it at all as much damage as I thought it would. Okay. So I just use cut. There we go. Super Nerd Leslie. Alright, let's go ahead and bring out... We can just do this double battle really quickly. Twin Power is fantastic, did you know? Or is it a double battle? It is a double battle, okay. Twins Ellie and Anne would like to battle. Sent out Clefairy and Jigglypuff. Need a King of Blastoise. Alright, let's go ahead and do... Rock Slide. And Water Gun. Go ahead and water gun the Jigglypuff. Oof. And the Needle King. Go ahead and uh, rock slide on that Clefairy. Yeah, pretty easy. Cool. But we used our twin power. Well, that sucks. Alright, oh, I keep running into him. We must look silly standing out here like this. Yeah, you sure do, bud. You sure do, but it's alright. Oh, you got five, dude. He got five, dude. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and, um. And double kick the bird. Yeah, that's fine. I guess we'll. We'll probably just keep double kicking for a while. Right, it's uh, you know what? We will switch Pokemon. Let's send out Golem. That was pretty low HP, but he'll be able to take the take the people down. Rock throw. Cool. Good job, Golem. Nidoran. Hmm. Bring on my champ. Oh, vital throw. Let's see what that does. Ooh. Don't poison me. Okay, good. No poison. Critical hit. That's pretty cool. Meow. We'll keep out him. Mm. We'll do another vital throw. Why not? Champ won't obey. Oh. Why are you doing that? Champ, don't do that. Okay, I'm like... Hello, dude? Alright, how many more Pokemon you got? Pikachu, yeah, we'll go ahead and bring in, um... Let's try to wake up Alakazam here. He's still asleep, so... I don't know how he's still asleep after everything that's happening, but... What a secret power? Still sleeping. Well, hopefully he'll wake up soon. Hey, come on, man. It would be great if you wanted to wake up any century now. There you go. Alright. There you go, Alakazam. Finally did something right for once. Defeated last. Look what you did to my poor cute Pokemon. Sorry, bud. Alright, we, we gotta fight those two, but how many more are there? Can't go up there. Alright, there's those bikers, and there's that dude. Alright, let's keep fighting them. Also, I'm very dumb. I didn't miss anyone down here, right? Yes, okay, no. 
Alright, we gotta fight these two that are, like, oddly turned around. Yelth is so cute. Alright, is she gonna three Meowth? Alright, let's just thrash all of them. There we go. No, we'll, we'll keep him in. Yeah, I can pull on my phone while we're just thrashing this poor girl's meowths. Alright. Uh, nope. I do not want a different Pokemon. Honestly, you're good. Oh, but he's confused. Oh, we can still we can still thrash. There we go. Jumping to King. Usually in his confusion, he he uh, he's not often confused compared to other Pokemon I've seen. Seems like I have a pretty good like percentage of. Not becoming confused. I like Nidoran, so I collect them. I mean, hey, do I blame you? Not really. Nidoran are kind of sick, although it's pretty sad that you collect them and you have two. Probably grab a few more of those, huh? And it'd be great if he died. She died, sorry. I cut. Go. But he's need arena. Cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut you. Tail whip. I do need to evolve my my own need arena. Well, technically need to end, but yeah. Alright, level 35. Alright, last page. Why? Why? Because you're standing here looking for a fight, dude. Uh, fight the biker, right? Yeah, okay. Clear the way or I'll run you down. Sure, bud. Biker Jaren. Grimer. Hmm, I'll just thrash you. Thrashing is probably do the trick here. Another Grimer. Let's keep it going then. I like Nido King. I think Nido King's so far been my favorite. You for real, kid? Yeah, Nido King is definitely like my favorite Pokemon to use <clears throat> so far. My bike's acting up, man. Maybe you just suck. I mean, it happens. Three Pokemon, coughing. Okay. Well, let's just drop my water. Let's go ahead and um cut it. Smog. Bro, Needle King is poison, dog. Why would you do that? Not very effective. Cut it again. And then the next Pokemon will go ahead and thrash. The coughing. Nope. You can keep Nero King out. Alright, now we can sit back and let coughing do his or let Nero King do his thing. Nope. And you're done, kid. Biker Ricardo. Oh man, I'm not into this. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but all right, a few more fights. Then we got this guy and that guy. You look at you look good at Pokemon, but how is your chemistry grade? Um, uh, not too hot. I mean, compared to my other grades, but I always felt like chemistry was always one of the harder subjects. You know. 
go ahead and uh, rock slide on you. I feel like I was always tech missed. I was always like an A student, and then chemistry hit, and then I'm like a B student. But yeah. Voltorb fainted. Hopping. Wool. Chaos coughing. And then we'll go ahead and bring out Crash again. Why, dude? It's so it's always so close. Critical hit. But it's not very effective. Gonna cut him. Alright, Voltorb. Nope. It's stay. He said, I'm gonna keep Nidoking King out for a while here. Oh, I did not mean to use double kick, but I'm sure that'll work fine. Yeah, I was trying to use Thrash there, but that works too. Level 36. Magnemite. Um. Oh, I really should not have brought up Pidgeotto. I just kind of want him to get unsleepified, but he's probably going to get KO'd by this Magnemite. Yeah. He's probably going to get killed here, but I'm going to I'm going to let it happen. Because he's asleep. And bro, Pidgeotto, come on, bro. You're going to wake up. Oh, Lord, he's taking the nap of a lifetime, dude. He's taking a nap of a lifetime. Alright, well, now you're gonna die. Never mind, let's go ahead and switch him out. Blastoise. Supersonic. Oh. Confuse is definitely probably like the most frustrating move in the game just because like it takes forever for the animation and then Oh Lord. Come on. There we go. Alright, we defeated Super Nerd Aiden. Alright, come on, let's get a move on. Last dude. Alright, let's play a game. Eh, I mean, like, chess or. What do you want to play, big dog? Polywag. We need one of those. Although, I don't know if it's an exclusive or not, so I'd have to check. There we go. Two spirits. Polywag. Nope. I'm keeping, keeping Needle King. There we go. Let's go ahead and switch out to. I like the Zam. Spoon Man. That's going to use Secret Power. Critical hit. Water gun. That's fine, that's not gonna do much. Alexan gained a lot of XP there, wow. Level 30 Alakazam. Future Sight. What does that do? Um Go ahead and uh, use that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Player defeated the gamer stand. Okay, I think that's all of the trainers on here. So real quickly, let's go ahead and try to catch that Vulpix. She looks like it could be caught. Would you like to cut it? Yeah, sure. All right, let's try to find that Vulpix. Hey, and there is the Vulpix. Alright, that was 
pretty quick. Um, Let's just throw one Great Ball, just see if we can catch it right away. If not, we'll go ahead and try to hurt it a little bit, but... Okay, never mind. I always try, and it never works, and I don't know why I insist. Oh, really? Alright, here is another Vulpix. Let's go ahead and try this again. Will a cut kill it? Oh, that's not good. That's not... I'm, now I'm, I'm definitely going to kill it. Oops. Alright, there is another Vulpix. Now this time I'm going to need to not kill it. Do a quick attack? Apparently, even my weakest attack is enough to kill it, so... Alright, another Vulpix, and... We can't hurt it, basically, so... We really just have to hope that the Great Ball sticks, because I can't hit it. If I hit it, I kill it. Oh, this is gonna be really hard to catch. Not because it's hard to catch, but because I can't hurt the stupid thing. Um... Can I do anything? I don't even have any, like, status effect things, right? Alexam, do you have, I forgot. Do you have status effect things? Ember? That's fine. Um... Could flash it. I don't think that does anything, though. No? Oh, okay, I was like, that's gonna make it go away. Alright, let's keep throwing... One of these has to catch it, right? One of these... Thank you. Holy. So yeah, it's gonna take forever to catch this thing because you can't hurt it. When it was born, it has just one snow white tail. The tail splits from its tips as it grows older. Nope. Alright, thank you, Volpix. Thank you for allowing yourself to be caught. Alright, let's move on. That is all of this all of the new Pokemon on this route. I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait, there's the road's closed. Okay. Well then, we'll just do the classic. Eh, we'll just go around. A department store in Celadon is a great selection. Do you go there very often? I, not particularly. All right, underground path where we can use our bike. Go super speed. I'm fast. You don't even know how fast I really am. I heard a sleepy Pokemon appeared out near Celadon City too. You know, those pesky Snorlax. Alright, um... I think this is the same... Probably the same Pokemon here, right? So, I think we're good. Celadon City. Alright, first things first, let's go ahead and heal. Would you like me to heal your Pokemon? Yeah, sure, why not? Thank you. We hope to see you again. Probably. Keep out of Team Rocket's way. Sure, bud. Ooh, you've got a Poly? This is my trusted pal, Polyrath. It evolved from Polyroll when I used a Water Stone. Alright, well, we can get our hands. Wait, ooh, what's over here? Well, well, we'll come to that in a second. What is this place? I rack, I rack, if only every day we're like, is this a gambling place? I sure do fancy that Porygon, but it, it's hard to win at slots. Coin case is required. Where do I get a coin case? Oh, I probably get it from this bigger building, right? Welcome to the- do you need a, some- yeah, um... Well, first I need a coin. You can exchange your coins for fabulous prize next door. Alright, um... Yeah. So you don't have a coin case. Okay, well where- Where do I get a- shouldn't you sell me a coin case? Guardian's poster, go away or else. Like... I won't let you buy my thing. You don't have a coin case. Well, just give me a coin case so I could buy 
Like, these are terrible businessmen. Alright, Aerial Ace. face. Alright, and... Oh, it's really faster than me? How? It's level 20. Zubat, no, we'll stay. And we can, we can stick to that. Runs. Dang. The team rock the leader hideout might be discovered. I better tell boss. Or he could just not leave. Hey, switch by the poster. Let's push it. Okay. Well, we're gonna go down there later. I wanna check out some other things first. Oh, what am I to do? Someone stole our self scope. He came running this way. I'm sure of it. I lost sight of him. Where'd he go? Moan. I blew it all on the slots. I knew I should have cashed in. What are you staring at? Get lost or I'll punch you. There's basement in the game corner, I swear. Um, okay, so they won't sell me food. Go ahead, laugh. I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me. I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. Coin case. Alright, well, that was ex extremely complicated to get considering it was just a box, but hey, fair enough, I guess. Hee hee hee, the slots just reel in the dough big time. Chief, we just shipped 2,000 more Pokemon as slot prizes again today. Okay, well, that's the owner of the slots. Alright, what about you? Pokemon, no, it's all for people. We're full up, unfortunately. Um, okay. Oh. And then, that's where you, where you use cut, right? Why did they block it off, considering I just walk around? Okay, that's a very interesting way to do things. What is this? Yeah, let's go ahead and cut this. That brings us... Okay, over to the gym. Alrighty. So that... The, now we know where the gym's at. So what else do we have around here to explore? I think that might be it. Celadon takes pride in it. Ever the city beautiful. Let's have the new game corner. Yes, that's how we get out of here. This is the store, which I'll check out in a minute. Ah, uh, ow, I, sc I scolded my tongue. This nice old lady in the mansion gave me some tea, but it was boiling hot. Gotta cool it down to drink. Um, oh, this is the hotel. I will right, we'll come back here in a little bit. Is that kind of it? What's back here? Alright, this is to go to the back of the hotel. There's an item here. Found one ether. Okay, let's run over here. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode off here. We'll go ahead and explore the rest of the city and do a lot of the missions in the next episode. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. So, we made it to Celadon City. We explored a little bit of it last episode, but we really got to explore more of it today. So, let's go ahead and... We finally got the coin case. So, um, what does this lady want? Um, can you coins for fabulous prizes next door? Okay. So, do you need some game coins? Yeah, let's go ahead and buy 500. Um, let's just go ahead and spend our money on a plate. Yeah, why not? Um, okay. What did I just do? Oh, okay. So we... Okay, we won six from that. Okay, so we can play three coins every single time. Okay. 
Okay, let's go. Let's use like 50 coins. And let's see what we can get here. What are the prizes again? Okay, so. Alright, we need to get that 777. Let's see if we can get it. Oh! Oh no, but we didn't have it on the right one! Okay, we won four. We literally got the 777, but I was. But that one time I didn't click on all three. That was actually. That's fairly annoying, actually, considering we got it. Okay, so I just googled it. Of like the prizes, most of them can be won from the Safari Zone, except one, which is Porygon. The problem is that Porygon is like a lot of coins. Like, if I technically do the math, it's like over a hundred thousand in money. So, um. Honestly, this is this is we're not gonna be able to win enough to get the Porygon. What we're gonna need to do is just farm up actual money and then just buy the coins. Because I've already lost technically like one or two thousand dollars just doing this. So I'm gonna keep going until maybe nine hundred. Just to see if we can hit that 777 maybe. But we only hit it once, and it was when I didn't bet on it, so. Oh, there we go! We won the 777! And there is 300 coins, so we're technically in profit now. And here's what I wonder if I do this long enough, is it profitable? Can we go all the way to 6,500? Maybe I'm, I might sit here for a while and just spam it and see if we can actually go into profit. I think it'll be interesting to see. Okay, um, a little while later, uh, it has been proven it is profitable. The machine, overall, is profitable. I started at 1,000 coins, I am at 6,700. It is a profitable machine. Now that is for, I guess, one big reason. Apparently, and I actually didn't know this until like I got like 3,000 coins. These two machines up here have better odds of winning. No idea why, but according to the wiki, it does. And again, funny enough, I didn't know until I was at 3,000 coins and I was wondering why I was winning so much. Um, also probably a bit of luck, but there is from 1,000 to 6,700. And with that, we can actually get the only prize that matters, because Dratini and Pinsir we can grab from Safari Zone. The one prize that does matter, though. Um, so I don't need any of those. Yes. I would like a Porygon. Yes, give me that Porygon. Um, nope. That is the only Pokemon that you can get from the Game Corner that is exclusive to the Game Corner. So really, Game Corner is done. That's all I needed it for. I put in 20k... And then I got a Porygon out, which is pretty good considering normally you'd have to pay like over a hundred thousand for it. So that's pretty good. All right, we we are now done with the game corner. Let's move on to. Let's go. I think we can grab an Eevee from here. Okay, let's go around. Let's talk to this grandma. See what she says. All right, need her in. You shouldn't spend all your money on drinks. Try this instead. Obtained tea. Nothing beats thirst like some tea. It really is the best. And I'm pretty sure that we can give to the guards so they'll let me through those stupid doors already. It's gonna be pretty, pretty cool. 
Oh, no, I did not want to go. Let's check out. I want to make sure I want to check out every single one of these rooms. Okay, I cannot touch that. That's fine. We're on this way. Let's see. Okay. There is nothing that I don't know, like I wrote on that blackboard. I know about the world of Pokemon and your Game Boy Advance. Get together with your friends and enjoy trading Pokemon. Obtained an Eevee. You wanna give, no, I don't. Eevee was transferred to Bill's PC. All right, well, we should definitely use that EV. I think that would be kind of litty. So I guess let's go ahead and, uh, oh, man, these stairs alternate, and it's, it can get a little confusing. All right, so that's cool. I think now we only have two more places to do. We have the store to check out, and then we can finally go do the Team Rocket hideout thingy. Let's go inside and go inside the store here. Hello, welcome to Southern Department Store. The board on the right describes the store layout. First floor, service. Second floor, so trainer's market, TV game shop, wise man gifts, drug store. What was that? Wait, what was the roof? Rooftop, square, vending machines. Okay. And we still have 10k, actually, so... Let's check out each one, one by one. Hi there. What do you sell? Ooh. Dig brick brick super star. Hyper beam might be good. Um. We, won't, we don't need any of them now, though. What about you? Great balls. Okay. Nothing we need right, right now. No, I'm good. To try to revive. I mean, why is she saying it like it's a drug? You've seen any of the revives? Captured Pokemon registered with an ID number and an OT. OT stands for original trainer, the trainer that caught it first. Oh, hi, I finally finished Pokemon. Not done yet? How about I teach you a good move? This counter. Um, this move can only be learned once. Yeah, who can learn it though? And do it. Oh, all of them. I think Golem should learn it. Yeah. I think. I think Rock Tomb should be replaced. Okay, and he learned Counter. That's pretty cool. Are you using that counter move I taught your Pokemon? Uh, well, I haven't left the building yet. Come on, Haunter, I love Haunter. I collect them, huh? Haunter turned into a different Pokemon while being traded. Yes, and we already know that mechanic. Alright, cool. Alright, next floor. Let's go through every single floor. Probably not gonna end up spending my money, but I'm getting a present for my girlfriend. I guess a Poke Doll will be it. It's a popular thing. Hi there, may I help you? What can you buy? Ooh. Um, retro mail. Here's the thing, we're gonna we're gonna need multiple of these. Um, okay, let's let's remember to come back to this. To this floor. I heard something useful. If a wild you can have a polka doll, you can run away while the wild balloon is distracted. Why would I ever run away from a wild Pokemon? Okay, okay, oh, um, okay, so this is just permanent stat boosts. Okay, those are very expensive, though. Maybe when I find a way to make money. Hi there, may I help you? Okay, okay, that's fine. All right, let's go to the roof. My sister's a painter, believe it or not, but she's so much she drives me nuts. Okay. I'm thirsty, I want something to drink. Alright, let's go ahead and buy one of each. Okay. 
Um, oh, I didn't mean to buy... Okay, lemonade, there we go. Alright. I'm thirsty, I want something to drink. Give her a drink? Yeah. Give her a witch. Let's give her fresh water. Okay, we received TM16. Okay. Okay, yes. Why don't we give her soda? Okay, received TM20, which is safeguard. Yes, let's go ahead and give her the lemonade. Yay. And received... Reflect. Cool. Um, oh. Can I give her another one? No, thank you. Okay. Well, apparently she doesn't want another one. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead back down to the fourth floor. Let's go ahead and buy a f one stone of each, but we'll have to probably come back and buy more. Let's buy one fire stone. Okay. Buy one thunderstone. Go buy one water stone. And one leaf stone. And again, we'll need, like, I think I'll need a couple of leaf stones. I'll need a cup. Yeah, you guys get the idea. Oh, actually, wait. Um, how much can I sell some stuff for? Like, my... 50? No, I'm not giving my spoon for 50. 100? No. Pearl? 700? No. What about the nugget? Okay, so really, we can sell this nugget, and it's not really used for anything, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sell that. Ooh, I could sell that for a lot of money, too. I'm actually really thinking about it, like... I don't really need rare candy, I just level things up. I'm gonna sell it. That's, that's, again, it's not like Pokemon Go, where, you know, those things may be hard to come by, like, in this game, if you want to level up, you just fight things, like, it's not that hard, you know? Um, probably sell the pearl. I'm gonna sell the pearl. Alright, now we can buy a couple more stones, which is cool. But let me see what I need to buy. Well, I guess I could just buy... Um, just one more of each stone. So let's go... Yes, would you like it? Yes. Let's go ahead and buy one fire stone. Let's go ahead and buy one more thunder stone. We'll just buy two of each. Because these things, I'm going to have to come and get either way. But I'll just have two right now, just to kind of hold on to them. Cool. Alright. Well, that is good stuff for now. That was pretty cool that we had that nugget, because that, you know, got us a good amount here. Um, okay, so next, we got to go to the um, Team Rocket hideout. That is where we are headed next. Oh, also, we should probably stop by um, the Polka Stop, so I can, or, yeah, like, a Polka Healing Place, so I could grab, um... That Eevee. Alright, cool. We actually did a lot. We got a Porygon. We got a bunch of stones. We're, we're doing some good stuff here. How do I get to that man's house? Is there a secret door? How do I get to your house, bud? Oh, I probably have to surf to him, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and heal real quick. So a deposit. Alright, we gotta deposit a couple people. I think we should probably deposit Um Alakazam for now, which is very, very sad. So I'll send him to box four. And Man. I guess Golem? Let's send Golem. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Again, very sad. Let's go ahead and withdraw. We can go ahead and for sure withdraw Eevee here. And then who else do we want to withdraw? I mean... Do Porygon. Could also grab... Well, for now, let's go ahead and grab Oddish. 
we'll, and we'll slowly evolve Oddish as we go. So that'll be good. And of course, again, Oddish won't be a permanent fixture, but hey, um, we'll grab him for a little while and just go ahead and evolve him. I think he's one of the ones that needs a Leaf Stone, so... Um, Alright, well... We totally cleared out the game corner, but now let's go ahead to our, like, the actual mission here. I don't really know what I'm doing here, but... Um... Alright, let's fight them one by one. Alright, Team Rocket Grunt. Two Pokemon. Send out Drowsy. And I should probably put in um, some other Pokemon as the first so I can level them up a little bit. Ooh, Headbutt. Do a quick attack. Let's maybe get let's get Pid Pidgeotto to level 33. There we go. Cool. Team Rocket. Yeah, let's go ahead and change Pokemon. Let's get Oddish in here. And let's go ahead and switch him out already. Let's go. Let's go to Nidoking. King. Bam. Seismic toss. Ouch. Okay. Let's go ahead and thrash. Oh, and also we should. We could probably evolve our EV right now. But evolve it to who is the real question. So you got Flareon, Vaporeon, um, no. Hmm, now that's a debate. I think I'll probably turn it into Flareon. Actually, let's go ahead and do that right now. Firestone, use. Let's go ahead and give the Firestone to Eevee. Firestone was used on Eevee. What? Eevee's evolving? And this was a very rash decision very quickly, but I mean, we can make more Eevee later and grab the rest of them, but for now, I don't have a Fire Pokemon. And I think that this is going to be a pretty cool Pokemon to have around for a little while. Flareon. Congrats, your Eevee evolved into Flareon. I think that's pretty cool. Alright, what is all of this? It's a blueprint. Another blueprint. What's over here? Okay, so that door is blocked anyway. You've broken the Team Rocket's operation? What nerve. I got two. Eradicate. Alright, let's go ahead and aerial ace it. Hyper Fang, ouch. Alright, let's go ahead and do quick attack, and I think that'll kill it. Yeah, there you go. Eradicate. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and change. Switch over to Oddish again. Again, we'll, we'll just get some Oddish, some XP as we go. Eradicate. Maybe we can even bring in Flareon. Let's see what Flareon can do, huh? Flareon is level 25, so it's not like it's a weak Pokemon. Although I don't know what moves it has, I didn't particularly check. Oh, it does not have a. F it doesn't have any fire. Okay, um, that's kind of bad. I'm bringing my champ. I didn't realize that it didn't have any fire moves. I don't know if I'll have to teach it to it, because those are kind of expensive. But, um, yeah. Well, since my speed is lowered anyway, we can probably use Vital Throw just to get that slight advantage of the power. Vital Throw. There we go. And we'll get a little bit of XP to everyone. Machamp gets some, Larion gets some, and Oddish gets some. Boom. Alright, what is over here? Is there anything here? Ooh, what is this? Found an escape rope. Okay, I definitely won't need that, but thank you. 
It's all complicated words. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that's everything for this one, so let's keep going. Okay. Boss said you ain't you can see ghosts with the silk scope. Very spooky. Alright. Oh, he has he has five Pokemon? Alright. Well, let's maybe get... We could use this chance to get Pidgeotto up to maybe an evolution or something. Alright. Uh, 20 minutes later. Let's go ahead and, um... See what we're doing here. What if we take that one and go zoop, zoop, zoop? Okay, so that means we can go and go this way and grab this. Found X speed. Okay. Now if we go this way. Ooh, Moonstone! We needed one of those. Um, alright, we can take this one. To grab this. Taunt. Hmm. Okay, we can now take this one. Which... Can take let's, let's go ahead and take this one. Oh, that brings us to the beginning. Okay, well we can take that one. We'll take this one. This will bring us to two different places. We can go over here to grab this one. Okay. We, okay, that those two are pretty useless, but okay, so it looks like we have to now go back. There. Go there. Go there. Go there. And now we can go on the bottom. Oh, I made a mistake. I should have gone on the top. Oops. Okay, there we go. There we go. Bang, bang. Bang. Now we make it over here. Okay, what is this, an elevator? Okay, well I don't wanna, cause I wanna check out every single floor. It's all complicated words that make no sense. Why did you come here? I don't know, dude, just for fun I guess? Oh, another long battle, okay. We're gonna go ahead and end the episode off here, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, what's up, guys? We're playing Pokemon. We're in the middle of uh, Team Rocket's hideout thingy. Um, let's continue where we left off. I'm hoping this guy doesn't have a million Pokemon like all of his other buddies do. Oh, three. Okay, not terrible. All of his other buddies seem to have like five, and it just takes absolutely forever to get through all of them. But we'll get through them. And it seems like... Oh, that's not good. I can't one-shot any of them either, which is slightly annoying. But, they're not... It's not like they're hard. Because, you know, they're level 20. Coughing. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch real quick. Let's go ahead and bring on Nidoking. I think Nidoking could do some good stuff here. Alright, and then we could go ahead... Let's just go ahead and thrash. Because I think that's our strongest one right now. He only has one other one left, so go ahead and thrash the next one too. There we go. 
Easy peasy. Alright, Nido King is level 37. Player defeated Team Rocket Grunt. I can't do it! No, you can't, bud. At least you admit it, though. Alright, oh, there's like... Nothing over here? The telephone, better not use it. Found a hyper potion. Okay. What about this computer? Okay. Alright, I guess we can go back down. And we can use the elevator. And then we can get to all of the... F I need a key? Alright, I don't know where that key is. Um... I guess let's go... I need to go down. The key will probably be down here. That's probably the key right there. We got word from upstairs that you were coming. Well, that's not very nice. Alright, two. Good. I like it when they have two. I like it better when they have one. I'm going to aerial ace it. Easy, super effective. Okay. About to bring him a chop. Oh, we, can keep, we can keep him Pidgeotto. Another aerial ace. Super effective. Okay. Player defeated Team Rocket Grunt. What? I lost. No. Ah, sucks for you, buddy boy. Skirt. They gave me that key. Okay, not a key. Probably that one over there is the key. And if that's not the key, then I need to talk to someone to get the key. Um, okay. Can't mess around with the machine. Let's grab this item. Ooh, rare candy. I could probably sell that. Or I could use it, but I'd rather sell it. Um... How do I even get down there? I don't think I can. Let's make sure I don't miss anything here. What is down here? Okay. Stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs or else. Nah. I'm cool. Alright, Aerial Ace. It will probably bring Pidgeotto out of the limelight once we get into the final battle. But, or I could just use a potion on him, but... He also, he is, his PP is low, so... Alright, another Aerial Ace. Ooh, quick attack. But you suck. Oh, we can use our own quick attack. I'm faster than you. Alright. <clears throat> cool, cool. Drowsy. Let's go ahead and switch. I'm gonna bring on Machamp. Machamp is a little under level. He's only 33. Let's go and do Vital Throw. I know he'll, he'll hit me, but he, they never hit that hard. Not very effective. Maybe it's because you're garbage. What is down here? Black glasses. I don't know what those do, but they sound cool. Found Max Ether. Found Snatch. Okay. The elevator doesn't work. Who has the lift key? Do you have the lift key? Alright, two. Alright, go out, Pidgeotto. Let's go ahead and do a... Uh, let's use the last of the aerial aces here. Ah, uh, but you're terrible. Alright, wing attack. There you go. Zubat. And eh, we can keep Pidgeotto out still. And slash it. Very easy. Not too bad. 
Uh, do you have the lift key? Oh no, I dropped the lift key. <laughs> Alright, thanks man. Appreciate you and your uh, cooperation. He just happened to drop the lift key. Okay. Now we can go up. Oop, I accidentally did the fast forward. Okay, well now we can go ahead and go zoop, zoop, zap, zoop. Um, then go down here. Then go down here. Go. Oopsies. Did not mean to do that. Alright, restart. Yep, go zoop, zoop, zoop. Down here. Then there. Then there. I gotta not miss my little... Okay, then there. Then there. Then there. Cool. Alright, now we can use the lift key to go to the fourth floor. Let's go to the fourth floor. Or the fourth basement floor, technically. Found calcium. Okay, that's a upgrade of Pokemon. How can you not see the beauty of our evil? I don't know, man. Because y'all suck at it. Alright, let's get, go ahead and get through these nerds. Right, my attack is lower, but that's not going to be a big deal. Aerial Ace. Poison Sting. Well, it's a good thing it didn't poison me. I'll give it to level 35. I don't know when Pidgeotto evolves, but I have an inkling it's 36, but I have no idea. Let's go ahead and bring out Machamp here to go against Sand True. Alright, let's use Brick Break. There we go. Alright, now Machamp is 34. Arbok. Hmm. I don't want to bring in Oddish. And we'll swap him right out, but. That's a pretty cool Pokemon, though. But, yeah. And we can bring in Blastoise. Our back is Leer. Mm, eh, that won't do much. Go and water gun him. Oh, that only did half? That's pretty surprising. And I'm glad it didn't poison me, because then I have to use an antidote, and that takes a whole five seconds, so. Okay, Oddish grew to level 19. Slowly but surely. I have to be both of you, don't I? Oh, come on, man. You have three. Okay. Uh, ooh, I probably shouldn't use the Aerial Ace here, but that's alright. I'll say, because that, that thing could kill me. Thank God it didn't, though. No, let's go ahead and stay. Ekans. Um. Okay, yeah, let's actually go ahead and switch out. Let's bring in Machamp. Use Leer. I love using Leer. Too bad it doesn't really do much. Ignore. Oh. Wait, why won't he? Why won't he do what I say? Is he too high level? He's 34. He's not that high. And some of my other Pokemon are even higher. I don't understand. Will Nido King ignore my orders? Why is my Machamp ignoring my orders? 
Is it because it's traded? I don't understand. Well, I guess we'll figure it out later. There's his sand slash. Okay. Burned again. No. Thank you. Alright, there's the team boss. So let's go ahead and, um. Um, let's put Oddish up front. So we can switch into someone else. So I must say, I'm impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I'm the leader, Giovanni. With your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Alright, bud. Alright, Giovanni. What are you starting with? Onyx? Level 25. Now let's go ahead and switch out to Blastoise here. Use Rage. <laughs> 2 HP. Alright, my guy. Super effective. Okay, Oddish gained some, I gained some. Yep, let's go ahead and switch back into Oddish. Rhyhorn, level 24. What I wonder? Could I maybe kill it? Mm, how much do we absorb back? Hey, yo, is Oddish cracked? What? My lord, Oddish. Bro, you sucked that. Whoa. Alright, let's leave him in. Um, well, actually, Genghis Khan's gonna be much, much harder. Oh, is he dead? Sorry, Oddish. Um,. That's my bad. Alright, Nido King. We'll we'll let Nido King take the um the honors here. Oh wow. <laughs> but you missed. <laughs> you suck. Alright, well we didn't kill it in one turn, which is very odd. Okay, and it confused us. Um, we can go ahead and rock slide it, if we can hit it, of course. Alright, cool. Good job, Nita King. Nita King is always there to finish off the job. Except Oddish just got murked. <laughs> just, what? This can't be. Yeah, Oddish got murked hard. I see that you race Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall... Step aside this time. I hope we meet again. Tain Silk Scope. Okay, now we can go back to Lavender Town. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, what well, floor? Let's go to floor one. Alright, now we can. Oh. We have to fight a guy before we leave? Are you serious, dude? I just beat your boss, my guy. You. You really want to be doing this? Alright, one more time. One more guy. Let's go ahead and bite him. Oh wow, he's not dead. Oh, why do you have to just keep a little bit of HP like that? Just die, dude. Just die. Alright. Alright, one more. Let's go ahead and water gun it. Alright, there we go. Like I said, I defeated your boss, big bye. Big bo big bye. Big boy. Like, come on, man. Alright, let's get out of here. And once again, 
Thank you for your monies. I'm trying to think if I should get some more money. Should I play a little more? Alright. Um, I won one more jackpot, but I just looked at things that I can buy, and to be 100% honest, I really just don't need any of them. So, that's fine. Um, we can go ahead and go back to Lavender, but I'm very curious how what's over here. And we should also probably fight that- oh, it's asleep. He's sleeping, and ain't he? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's, what- I wonder, what can I find over here? I'm guessing... Oh, I can go past here? Can, do we, oh, okay, these guys wanted to fight. Okay, well, let's go and fight these guys. Alright, young couple Leah and Jed. Rapidash and Ninetales, that's a pretty cool little fighting team. Well, I got these two. Go and water gun. Oh. Yeah, let's go and do that. That seems like fun. Sorry, Rapidash. Oh, you didn't die? That's pretty crazy. Honestly, I thought that would definitely kill it. Apparently not. Brick break. Wow, they seem to both not want to die very quickly. I'm gonna just karate chop the other one. Tackle. There goes Rapidat. It's a critical hit now, but not like I really needed it. Number. Uh, yeah, <laughs> good try in that one. Alright, we'll just tackle both of you then. Oh, but Jed looks so cool even on a loss. Alright, so it looks like in this little patch of grass here, we can actually find, uh, Doduo. So let's- Hey, there we go, Doduo. Okay, level 20. Um, I wonder, does a tackle kill it? Might be a bad idea. Why did you have to crit it? Alright, another Doduo. Level 18. Again, please, I'm probably gonna kill it here, even if it's not crit. Oh! I didn't. Okay. This Blasted just wants to be a wiener and just crit the other one. Alright, this should be pretty easy to catch now. It's very, very low. Watch as I say that, it breaks out. Okay, there we go! Doduo! Not bad. Thank you, Doduo. A bird that makes up for its poor flying with its fast foot speed leaves giant footprints. Cool. I like Doduo. Now, question. Since I can go over here... What is this? Route... Okay, this is a continuation of Route 16 here. Oh dear, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. Received. What is this? Is fly. Ooh. Okay. I will definitely put that to good use. Let's go ahead and teach that to the one and only Pidgeotto. Alright, yep. Let's go ahead and delete a move. Which move should be forgotten? Probably Gust. Yeah, Gust is like beginning of the game type of move. And machine set. We learn fly. Do you want to learn fly? So now we can fly. So how do we use it? We just go to um, Pokemon. Fly. And then we can just kind of fly anywhere, huh? Let's go ahead and go to Celadon. Which is... We should probably just fly to Lavender. But I just want to double check there's not anything here. Okay, so if we come over here... That's where we came from originally. 
Can I get past the guy now? Oh, that tea, it looks awfully tasty. Can I have this drink? Gee, thanks. Glug, glug. If you want to go to Saffron City, you can go through. I'll share this tea with the other guards. Okay, so, oh, this is Saffron? Okay, well, I don't want to go to Saffron right now because it totally slipped my mind that there is a gym here. Like, I came to this whole town and there's a gym. Let's go ahead and fight the gym. How are my Pokemon doing? Let's go. Should be a pretty easy gym overall. And of course we have the classic old man. Hee hee hee, this gym is great, it's full of women. <laughs> a classic. I should tell you about this Tim. Only real ladies are allowed in here. Okay. Last K. Alright, who do you got? Bellsprout? Well, I got Oddish. Which is not... Which I think is cooler. Um... We just cut. Stun Spore? That's annoying. I mean, Oddish... Um... How much is that gonna do? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and bring in someone good. Flareon. Let's go. Oh, I already forgot. Flareon doesn't have any fire moves. Oops. Um. Oh, we can use Quick Attack. Alright. More Acid. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep Flareon out. Even though I don't have a fire move. That's fine. Bell. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch. Let's go ahead and switch back to Oddish. And then let's go ahead and switch him out. Again, this is all just for levels. I just want to get Oddish a couple levels here. Go ahead and go to Needle King. Alright, well now I can't leave. Which is perfectly fine with me. Go ahead and thrash it. by Weeping Bell. Alright, Oddish, go to level 21. You're too rough. Oh, I didn't even know this was happening right now. Cool. I didn't know what level he was doing it at. Alright, our Oddish is evolving. And it's really not going to stay in that form for very long, so I'm just going to use a Leaf Stone on it. Cool. Congrats. Your Oddish evolved into a Gloom. And then literally right away, I'm just going to go ahead and grab a little um, Leaf Stone. And then I think I could use it on it. Yep, there we go. Alright, Gloom is evolving. Alright, evolution after evolution. Here we go. Bloom evolved into Vile Bloom. Congrats, your Gloom evolved into Vile Bloom. Alright, and now we can go ahead and uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and put him away, right? Um, let's switch in Pidgeo Pidgeotto. And we could theoretically get him to evolve too. Ah, welcome. I was getting bored. Alright, Beauty Bridget. Oh, he has, she has four? All right, well, let's cut them all down, Pidgeotto. Pretty close to 36, too, so. These are all gonna be super effective, because these are all grass and bug Pokemon, so. Nope. Okay, let's go and do Aerial Ace. Critical hit and super effective. Okay. It's gonna Oddish. And I'll just keep aerial acing here. Alright. Slowly but surely.
Absolutely just running through these Pokemon. Alright, we defeated Bridget. Okay. Let's go ahead and cut this. Okay, so I, I have to defeat her, but let's go ahead and defeat these side people. Let's defeat these ones first. When you weren't you peeking in here earlier? No, that was old man, you weirdo. Alright, Tina. You only got two. Alright, we're just gonna keep giving you the same treatment as everyone else. And a critical. Nice. Alright, Ivy Sword. No, we'll, we'll go ahead and keep Yodo out. We could also use Fly, but I don't think Ariel Ace is enough. Alright, we defeated Tina. You're an eye opener. Indeed, I am. Right, let's go ahead and beat this one. This one has a lot of Pokemon. Look, look, see my Pokemon. I like the grass type. I like how they're easy to raise. Are they easy, though? I'd more say they're boring to raise. Two? Oh, it's Tamiya. Oh, she, oh, she only has two. Never mind. Someone else over here has like five. I'm gonna use Fly. Stun Spore missed. And I've come down. What? I missed? I defeated Tanya. I knew it. I thought it was 36. Pidgeotto was evolving. Because I didn't look it up. A lot of these I do, but some I don't. I, Pidgeotto, I guessed it was 36. Because that just it seems like that's like pretty normal for a lot of Pokemon, but... Alright, we got ourselves Pidgeot. Congrats, your Pidgeotto evolved into Pidgeot. Pretty cool. Alright, one by one. Welcome to Celadon Gym. You'd better not underestimate the nice ladies here. Well, maybe I'd not underestimate you if all of you just didn't use grass Pokemon. Cool trainer Mary. Alright, what's Pidgeot look like? That's pretty cool. Alright, Ar Ariel Ace it. But we could probably move Pidgeot out. Just because Pidgeot's gotten enough XP as of recent. Let's go ahead and change. Gonna get Machamp a couple levels here, huh? Let's go ahead and use... I don't know if... Um... Why won't this Machamp... I don't know why he won't follow what I'm saying. He's, like, he's only 34. Alright, whatever, Machamp. You're gonna you're gonna get the box soon, my friend. Alright, thank God that missed. Yeah, he's getting the box soon, man. I can't deal with this any longer. He's not listening. I don't know if it's maybe a glitch in the emulator or what is going on. Or maybe I need this badge for him to start listening. But, I'm not dealing with it anymore. I'm about to put him in the box. So I'm going to do Rock Slide. Because, you know, Nino King's 37, and he's, he's he listens. Alright, about to use Bloom. Alright, send it out. And we'll keep hitting him with a Rock Slide. Oh, I didn't, I didn't kill it. No, I didn't. And now he's paralyzed. Um, let's go bring Flareon out. I think Flareon can take off, can take out this gloom. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's do some quick attacks. That's not good. Let's keep doing them, huh? Maybe we'll actually kill it. 
Oh, now we're paralyzed too. That's no fun. Ouch. <laughs> that wasn't a lot. Okay, one more quick attack and it should it should go down. One more quick attack. Ivy Sword, yeah, let's go ahead and switch. Let's switch back to Pidgeot. Just because he's kind of he's doing the Lord's work right now. Alright, aerial ace it. Let's go, Pidgeot. There we go. I don't want to bring up Blast because these are grass Pokemon, you know? Alright, cool trainer. Who's next? Let's get let's get you two out of the way. We don't like bug or fire here. Well, I don't particularly got either of those, but I mean I have a Charmeleon in my box, but I don't wanna use I don't wanna use the Charmander line, so. As I say that I'm using a Pidgeot, which like everyone uses, but okay. He's he's really good at this specific gym anyway, so. Alright, Lisa. Alright, we got one more than the gym leader. There we go. Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. Well, clearly you don't do it good enough. Because you got a single Pokemon. But a pretty cool one to execute. We haven't seen that one before. But you're going to be gone pretty soon. There we go. Sorry, bud. Alright, Lori. Alright, last but not least. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I'm the leader of the Celadon Gym. I'm a student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are solely of grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Right. Alright. Ooh, that's a cool that's a cool Pokemon, a Victory Bell. Could get I should probably get one of those myself, now that I have a Leaf Stone. Oh, it's a little bit of No dude, this much HP. And now my stupid Pidgey's paralyzed. Alright, come on. Hyper Potion. Uh, well, I should probably unparalyze myself pretty soon. Okay. Um, where's the, um, paralysis heal, all right, we're gonna have to go through this process, okay, go ahead and aerial ace it again, I kind of just hope it kills it this time, somehow, I don't know how it killed it this time, but it did, that's all that matters to me. Tangela. Ooh, we haven't seen this Pokemon yet either. So now it's going to be in our Pokedex. Now we just need to go out and catch it. Super effective. I like Tangela. Tangela's pretty cool. Bio Plume. Hey, we just got one of those. Alright, Aerial Ace it. Almost. Stun Spore. Alright, and we're not paralyzed. Let's hope maybe the quick attack hits before. So now they're gonna use a hyper potion. N no! Okay. Alright, maybe this time? There we go. Alright, fainted. Alright, we defeated Erica. Oh, I can see defeat. I must confer to you the rainbow badge. Cool, maybe not much hemp will listen to me. Rainbow badge will make level Pokemon up to level 50 obey. It also allows Pokemon to use strength. In and out of battle. Please also take this with you. Received 19. What is that? It contains Giga Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree that it's a wonderful move? Yeah, it's pretty sadistic too. Not only am I going to kill you, but I'm going to steal your life. Hee <laughs> hee, this gym is great. Okay, we're going to talk to that guy. I, mean, I didn't know if maybe he said something different after we 
finished it, but... Okay. Now, we really should be heading over to um, Lavender. So I know we could use Fly. But let's just go ahead and maybe run there. Right, come on, Needle King. Cut that little tree branch. You know, probably just bring a knife, but hey. Who am I to say? Alright, so now theoretically we should be able to walk past this guy. Wait, now, now we're in Saffron. I don't want to go to Saffron. I want to go to Lavender Town. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and get Pidgeot to fly. And we're going to go ahead... What is this down here? Well, this is Vermilion. Okay. Well, we want to go over here to Lavender Town. Okay. But we are going to end the episode off here, guys. So thanks for watching. We're going to heal my Pokemon, and we're going to go up the tower. See you in a little bit. Hey, everybody. We're playing some Pokemon. We're here in Lavender Town. Um, this is the Pokemon that I currently have with me. Since we're going to be going into the Pokemon Tower, I'm going to go ahead and be using uh, uh, Pidgeot for today. Just because I know that's really good against Ghastlies. So yeah, let's go ahead and head over into the tower here. We got the Sylph Co, or the Sylph Scope, last episode, so we're finally able to like see the ghosts and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, again, I haven't been here in a little while. Like we we fought a blue right here. We could not identify the wayward ghosts. A Sylph Scope might be able to unmask them. Yep, and that's what we did. Alright, and I will be fighting every single one of these, I don't know if they're called channelers, ghosts, hunters, whatever, um, for the sake of completion, but yeah. Whoa, she literally turned around, she chooked me. Alright, our first Ghastly, and um, we will, of course, be catching one of everything, so Ghastly is new. So, oh, um, oh, I forgot, physical doesn't work. Um, okay, neither of those worked. Um, which one? I don't want to- I'm gonna kill it on accident. Yeah, I'm gonna kill the stupid thing on accident, so... Um... Uh... Well, uh... Okay, that person's on something. Uh, Channel or Hope. Alright, Ghastly. And again, in this, um... In the Pokemon Tower... P Pidgeot's just gonna be an ace here. Um... Yeah. We're probably not going to use anything other than Pidgeot just for a little while here. Um, just because it's going to be just so easy to fight off these Ghastlies. Be gone, malevolent spirit. Well, I mean, you're kind of in their home, but hey, who, who am I to nitpick? Alright, let's just go and do another aerial ace. I'm glad a lot of these um, people only have like a single Pokemon. It makes things um, just a tiny bit easier here. Uh, what is over here? So I think this is the stairway, but I might have to run back. Alright, another Ghastly. Let's try to catch this one. Yeah, I gotta try to catch it without killing it. Let's just uh, let's just see what happens if I just chuck a great ball at it. Just chuck it and let's see what happens. Okay. Um, I might have to switch to another Pokemon. Okay. Is afflicted by curse. Okay. Well, hey, that helps a little better. It lowered its own HP, so um, profit? Question mark. Profit. Okay. I mean, that's one way to lower a Pokemon's HP is just have it doing themselves. Almost invisible, this gaseous Pokemon cloaks the target and puts it to sleep without notice. Nope. Alright, cool. We got ourselves a Ghastly. Um, let's go ahead and fight this person over here. And then we're also going to want to be looking for a, a Cubone. And... If we can, we can just grab a Haunter too. Although, it's gonna be really hard to catch the Haunter. But, we can try to do it anyway. Alright, Aerial Ace. 
And it was a crit. Look at that. Alright, Fidget. Oh, what am I doing? I, bro, I don't know. You tell me. You're in this creepy place for some reason. You tell me what you're doing. Be cursed with me. Uh, no, I'm good. You know, I'm like really like vibing right now without like being cursed or anything. I'm, I'm kind of, a, I'm kind of in a good place. I don't think I need any uh. Toxic friends right now. Another ghastly. Okay. Yeah, Pidgeot's gonna have a little bit of a field day here. Also, am I saying Pidgeot right? I think so. I feel like I'm saying it wrong. There's a lot of items on this floor, geez. Well, let's grab them all. Alright, Cubone or Haunter? Another Ghastly. Well, we don't need more Ghastlies, but we're definitely gonna... Let's just, just use a Wing Attack, because Wing Attack will kill it. We definitely want to be killing all of them, just, um... You know, just free XP, basically. On Awakening. Beat me not. Well, Honk? Why would I beat you not? And these guys are really original. Every single one of them just has a ghastly. You'd think like... Well, I guess in this generation there's not too many other ghost Pokemon, but... You'd think like, hey, maybe we could try using a different ghost Pokemon. But I don't think there is any other ones. So... Uh, on one Great Ball. Another Ghastly. And another Wing Attack. I forgot how many floors there are, but I think... Oh, there's seven, okay. Like, looking over here at like, my little wiki. Ghost, no! Alright, send out your Ghastly. Did you? And, oh, wait, will Wing Attack kill it? Okay. Noted, I could just use Wing Attack. I thought maybe it wouldn't kill it because it's my weaker move, but, um... Apparently that's not the case. I don't even have to worry. Is there anything up here? There isn't. Okay. Then, let's go ahead and go up here. You shall join us. Oh, like I said, I'm kind of in a good place right now. I need a water, dude. This is water. Um, wing attack? Let's go grab another water soon. I mean, this is the first video today. I literally just took a shower. Now I'm recording. Entered the purified and protected zone. Red's Pokemon. Ooh. That's cool. I mean, I think a lot of the reason why they added that. Come, child. I pure the space. You can rest here. Um, you know, a lot of people when they first play this game, when they come to here, they have a hard time with the ghost typing. You know, like I said, I, I know that um, Pidgeot here is going to be really good for the tower. And it's, it's very overleveled. Um, but I think a lot of, like, especially, like, little kids when they first play, or, like, me, when I was a little kid, I first played it, they didn't realize specifically, like, wh what the best way to take down the tower was. So, a healing spot like that's actually really cool. Hunter is really good, because a lot of people might actually have an extremely hard time here, just kind of not knowing what to do. Again, if, if, if it's, like, your first, you know, time playing it. I feel like it might be like, might be pretty frustrating and hard not realizing like, you know, what to do. Zombies. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're, we're on ghosts here, man. One horror trope at a time. Why are we bringing zombies into this? 
Let's just let's uh, stick to ghosts for now. Alright, level 39. Almost at 40. Defeated Channeler Katrina. Alright, let's grab this Pokemon. Never mind. Uh Yeah, these people are making some weird noises, man. Alright, Janae. Wow, super original. Oh, thinking about it, I should probably bring the Ghastly on my team. I think Ghastly would be cool to have on our team. Again, I'm, I'm having kind of like a really hard time picking everything that I want on my team, because... I mean, there's 151, which sounds like a lot, and it kind of is. I kind of go through, like, is that a lot or is that not a lot? Because it feels like, you know, there's probably only, like... 15 cool like really cool Pokemon, but then at the same time my team holds six so like 15 out of six out of 15 It's like oh, I need to drop almost half of them. You know, it's um I Always jump back and forth give me blood yikes, dude. I always jump back and forth between oh man There's like not enough cool Pokemon and well, there's enough to fill my team and you know All right, season aerial ace Cause even now there's like so many cool Pokemon in my box that like I want to use but you know I'm not going to like one is like Mr. Mime I really want to use a Mr. Mime <clears throat> or even uh, Alakazam but I just like I don't have the room right now I feel like Ghastly is one of the ones that I kind of want on my team now, I don't particularly know if, like, I have the room. I feel like that ghost typing is, like, really useful. Against a lot of types of Pokemon. But we'll see. Alright, give me a Cubone or a Haunter, please. Another Ghastly, alright. We'll find a, we'll find one of the rare ones eventually. Alright. On X accuracy. Key, 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 key. I found a sing Life's the newest Drake song. Alright. Here we lace it. Easy, easy, easy. Better defeat a channel with Jennifer. Oh man, these people need to use, learn to use dialogue. I can't tell if they're just like, I mean, this is kind of mean, but if they're selling on meth, are they possessed or just on meth? Because I feel like even if you're possessed, you could probably still have the ability to talk. So I definitely think they're on some form of drug. They have to be, right? Alright, we need to find that Q-Bone. Because we're not near the top of the tower, but pretty close here. So I'm going to probably go ahead and do a lot of encounters here. Oh, rare candy. Probably sell that for some money. Alright, let's see if we can... Um, can't use my bike in here. Cubone, that's what we were looking for. Yeah, baby. Um, I think I'm gonna kill it. Let's go ahead and bring off Flareon. Flareon has a quick attack that won't that probably won't kill it. Which is nice. A quick attack. Oh, perfect. Ooh. Alright, well, we can quick attack it again. Tail whip, that's fine. Alright, now we should be pretty... I'm sad it didn't go into the red, but honestly not that big of a deal. I think we're pretty much good to go here. Alright, there we go. Cubone is caught. Cubone's dad was added to the decks. 
because it never removes its skull helmet, no one has ever seen this Pokemon's real face. No. Alright. Well, the only thing, other thing we need is really Haunter, and we could probably just evolve a Ghastly. Be gone, Intruder. So, like, I think we're just good. I probably maybe won't look for that Haunter. The ghost appeared. self go unveiled the ghost's identity. Ghost was Marowak. Go, oh, Pidgeot. Do I use a quick attack? Alright, that's actually good. I don't... I don't want to do a whole lot of damage to it. I want to try to be careful here, especially with crits. Alright, let's do another quick attack. And again, I'm hoping... I don't want a crit here. And just to be safe... I'm going to use one more quick attack, and I really hope for no crit. Okay. I thought I was going to keep going, and I got really scared. Alright, we can, let's go ahead and catch this Marowak. Dot. Oh! This one can't be caught? Why not? It's. Alright, well, that was a waste of a ball. Why Why can't I catch you? You're a Pokemon! Okay, that's fine, I guess. The ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother's spirit was calm, but departed to the afterlife. Okay, I guess I'll just get one of my own then. What do you want? Why are you here? Um, I'm just gonna be a hundred percent honest. I'm not really sure. Why am I here? I don't know to beat up ghosts or something. I, don't know. I just, as as a child, I dreamed of scaling large buildings to just see what's at the top. But here I am. Alright. Zubat after Zubat. Ooh, psych. Golbat. But, make, won't make too much of a difference here. Oh, maybe it was. We didn't kill it. Alright. Oh, another aerial ace here. And here we go. But sadly, we do got. Ooh, we're level 40. We do got a few more rocket grunts to go through. I give up. That's because you're trash, kid. I'm not going to forget this. Alright, bud. This old guy marched right up to our hideout. Then he starts ranting about how Team Rocket's abusing Pokemon. So we're just talking it over as adults. Yeah, I'm sure. Alright, two. Alright, let's bring out our main guy. Oh, let's go ahead and just keep using aerial ace for now. We've, we have the move fly, but... Oh... That wasn't very nice of you. I mean, I get the tactic here, but that still wasn't very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and use fly now. Use the sable, but I'm in the sky, so... Easy. All right. Please, no more. Pokemon are only good for making money. Why not use them? You stay out of our business. Um, nah, maybe I'll maybe I'll keep chilling. To be honest, yo, why isn't my dude moving forward? Hello? Oh, wrong button. Huh? You're not saving anyone, kid. Oh, we've got four. All right. Oh, it's going to take a little longer to beat them, but should be no problem here. we got eight more aerial aces, so we should be chilling. Another Zubat. All right. Ratata. Another aerial ace. Literally, I'm just gonna call it call Pidgey. I don't feel like saying Pidgey. I'm just gonna say Pidgey. Pidgey's definitely having a field day here. 
I haven't used a single other Pokemon since we came. Ooh, Hyper Fang, that's a good one to dodge. We literally dodged two moves there. Epic. Okay, don't fight us rockets. You're not getting away with this. Oh, I just did. Mr. Fuji, huh? You came to save me. Thank you, but I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Poke... To, to my home, Pokemon house, at the front of this tower. Red. Your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest may fail. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. Hey, the Poke Flute! Upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it on Pokemon that are sleep that are, that are sleeping obstacles. Okay. This is really he's really kind. He looks after abandoned. Okay. Real quick, so that's cool. Now we can kind of get past the slowpoke. What I'm gonna do very quickly is um, head to the top of the tower and use the item finder so we can get the soothing bell. Item finder. Oh, the item finder is shaking wildly. There's an item buried underfoot. All right, we dug up the soothe bell. Okay, so now what does that do? Okay, so we got lift key. What does the soothe bell do? Uh Oh. Okay. Makes the Pokémon calmer and friendlier. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and use oh an escape rope just so I don't feel like walking out of here. Yeah, again, I just don't feel like walking out of here, so we'll just use an escape rope here. Okay, so now we're done kind of with this quest here. Um, let's go buy a couple more Great Balls. So, just to let you guys know, I did play a little while um, off camera. Um, just to catch some, basically, feeder Pokemon that I can use in trades. Um, so that's why I didn't, I bought some great balls and used them, that's why I had a little less. Okay, so now we're able to go to a couple places, since now we, um, basically because now we have the Polka Flute. Um, so I guess we can start exploring. I know a lot of people go a couple different places. Um, so this is Route 12. And I know now, Okay, yeah, let's go up here. I guess let's just, let's just explore, right? Oops. My Pokemon's ashes are stored in Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. All right, which one is it? Um, move called Return. It will train your love by working its hardest in battle. Okay, cool. I mean, I'll take it, I guess. All right, so now... Alright, now we're... Yeah, I got a bite here. We can fight some fishermen, and I know that we actually get the super rod here in a little while. And I can finally catch my beautiful Staryu that I've been wanting for so long. What is under my mat? Is this the crumb? Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and... We could probably switch out Pokemon. I'm gonna bring in King. Use Poliwag. I'm gonna use Thrash. Yeah, I think we, we get the we get the Super Rod here in a little while, so. How to use Goldeen? No, nope, we can keep Needle King out for a little while. And we can actually get him to level 38. Right, here we go. Needle King grew to level 38. Just a small fry. Alright, we need Surf to get to that one. Be patient, fishing is a waiting game. Alright, two. Pentacool. It's not a thing we'll need to catch. 
Yeah, man, today, usually I try to use a lot of different Pokemon in my episodes. Today is just a Pidgeot day, it seems. Let's we'll leave him out. Well, we are going to run out of PP with Aerial Ace here soon, so... Gotta, gotta be careful. Alright, level 41. The one that got away. The fishing fool versus Pokemon Kid. He's called himself a fool? That's not very nice of you, bud. Only one? Only one, Goldeen? That's all you got, bud? That's not an aerial ace. I, I think we'll kill it, right? Yeah. Here we go. Get a fisherman, Hank. Oh man, I didn't. Really, I love fishing. Don't get me wrong, but it'd be best if I also had more. If I also had more work. I realized there'd be this many fighters on the. Oh yes, four, dude. No. It's gonna take so long to get through all of them. And I only have zero area laces left. Well, I could always bring in Needle King, that's fine. Shelter. We'll keep Pidgeot out for one more. Wing attack will probably work here. Goldeen. Oh, I meant to totally switch Pokemon here. That's alright. Not that big of a deal. I was gonna bring out Nido King and just use Thrash. That also works. Alright, we can use Rock Slide. There we go. Defeated Fisherman Elliot. It's not easy. No, it is not. If I win, I'm going to propose to Gia. <laughs> ah, sorry, bud. Young couple Gia and Jess. Oh, that's cute. Although, not going to particularly work. Gonna use wing attack on Nidoran female and water gun on the Nidoran male. Oh no, but you got poisoned. All right, and then water gun. All right. Oh please, why couldn't you let? All right, I didn't even read that, but I'm guessing he's saying let you let him win. You silly, you ruined this. All right, here we are at Snorlax. Um, oh wait, the oh, I totally forgot the super art is below the Snorlax. Um, hmm, what do we do? We could probably just catch the Snorlax next episode. Yeah, let's go and do that, guys. So I'm going to end the episode off here, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. We're playing Pokemon. We just got the Poke Flute, and now um, we're going to go ahead and use it on the Snorlax. So we're going to try our best here to catch it. I know we will. I just hopefully I don't kill it accidentally. All right, the Snorlax woke up and attacked in a grumpy rage. And I know we do get a few chances to catch the Snorlax, too, so not like this is the only one we get. Um, it is level 30, and also my Pidgeot is very poisoned currently. Let's see what a, just a quick attack does. Okay. I will let my Pidgeot die. It's honestly not that big of a deal. I mostly just don't, don't want to kill the Snorlax. Do I die from poison here? I do, okay. That's fine, though. Um, we can go on and bring, bring out Flareon here. Again, I don't care if my Pokemon die. I'm very near a Pokemon, uh... To... Oh, I just need to get it to yellow, man. Oh, 
Oh no! I didn't realize if we didn't catch it quick enough, it ran it runs away. Oh, that really sucks. Okay. Um, that's fine. We'll catch the next one. Honestly, not that big of a deal. We will just catch the next one. Yes, here's the other Snorlax. Um, let's go ahead and try this again. Um, but this time we're actually going to catch it. Um, because I'm a dummy and, um, missed it the first time. Because I did not realize that it will get ungrumpy. Right, let's go ahead and quick attack it. Yawn. That's fine. Quick attack it again. Use yawn. That's okay. That's good. All right. Let's go for. Oh, we're asleep. Oh, well, I can still throw pokeballs while we're asleep, so that's fine actually. Let's go ahead and use some great balls here. And fingers crossed. I don't want to lose a second Snorlax. Oh no. Okay. Let's go ahead and use another one. That's not good. Oh, oh no. Um, let's let's go ahead and just use um an aerial ace here. And hope we do not, you know, let's go use wing attack. Oh, I'm asleep. No. Wake up! Oh no. Do a pigeon! Alright, please don't kill it. No, it healed itself. Why? Dude, no! At the worst possible moment. Alright, but should be asleep for a few turns. Alright, here's our time to catch it. It's asleep and low. I wish it was in the red. Alright, come on. Come on, please. Don't, don't let the second Starlux get away. All right, Whew. I got not. I was a little scared for a little while there. I am not gonna lie in the slightest. Very lazy, just eats and sleeps. As its rotund bulk builds, it becomes steadily more slothful. All right, Snorlax. Whew. That was um, a tiny little bit scary. So, okay, now here's where we kind of can decide what to do. We can go a few places. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is. Um, head down to, I don't know if it's, uh, Fuchsia, but, um, I want to head down to get the Super Rod. Let's go ahead and go back to Lavender Town, and that way we can kind of go back through and, um, go, go get the Super Rod. But I also, I want to grab a few Pokemon out of my box. So we're going to go ahead and, she's going to, let's heal our Pokemon. I want to put in the Vile Plume and um, my Flareon and grab a few other things that might be a little bit more interesting out. Alright, so which. Um, let's go ahead and deposit some Pokemon. Let's go ahead and put Vile Plume in box 5. Flareon in box 5. Um, we can go ahead and put Blastoise in box 5. We'll keep these three. Alright, we're gonna withdraw some Pokemon. Let's withdraw Ghastly. Um, maybe that's it for now. Let's go ahead and um, see what other Pokemon we can catch out in the wild. Okay, so that's all we need for now. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and grab our bike. 
and let's head down back route 12 but really we're gonna go down past the snorlax that we failed to catch and head down to fuchsia i think it's fuchsia if i remember correctly boom 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 yep so we can script through here go to this dude I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. I simply love fishing and can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Yes. Grand, I like your style. I think we give you friends. Take this and fish, young friend. Receive Super Rod. Super Rod and fishing is a way of life. It's like the finest poetry. From the seas to rivers, go out and land the big one, my friend. Now, I have a request. If you catch a big magic carp with the rod, I want to see it. As much as I love to fish, I also love seeing gigantic magic carp. Um. Okay. All right, well, now we have that super rod. So we can go ahead and kind of fish anywhere. Um, for a little while. I'm probably going to equip the super rod. We'll go and register that one. So now we can kind of fish and see what we get. All right, let's see what our first Pokemon is. And I'm hoping it is... Okay, Krabby. That is a new one. Let's go ahead and grab that Krabby. Let's go and use Quick Attack, and I don't think it'll kill it. Alright, good, good. Alright, he hardened. Let's go and throw out a Great Ball at it. Really what I'm looking for is Star You though. Actually, I don't think I'll be able to get Staryu here. Um, give a... Nope. But there is another Pokemon that we can catch. Slowpoke. That's a 1% chance. Um, so that's probably not gonna happen. Alright, so we're just gonna probably be catching Krabbies here. So, let's go ahead and... Actually, stop looking. Um, we'll try to grab that Slowpoke later. Let's keep heading out for now. Hello? Electricity is my specialty. I don't know a thing about Pokemon of the Sea, though. Yeah, and I just looked it up. There's only two po two Snorlaxes. So if we failed to catch that one, that would have been kind of ripperoni for us. Gonna use Aerial Ace. Oh, no. Well, we'll kill it either way, so let's go ahead and just do that. My question is, where can I find... Where can I find a Staryu? Electrode? Hmm. It's gonna switch out Pokemon. Bring out Nidoking. Spark. Doesn't affect Needle King. Let's just go ahead and thrash it. Oops, Screech again. A little bit of a longer battle than I wanted, but... Seems like I didn't have the right Pokemon to fight Electrodes. Partly because I put my Blastoise away. I want to make room for some new water Pokemon, but the one that I want, we're not going to be able to get right as of this moment, so. Alright, I want that item, whatever it is. Let's go ahead and use Cut. Searching for a Moonstone, have you found one? Uh, yeah, actually. Alright, two Pokemon, either and male. Alright, what are we looking for here? Oh no, we got poison. I and I don't know if I have an antidote. Alright, so let's go and get it over with. Alright, let's aerial ace it. Horn attack. Ooh, 
swear. Can we find a ditto here soon? That'd be pretty interesting. Alright, player defeated Camper Justin. Alright, let's go ahead and, um... We have an antidote here. Okay, I do have an antidote. I thought I thought I usually keep everything stocked. There we go. Let's let's also go ahead and uh, switch out Needle King to the front. Needle King will be able to take care of most of these Pokemon. Found one iron. Ooh, you never know what you could catch. Yeah, that's facts. All right, another fisherman. Sent out Magikarp. Good thing it's not a Gyarados. All right, about to send out another Magikarp. All right, here we go. Defeated Fisherman Andrew. Alright, we got a little uh, body of grass. I think we can find a new Pokemon here, I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and see what we can find. I'll probably just sit here until we find something new. Ah, there we go. There is something new a Venonat. Alright, let's go ahead and try to cut it. Hopefully, not kill it. Alright, use Confusion. Critical and super effective, and it still didn't do anything. Right, let's chuck a great ball at its head. I think we should be able to get it here. And then I know there is a ditto that we could catch coming up. I don't know if we can find it in this patch. Lives in the shadows of tall trees where it eats bugs. It is attracted by light at night. Um, but I know we could find a ditto for sure in the next area so we're just gonna go ahead and keep moving on here all right well i have to fight i found Car carbos in the cave once while i was splunking i do have to fight every single person so it's a little annoying but i will go ahead and fight these people it's gonna take a tiny little while but i just use thrash here About to use Poliwag. Let's go ahead and switch out to my champ here. I think my champ can do some work. Oh, we'll leave my champ in for a little while longer. Oh, I keep getting these notifications for a game on my phone. I'm gonna just un uninstall the game. Um, where is the game? I don't even know. At right, level 35. Alright, Alma. Thanks for your money. My bird Pokemon wants to battle with you. Your bird Pokemon? Bird Keeper Sebastian. Alright, let's go in a rock slide. Ooh, quick attack. And the crit. Yeah. And then he's gonna set out his Pidgeotto. Which is gonna have probably the same fate here. Yep. This one was not smart enough to just use a quick attack, though. Alright, Sebastian. Oh, you juked me. Told I'm good for a kid. Alright, let's see. Well, I've got five Pokemon, so that's a pretty good start. I 
I wonder if, uh, if a cut will kill it. <laughs> it got poisoned, lol. Even a cut will kill it, okay. Meowth. Level 39. Yeah, this... This Picnicker has all of the small Pokemon. Pidgey, Raditz, Meowths. Come on, man, you're not gonna evolve a single one of them? And a Pikachu. I wonder what the fifth is. Oh no! You paralyzed me. Oh, and another meow. What well, kind of sucks? Well, good thing I have some paralyzed heals, so that's fine. All right, we defeated defeated Susie. But we got. Let's go ahead and get out a paralyzed heal. Let's keep going. All right, so now we got some more battles. So let's go ahead and wow, your badges are too cool. Let's start uh, running through them. Yeah, today's not gonna be a super exciting episode. It's really just we gotta go down a couple of routes and defeat some people. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's gonna take a little while. But these Pokemon are a little stronger than normal. This is that Poliwag's level 30. Which is one of the highest that we've seen thus far. That's good. It means we're going to a, a little bit of the harder places, and we're still, like, you know, 10 above it, which is pretty nuts, but. I know the next couple episodes are probably going to be exciting because we're going to the Safari Zone, which is always a super good time. My cute Pokemon wish to make your acquaintance. All right. Sounds like a plan. Alright guys, sorry, I just had to answer some text, but look, we got to 43 and Nita King is trying to learn Megahorn. I think this is a good move. So, let's go ahead and delete a move to make room for Megahorn, yes. That's a bug move, but it's 120! Oh, wow. Um... I'm thinking we should probably get rid of Double Kick. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of Double Kick. I know it's the only fighting move, but Double Kick just hasn't actually worked that well as of recent. I think Megahorn is a pretty good addition. So let's go ahead and do that. 
And then there's a little grass patch here. Ooh, a lot more trainers. Why is there so many trainers, dude? Oh no, there's so much fighting to do. I don't have like any PP left. But I think this is all of the trainers for a while, right? Because if we basically come over here... Okay, um... Can we somehow slip into... Slip into a uh, Fuchsia just to heal? Because I don't have any PP left on Nidoking. Yeah, like I literally don't have any PP left. Let's try to maybe sneak in. And we could also grab something very important. And maybe we could also find a Ditto, maybe? Maybe? Alright, let's sneak inside of here. And we get a really good item from this guy, if I'm correct. Hi, remember me? I'm one of the aides. If we have more than species, I'll give you a more than 50, I'll give you a reward. Yes, I yes I have. Great, you have caught 60. Here you go. We received the XP share. This is gigantic. Um, so we can give this to a Pokemon, and obviously it'll get XP as we fight. Um, so right now, do we have anyone to give it to? Oh, we should probably give it to Ghastly, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and just for now we can go ahead and give it to Ghastly. Where is the XP share? Oh, it's probably down here, isn't it? Alright. You get the XP share. And we'll probably give it to someone later on, but for now, let's just go ahead and give it to Ghastly. Um, so we're gonna sneak into town, just but just to heal. Um, oh. Okay, yeah, I was like, do I have another route? Um, but I do not want to actually do anything here. We will check out this town in the next episode. We have to go back to the route, and we have to finish the route. I want to go finish all of the battles and all that good stuff. Let's go see if we can find anything in this um, little patch up here. I think it's going to be probably the same Pokemon, you know. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Ditto. All right, let's go ahead and um I don't think a cut will kill it. Psych. Yeah, well, let's go look for another one. All right, here we go. Another Ditto. Let's go ahead and actually try to catch this one. Maybe without killing it. Um let's just chuck a ball at it and maybe see what happens. Okay, that didn't work very well. Alright, transformed into me. Let's just throw another great ball. I'm just hoping maybe we can get lucky here. Okay. Rock slide. Alright, let's just use another cut. Let's see if it kills it. Okay, it didn't. Let's just hope for not a crit. Okay. Alright, thrash me. Well, now we should be able to catch it pretty easily now. All considering. Whoa! What? Really? Oh, don't hurt yourself. Don't, don't hurt yourself. Dude, if it hurts itself, it's gonna die. Why, dude? Alright, alright. It's gonna catch here. It's gonna catch here. Whoa. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, like, I'd rather you hurt me. I'd rather you hurt me than kill yourself here. Dude, wow, the Ditto's causing a lot more trouble than I thought it would. Ooh. Yo, it's gonna kill Manika King. Dude, I've already used like six balls on this, dude. This isn't it. This ditto's nuts. Wow, dude. What in the world? 
No! Oh, that made me very angry. I swear... This diddle's gonna be the end of me. Oh! We almost killed it! Alright, a little lucky, a little lucky. But I'm running out of Great Balls here, man. I'm, I'm using all of my Great Balls on this one stupid ditto. Dude. Wow. Dude, what's with dittos? What is, what is this catch rate? Okay, <laughs> wow, dude. The catch rate on one of these is nuts. Capable of copying any opponent's genetic code to instantly transform itself into a duplicate of the enemy. All right, guys, we're ending this episode here. We're gonna fight the rest of these trainers next episode, man. Hey, what's up, guys? We're playing some Pokemon. Last episode, we caught Snorlax, Ditto, and we're on our way to Fuchsia City. Um, but real quick, we just have to quickly finish up a lot of these trainer battles on this road. Um, my Nido King died? Let's go ahead and revive him and then, um, I'm probably gonna skip through or like fast forward through a lot of these battles because man, they're just a bunch of bird keepers and they tend to be really boring because all they got is a bunch of like Pidgeys. Let's go ahead and, um, do that. Um, do I have a potion? Where are my potions? Hyper potion? We're gonna go ahead and do hyper potion. Now, what is up here? So there's one, two, three, and an item. Found Rain Dance. Okay, so we gotta fight these three along with all the ones at the bottom, so. Definitely, man, one of the longest routes I've seen. So many, so many trainers on this route. long one. Oh, hey, here we go. Uh, Ghastly is evolving. All right, I was waiting for that. I knew it, I knew it, it would evolve soon. I didn't realize if it was like 26 or 28. Here we go. We're, I know, and we could have caught this at the tower really earlier, but um, I like it this way better that we evolved it. Here we go. We got ourselves a Haunter. And then, how do I evolve Haunter? Is it just level or is it... All right, well then, um, we're gonna... Well, this was all kind of a waste because I'm not gonna be able to use this when I have to trade it, right? We'll go ahead and get rid of Curse. Um, that was all kind of a waste of time, <laughs> which is slightly annoying. Yeah, well, oh, I forgot to de-paralyze Needle King. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's just keep going and get through them. And let's go ahead and give it to someone else. Let's maybe give it to Krabby. Maybe we can just get him into... Oh. Um, give... Maybe we can get him into... Um... Bigger, bigger crab. Losing, I'm losing brain cells here fighting all these trainers. Um, yeah. Let's keep going, got a couple more to fight. Alright, so we can finally go into Fuchsia, and we did grab the XP share from here, so we're good. Alright, got a 
bring inner peace into myself. We're done. The ordeal is over. We have got, we, we did all of the trainers. Now, we can come to one of the most fun cities in the entire game, which is Fuchsia, because this is where the Safari Zone is. And the Safari Zone is by far one of my favorite places in the game. But we've also got a lot of exploring to do, so let's go ahead and, um, um, let's go ahead and go house by house and see what we can find. Uh, ooh, yes. What if we say no? Um, okay, so more fossils. We can't do that rock to get that item until we have strength. Um, what are you- oh. I'm the fishing guru's older brother. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without it. Tell me, do you like to fish? Yeah. Oh, is he gonna give me the good rod? But I already have the super rod. Why do I need the good rod? Well, I know the good rod can find some uh, different Pokemon, so I won't say no. Oh. Oh, we can fish? Is there, like, special Pokemon in his little pond? A Goldeen? Oh, we don't have a Goldeen yet. Um, cool. Um, hopefully I don't kill it. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, fire power was weakened. That's fine. I don't have... Oh, remind. Inner remindation. We need Pokeballs soon. I only have five left. I do not want to go anywhere with cool Pokemon and accidentally forget to have enough balls. And we got a lot of money, so... Just now, so... It's tail fin billows like an elegant ballroom dress giving it the nickname of the Water Queen. Oh, I did not want to give it a nickname. Okay. Let's let's keep, keep fishing. Let's see what we can find, to be honest. Anything other than a gold bean? Alright, please tell me it's a polywag. Polywag! Okay, that's what we needed. Oh, it's level 14? Alright. Well, hopefully we can catch in five Great Balls here. Playing a little bit of a risky game. Hmm. But I don't think I have anyone low enough to not kill it. Um, actually I have Venonat. Um, let's see what Venonat can do. Hypnosis. That's not very nice of you. Okay, well now I'm asleep. Alright. Um, cool. Water gun. Oh, cool, we woke up. Alright, don't kill it, please. Is it gonna hurt itself? Oops, still can stick its sleeves. Water gun. Maybe poison it? Confused and poisoned. So it'll hurt itself, and then it'll be poisoned. That should hopefully... Um... Wait, don't kill yourself. Alright, good, good, good. I was gonna say, if it hurts itself and poisons, then I might actually kill it. But that'll bring it right into the red. And we basically have one more shot, because it'll die next turn. But I don't think we'll miss. One, two, three. There we go. I knew we wouldn't miss it. It's poisoned, confused, and in red. If we miss it then, then wow. All right, its newly grown legs prevent it from walking well. Appears to prefer swimming over water. Cool. So now we just need Slowpoke. Yeah, so now we can go ahead and use the Super Rod. And we could try to look for that Slowpoke. Okay, there's a Seeking. Um, we could try to catch it now so we don't have to evolve the Goldeen would probably save some time here. Might as well try to catch it, right? Although, I'm gonna need to go buy some more 
for the Slowpoke, because I'm already running out here. Flail. Ow. Alright, I only have three left, so I do also have to catch this in three. Oh, I was very close to that. Or an attack. Alright, come on. Stay in the ball, please. Okay. Well, one more try. And if it doesn't catch here, then um, we come back and try again, I guess. Here we go. Alright, we caught it with the last ball. But we do have to come back because there are some other things to get. In the autumn spawning season, they can be swimming powerfully up rivers and creeks. Alright, well that's cool. Um, now we do not have to evolve a Goldeen, which is nice. Um, but we do have to come back. Let's go ahead and... Um, can... Ooh, red. This isn't the time to use it. Oh man, I should probably use my bike here, but... Safari Zone has a zoo in front of the entrance. Outback is a safari game for catching Pokemon. Okay, let's go ahead and go up to the... Wait, so that's the gym and the healing. Where's the Pokemart? Alright, what's in here? Warden Slowpoke is running a promotion campaign right now. Try to get to the farthest corner of the Safari Zone. You can make it. You'll win a con very convenient prize. Nickname the Warden Slowpoke. You know, he has that vacant look like Slowpoke. Um, okay. Is there anything on this side of the building that you conveniently block? Okay, nothing. Okay, so our mission in the Safari Zone is to get to the end of it. It's pretty cool. Where's Sarah? I said I'd like to meet her here. <laughs> oh, no, buddy. You got, you got stood up or catfished. Chancy. So there, I'm guessing it shows some of the Pokemon that we're able to catch. This is the Safari Zone. Why does that look shiny? Okay, so we, these are some of the things that we can catch. Wish I was a Genghis. I'd love to be substitute for the baby. And okay, we're only, um, no, I don't want you to. You're a little weirdo. See, why does why does that Omnite look shiny too? Why is okay. Alright, well anyway, this is what we were looking for. We were looking for the Pokemart. Hi there, may I help you? Yes, you can. They have Ultra Balls in stock too. Alright, let's go ahead and buy 20 Ultra Balls. Let's go ahead and buy 15 Great Balls. Let's go ahead and buy 10 Super Potions. How many revives do we have? We have four. Let's go ahead and just buy two. Let's go ahead and buy five max repels. Alright, there we go. We spent a lot of money. That's kind of what we worked hard for. Did you try the Safari game? There are some rare Pokemon. Yes, I have not yet. Okay. Um, I think that is everything. Let's go ahead and go back to the fishing hole. So I could continue trying to find those Pokemon. Alright, let's see what we get. Slowpoke! Hey, okay, that's what I was looking for. Pidgeot. Alright, Slowpoke is 15. Um, we could probably chuck a couple of Ultra Balls at it and maybe just... Maybe we just don't have to weaken it? No? Okay, maybe we do have to weaken it? But I will definitely kill it with Pidgeot, so... I'm gonna bring out Venonat. Which is very useless right now. Um... Maybe Confusion? Okay, that's not very effective. Um... Maybe Supersonic? Oh, can't be confused. Okay. This is wonderful. I can't do anything. Okay. Um, alright, let's just keep the Ultra Balls at it. One of these will catch it. I'm sure of it. One of these will catch it. Here we go. We didn't even need to do much. 
All right, we got ourselves a slowpoke. Incredibly slow and dopey. It takes five seconds for it to feel pain when under attack. All right. So the only one we're missing is Gyarados. Um, which actually we technically don't need to get it from here. We can grab our own. So I'm pretty sure we left Magikarp with the with the daily innkeeper. Also, guys, just to let you know, we're going to do as far as on next episode. Um, there's just a lot of things to do in here before, so. Um, as far as on Word is Old. Um, okay, blah, blah, blah. Hmm, you've met Bill. Here's my, he's my grandson. He's always liked collecting things, even as a child. Pretty cool. Alright, what's in this house? Uh, oh, yes, I'm the move deleter. Oh, okay. So, no, I do not want you to delete any moves. Alright, and here is the th station. Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon very quickly. And then, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's head over to um, the day in the, the keeper guy, the daycare worker. Let's go grab our Magikarp and see how many levels um, he's gained. Pro he's probably gained a lot. Because I've left him there for like the majority of the game now. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and um. Where was he again? He was. And then we gotta make room. Gotta make room for someone. But I'm pretty sure he has a PC in his house, doesn't he? Yes, he has a PC in his house. Red booter to PC. Um. Let's go ahead and deposit a Pokemon. We can deposit. Haunter for now. We can deposit Venonat just for now. We'll keep Krabby. So here's the thing, we need to give him someone. So right now, who would be a decent one to give him? Hmm. Why don't we just give him Slowpoke, huh? Just for now, I don't, you know. Slowpoke could use some levels. Let's go ahead and give him Slowpoke. Your Magikarp has grown a lot. Yes, quite a lot. Let's see how much. By level, it's grown by 19? Aren't I great? You owe me 2k. Okay. Um, when does Magikarp evolve? What, what was he, level 5? So, when does Magikarp evolve again? Um, he evolves... 20. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? Just this. I know this is a little bit of a waste, but I genuinely do not care. Let's go ahead and give him a rare candy. Oh, no, 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 no. Um. Oh, I want you. I want to use it on him. Because I do not feel like leveling him up. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, this is like a gigantic waste. But like, I could literally almost care less. Because any Pokemon, I could just level up by battling. So like, this isn't as like good as in like Pokemon Go and stuff. Was I level 25? And let's get him to evolve here, just so I could finish the quest and again, I could just catch a Gyarados, but I want to feel like I did it myself, right? So, here we go. We're getting our own Gyarados, not one that we just found in the wild. And I feel like it's just a, it's a slightly bit more special this way, personally. Congrats, your magic art evolved into a Gyarados. The Gyarados is pretty cool. Learn Dragon Rage. Um, Gyarados is one of those Pokemon that a lot of people have at the end of the game. Um, I probably won't. Yes, go ahead and raise Slowpoke. Fine. Come see me in a while. Okay, let's go back to the computer here. Um, actually, let's go ahead and deposit Pokemon. Can deposit Gyarados. Let's grab a few Pokemon that we could potentially use our XP share on. And we got a lot of little ones to evolve, so let's go ahead and start grabbing. So why don't we grab Ekans? 
Why don't we grab Doduo? And why don't we grab Meowth? Oh, okay. Alright, well then, we have... So who do we have right now? Okay, so these are the three that we're evolving in. We'll just evolve them with the XP share as we go. Alright, let's go ahead and, um... We can go ahead and fly... Back to Fuchsia. So now, I think, if I go back to my page, we did get everything. Slowpoke, Scaredoses, Seekings, Polywags. We're honestly good. Um, so now we can go to the other routes or go to the Safari Zone. But, so if we go to Route 18... Okay, let's fight these three people, just get them out of the way. Alright, Krabby is level 28 now? Um, is he evolving? Yes, he he is evolving. Look at that. We're getting wait, hey, we're we're rolling here. We're getting some evolutions. We're 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 doing the thing. Alright, and he's gonna Forgot what his name is. How do I forget what his name is? Not Clauncher, that's the blue one. Congrats, your cat Kingler, that that's the one, Kingler. Alright, so now we can go ahead and go to our Pokemon. We can take that item off, take um, item, give. We can go ahead and give Ekans the XP share. So hopefully he'll get levels as we go. Alright guys, it is time. I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode off here, but next episode we are starting right off and we're gonna go to the Safari Zone and catch ourselves a bunch of Pokemon. I probably expect us the entire episode to be here because we gotta catch Kangaskhan, Clefairy, um, whatever other maybe exclusives are in here. So, um, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, today is the Safari Zone episode. We finally made it here to Fuchsia. We got everything done, um, and we've got a lot to do. We've got a lot of Pokemon to catch, so let's go ahead and do it. Welcome to the Safari Zone. Just 500, you can play. Um, yes. I will go ahead and take, give him that 500. We got 30 Safari Balls. All right, wish you the best of luck. And there are certain things we have to collect. We also have to get to the end of it to get Surf. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get the main mission done and let's just go ahead and head over to get Surf. And then once we get Surf, we can uh, kind of mess around and grab everything else. And of course, we'll get Pokemon along the way. I just wanna make sure we can get Surf basically like right off the bat. Okay, we found a full restore here. Um, so I, I think I remember where Surf is. But again, there's new Pokemon to be caught, so... Oh, I did not mean to use a ball because I do not need a Doduo, but hey, maybe we'll just grab it and call it a day? Hey, we'll grab it and call it a day, huh? Actually, and it's good because I need to evolve a Doduo, and this one's higher level, so it'll just be easier to evolve. So you know what? Perfectly fine with me. Let's keep going here. Um, so I think if I go down here, I think if I, where do I go to get Surf? Nidorina? You know what? Let's go ahead and try to evolve this one. Or let's try to catch this one because to be honest, um, I don't feel like, um, never mind. I don't feel like training a Nidorina, um, from scratch. If we go down here... Grab this. Okay, wait. If I go over here... Okay, that's not the way I need to be going. If I go this way... Um, okay. I totally went the wrong way. Wonderful. Alright, let's go ahead and back it up. Because I think I need to go... Yes, I need to go up here. Found Steel Wing. Ooh, that could be pretty good. And then we need to get up and then go that way. Need arena? Okay. Let's go ahead and give it another shot. Let's go ahead and... I know I can bait it and whatever, but let's just go ahead and chuck a ball. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Found protein. Alright. Um. Okay, let's see what else we can get. Execute. Okay, new new Pokemon. 
going to bait it. All right, execute is eating. All right, let's go ahead and chuck a ball. Oh, okay. He's still eating. We got a few more tries here. One. Okay, no. Still eating. Okay, we can throw one more ball at it. One. Ah. Still eating, though. I don't know how he's still eating after getting balls absolutely chucked at him. Okay. He's still eating, dude. What a mad lad. And he's, he's got the munchies. Okay. So he's watching carefully. Alright, he's probably gonna run soon. Oh, so close! Alright, that's fine. We'll catch more of them. But if we go down here... And then go over here... We'll be able to get the... Uh, move Surf. Ah, finally! You're the first person to reach the secret house. Although I made a campaign for a grand opening, I was getting worried that no one ordered our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won! Received HM3, which is Surf. Be able to ferry you, and this isn't disposable, so you can use it over and over. You're super lucky for winning this fabulous prize. Um, okay, cool. Alright, now we can go ahead and actually explore um, the rest of the Safari Zone, although I'm guessing we don't have much time left. Um, gold teeth. But, of course, we will come back into the Safari Zone, and we'll do some fishing. Um, but there are more Pokemon that need to be found, so... Um, let's go ahead and uh, just uh, keep finding them here. Um, okay, we do not need a Paris. We'll run away from that one. Oh, there's an Execute. Okay, we do need one of these. Let's go ahead and just start chucking balls right away. One of these will catch him. Okay, is he just gonna dip? Watching carefully. And he, and he dipped. Oh, fair enough. I dipped if I was him, too. Okay, just a normal neat arena. Don't particularly need one of those. Ooh, a Venonat. Or Venomoth. Hey, that could help us not have to evolve our Venonat. So, if I caught it, I wouldn't be mad about it. Uh, psych. Ding dong. Alright, time's up. Did you get your fair share? Come again. Okay, so, um, I've got the, basically the spawns open for every single area. Um, so let's go ahead and in the first area, I think we're still looking for execute. We can get a neat arena if we can. Um, Parasect, Genghis Khan, or Pinsir, I'll really take any of those. Ooh, hey! A Rhyhorn. Okay, uh, Rhyhorn is super cool and we don't have one, so let's go ahead and try to catch it. Okay. It is watching carefully. Let's try to chuck another ball at it here. Okay, did not want to stay in the ball. Still watching carefully. Hmm, it's probably gonna run. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Here's another Rhyhorn. Alright, let's go ahead and try to make our... Let's try... Let's throw a rock this time. Don't run. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to throw another rock! No! No, I didn't mean to throw another rock. Alright, execute. Here we go. I throw a rock. And don't run. 
I have ball. All right, here we go. We got the execute. All right, that is one that we can check off the list. It is often mistaken for eggs. When disturbed, they quickly gather and attack in swarms. All right, cool. We got the execute. Now we're still looking for the Rhyhorn, Pincer, and Chansey, which are going to be very hard to get. Hey, Rhyhorn, here we go. All right, let's go ahead and throw one more rock. Don't throw two rocks, David. Come on, man, just one. Rhyhorn is angry. All right, let's throw a ball. Come on. One, two. Let's go, two in a row. Didn't even have to jump cut for that one. Rhyhorn and execute, back to back. You absolutely love to see it. Its massive bones are 1,000 times harder than human bones. Its tackle can knock a semi-trailer flying. All right, cool. Thank you, Rhyhorn. Um, so now we just need Pinsir, Chansey, and those are very low chances. So likely uh, I'm gonna have to jump cut. Oh, it's a Pinsir. Oh, that's a 4%. Let's go for it. Let's throw a rock. Let's hope it doesn't run away. Pincer's angry. Don't run, don't run, don't run, don't run, don't run. Alright, ball. Come on, come on, come on. This is a rare one. One, two. No! Don't run, don't run, don't run. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well. That's kind of expected. These are rare Pokemon. They're going to be hard to get, so. Um, yeah. Alright, I need Arena. I would like to have this one, just so I don't have to start from a low-level Nidorin, but it's going to run. Watching carefully. It's going to give us some bait. I know that's going to be harder to catch, but at least it won't run. Alright, let's try it again. And again, I know now it's lower, but that's fine. The balls are... The balls are pretty, like, we have a lot of balls. That, that's not what I'm worried about. And honestly, we're probably almost out of steps. So I... But, hey, I paid for these balls. I might as well throw them, right? All right, it's no longer eating. It's going to throw another ball. All right, it's going to run. Yeah. All right, another neat arena. Um, let's go ahead and, again, I would like to catch it. Might make everything a little easier, but it's probably gonna... Okay, so it's getting ready to run. Let's throw, let's throw some bait. So maybe we can give it a few more turns. It just fled anyway. Oh, another pincer. Okay, wow. Alright, rock. And I just hope it doesn't just dip straight away. No, it ran right away. No. All right, another neat arena. Let's just try once again. Uh, yeah, these neat arenas are always caught. I can't seem to get even a neat arena. There's another one. All right, please. I believe this one, this one will be the one. Nope, it's gonna run. Watching carefully. All right, I'm not going to bait it. Let's go ahead and just throw another ball. Okay, now it's going to run. Yeah. All right, here we go. Attempt number 12, something like that. All right, it's watching carefully. Let's go ahead and just throw another ball at it. It's going to run most likely either way. All right. All right, let's try another ball. Surprised it didn't run there. Alright, it's gonna run here. Still not running. Wow. Alright. Throw another ball. Here we go. Alright. Alright, that was... That took a lot longer than I thought it would. There we go. We got the neat arena. The female's horns develop slowly. Prefers physical attacks such as clawing and biting. All right, there we go. So we don't, no longer need to get that. Um, so now really all we need to get is a Parasect, Pinsir, or a Chansey. Um, the Parasect will just help us that we don't have to evolve a Paris. Um, yeah. Oh, here we go. Okay, here's a Pinsir. 
All right, let's go ahead and throw a rock. And don't run instantly, please. All right, here we go. Here we go. I believe. No, and it's gonna run. It's it's just gonna run. Crap, man. All right, hey, here we go. A Paris. Um, let's just throw a ball. Okay, it didn't like that, and it's watching carefully. Let's just throw another ball. Oh, so close. No. It's... Okay, it hasn't ran yet. Again, this one isn't super important to catch. I just... Save us a little bit of time. Okay, it's running. Wow, still hasn't ran. Okay, another chance maybe? One, two, no! And it's gonna... Wow, this Parasect does not particularly want to run away, which is chill. Okay, it's gonna run now. Hey, here we go. There's another one right off the bat. All right, let's throw. Let's go ahead and throw throw a ball. Okay. Watching. Okay. Seems like the Paris aren't a f aren't a fan of just running instantly, which is cool. Although, still watching carefully. If I throw a rock, it'll run. Just keep throwing balls at it. Okay. Still hasn't ran. Alright, let's go. We got a Paris. So, we don't have to bother evolving, uh... Or, we got the Parasect. So now we don't no longer have to worry about involving the Paris. A host Parasite pair in which the Parasite Mushroom has taken over the host bug refers damp places. Okay, and that was a 5% catch. So now we just, all we need is the pincer and chance. Oh, here we go. Here's another pincer. Okay. Um, let's not throw a rock. Let's just go to throw a ball. Okay, it, don't tell me you're just gonna run. Oh, here we go. Another pincer. All right. Yeah. Come on, man. No, yeah, it's gonna run. These things love to run. All right. Still hasn't ran. Another try, another chance. No, it's gonna run now. Whoa! Oh, okay. Wow. All right. Here's a chancey. Um, one percent. This is kind of huge. This is kind of huge. Um. Please don't run, Chansey. Please, please do not run. I would appreciate it if you just stayed. Oh, it's gone. Please, Chansey. If I could just not have to encounter another one of you, that would be a blessing upon my life. Oh, no. I'm going to have to look for you again. Chansey, please. Oh, Lord. First Chansey. First... Oh, wow, that is a blessing. First Chansey. And I got it. A rare and elusive Pokemon that is said to bring happiness to those who manage to catch one. Now, that is a rare Pokemon. That... I... Dare I say... Probably... The hardest Pokemon to get in this game. Or very close to it. Definitely in the top, like, three hardest ones to get. So the fact that we encountered it, the first, well, we, the first encounter we caught, that's very lucky. Now we just need that pincer, really. Hey, okay, here we go, here we go, pincer. Um, if we could catch it right now, we could get both of the rare spawns from area one done. Oh, no, you're not gonna. If we caught both of them, like, just like in like a two minute span that would be nuts no it's gonna run now they are very they're surprising me a lot of these Pokemon are not running right away nowadays 
Let's go. We got the pin certificate. Oh, wow. Okay. There it is. There is the two 4% 1%. If it fails to crush the phone as pincers, it will swing around and toss the opponent. All right. So there's the pincer and Chansey. Um, everything from the entrance area is done. We need Genghis Khan. And then we need to do a little bit of fishing. And then we could catch Tauros Venomoth. And we're done. So actually, that was like a pretty large chunk of all of the Pokemon done just like that. So I think... Now, we need to look for Genghis Khan in Area 1. Okay, so we can find Genghis Khan in Area 1. So we're going to go ahead and stay here and look for Genghis Khan here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Genghis Khan. Okay. Um, luck, please. Luck. We've already gotten pretty lucky, so I'm not going to cry about anything. Okay, not even mad. All right, not even mad. We got pretty lucky with Chansey and Pinsir, so... Oh, here we go, here we go, another Genghis Khan. Alright, once again, I'm not gonna really cry. I expect this to take a few encounters, you know. I'm expecting this to take a few encounters, but I will take it if you just want to be mine very quickly. One. Oh, okay, got me excited there for a moment. And there he goes. Oh, another Genghis Khan right after? Alright. Hmm, come on. I believe. The luck is with us. No, two. Oh, it was so close. What oh, third Genghis Khan? Ooh. Oh, that was just uh, the second encounter after the last. Wow. One. Okay. Okay, I'm not even mad. All right, here we go. Another Genghis Khan. Um, I'm going to do something risky. Let's throw a rock. I feel like this will increase our chances a lot if it doesn't just run instantly. Alright, let's go. Higher higher increased chance of catching here. No! Oh no, it's gonna run. It's gonna run. Dang it. Alright, hey, another pincer? Um, let's just see if we can catch it. I mean, we already have one. But can we maybe get another one? We have plenty of balls, and I would love to get another one. Alright, um, never mind. Oh, it's still sticking around. That's pretty exciting. So technically, this is like the chancy spawn of this area. This is a 1%. Um, yeah, there we go. Again, I don't technically need it, so that's fine. Alright, here we go. Another Genghis Khan. Um, let's do it again. Let's see. Maybe, maybe, maybe. One... No, oh, no. Alright, didn't run. Come on, man. This is one of the last rare spawns. Dang it. Right, here we go. Another Genghis Khan. Let's see if we can do it again. Alright, and... Didn't run. Come on. One, two, three, let's go! There's the Genghis Khan! Alright, that's another very rare spawn here. The infant rarely ventures out of its mother's protective pouch until it is three years old. No, we do not want to give it a nickname. Here we go! Genghis Khan, alright! So we got Pinsir, Genghis Khan, Chansey! The Ch I'm still mind blown by that Chansey. All right, what are we looking for here? We need Tauros in Area 2, Venomoth in Area 2. Actually, we should be really be going to Area 3. So we need to go to Area 3, and then after that, we'll start doing some fishing. Yes, Quick Claw, that's pretty cool. Oh, here's a Venomoth. Um, let's go ahead and attempt it. Um, this would be very nice to, once again, just kind of get out of the way. Nope. Okay, never mind. He does not want to be in the ball. Okay, and I'm looking. It looks like all of the Pokemon that we need are from the Super Rod. So... Hey, here we go! Dratini! 
Alright, so that's the 15%, so not extremely rare. But one of the rare ones, the extremely rare one, is a Dragonera 1%. Um... Alright, here we go. Maybe we can... I said, I'll, I'll just take that Dragonera to be honest, but I'll take the Dratini anytime. It still hasn't ran. One. Hmm. Still has not ran. That's pretty nuts. This Dratini's sticking around. Okay, it's probably gonna run now. Wow. Alright, Dratini, it seems like, um... One? Ah... Uh, there we go. Another Dratini. Alright. Level 15, so <laughs> literally the absolute lowest it can be. That's the lowest it can be, Dratini, is level 15. Alright, I didn't want to anyway, that's fine. Here we go, another Dratini. Still very low level, but... Let's try this. Maybe, 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 maybe. Um, probably not. Maybe not? Mm, definitely not. Hey, here we go, another Dratini. Level 18, a tiny bit higher. Here we go. Come on, I really- I just need the Dratini, man. I don't even need the Dragonair. I'm not, like, asking for much. Uh, never mind, I am asking for too much. Here we go, another Dratini. Level 20? A little higher. You know what, I'll take it. Max is level 25, so... Come on, one, two... Oh, come on, man, so close! Alright, didn't run, though. Right, come on. Por favor, stay in the ball. One. Okay, nope. Still gonna run, though. Come on, there's literally... This is the only water Pokemon we need, technically. Technically, this is the only one we need. I'm not gonna bother looking for Dragonair, and we already got Slowpoke and Seeking, and Poliwag, and Magikarp. Alright, it's gonna run now. Yeah. Another Dratini, um, right away, even higher, level 21, please, come on, level 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Alright, next one's gonna be level 22. Alright, another Dratini, level 20, 16, okay. Um, let's hope maybe this one, maybe it's a lower level, it'll be easier to catch. Um, that's definitely not the case, because it dipped instantly. Alright, here we go, Dratini, level 19. All right, come on. One, two, three. Close, very close. Let's try it again. Except, just stay in the ball this time. Okay, another Dratini, and this is exactly why I said that. That Chansey was so lucky because imagine this is just a Dratini and I've encountered like 15 of them. That Chansey, I encountered one. When I say I was lucky with that Chansey, I was lucky, lucky, like luck, lucky, lucky, like licky, dude, for real. One. Oh. Come on, man. Please. Like, this Dratini is a lot harder to catch for some reason. Why? Why, dude? I only have five balls left. Please, just stay in. Or give me a Dragonair to make me feel better. No. Dratini, level 19. I got four balls left. Not a lot. So realistically, I'm probably going to run out of balls pretty soon here. Okay. Come on. Come on. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're almost there, we're almost there. One, I'm not even looking at the screen. Oh, I still saw it. Alright, here we go, level Dratini 17, I've got a single ball left, so this basically has to be it. Okay, I fail. Oh, okay, okay, Dratini, level 23. Hey, level Dratini, let's go. This one's it, 23 is not my lucky number, but... It's not running away. Please. One, two, three. 
No! What? Don't do that. That's so mean. Why would you do that? That's like just not even nice. One, two. Oh, okay. Dude, it's like the Sour Patch Kids, bro. It's mean, but then nice. Long considered a mythical Pokemon until recently when a small colony was found living underwater. Alright, that is the only other one we needed. A Dragonair, I'm not gonna bother because I was evolved to it. So we still need Tauros. That's it. We need Tauros. Real quickly, what Pokemon do we have on us? I'm guessing none of these can learn Surf, right? Let's grab this item, found a max potion, and then we can go inside this here. Hey, alright, here we go. Last Pokemon that we technically need, Tauros. 4% um, spawn in Area 3. Um, it actually took me, like, a lot of tries to get to it, very oddly. It seems like the, you know, all the other ones came a little quicker than the Tauros, but, um... I actually need to leave the house to go pick up my car from the mechanic, so I would love if you just stayed in your ball. Um, that would help me actually right now quite a bit. So let's go ahead and have you just stay in the ball for me. Um, well, I'm glad you're not running, so I'll give you credit on that one. Let's go ahead and have you stay in the ball. Thank you. Um, right now, one. Never mind. And he didn't do the dash. Okay. Alright, come on, Tauros. Um, just be a, be a homie. Okay? And he's gone. Yeah, he's not gonna. Alright, here we go! Tauros, once again! Please, I still need to go to the mechanic. Let's go. One, two, three. Stay in the ball. Alright, here we go. Um, Tauros was caught. And that is another... Well, this is a 4% in Area 3. When it targets an enemy, it charges furiously while whipping its body with its long tail. Okay, that was exciting. We're actually done. Let's go. So, yep, Execute, Rhyhorn, uh, Parasect, Pinsir, Chansey, uh, Genghis Khan. And then we got Argentinis. We've gotten everything else. The singular Pokemon we have not caught is Dragonair. With Okay, guys, so... That is it for the Safari episode. One of my favorite things to do in the game is the Safari Zone. It can get super frustrating, but honestly, I also think it's extremely rewarding once you actually get it. You know, the Chanseys, the Genghis Khans, and the Pincers, those are really exciting to catch. Um, and next episode, we will go ahead and probably fight this gym right here. And we'll kind of go from there. Um, and we got to probably fix our um, boxes a little bit. And I'll go ahead and probably do that in between episodes. But guys, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, we're playing some Pokemon today. We're going to go ahead and do um, the gym in Fuchsia. But before we do that, there is one thing that I want to do. And that is actually catch uh, my favorite Pokemon of all time. Number one, favorite Pokemon. And if you guys know, because I mentioned a few times, it is Starmie. Um, so I heard that I can catch a Starmie, or a Staryu, to evolve into Staryu here at Pallet Town, so let's see if I'm correct. Yes, I am correct. So we got a level 22 Staryu. So we're gonna go ahead and try to catch this bad boy. Um, all right, I need to pull out something that won't just like kill it. Let's go ahead and bring out Doduo. Rapid spin, hopefully it doesn't kill me. Okay, it shouldn't. All right, let's see what happened. Oh, okay, it recovered, but it didn't really need to. If I do Fury Attack, let's see what happens. Well, could I get into the yellow at least? Okay, not into the yellow. Water Gun. I th this shouldn't kill me. Okay, good. Now, this should get it probably into the red, unless I hit it like one too many times. Don't hit it again. Okay, amazing. It's into the red. Let's go ahead and chuck a ball at it. We can use a Great Ball. We don't need to use an Ultra Ball here. No reason to be wasteful with my resources here. One, two, three, four. Bing, bada, boom. Alright, so now we can finally use my favorite Pokemon. An enigmatic Pokemon that can effortlessly regenerate any appendage it loses in battle. 
So, safe to say, this is one Pokemon that will be in my um, inventory uh, party, sorry, for the rest of the game. Let's go ahead and take, um, you know what? Let's go ahead and I will evolve Ekans later. Let's go ahead and take that XP share and quickly just um, give it to Staryu for now. Um, just because we're going to fight a gym where we're going to get a lot of XP and I'd rather give it to Staryu right now. Um, and also, just right away, what we can do is go ahead and just evolve it into what I need. So let's go ahead and pull out a Water Stone. And I know I've only had Staryu for a little while, but I mean, might as well just go ahead and kind of get what we're get what we wanted, right? Get my favorite Pokemon of all time, Starmie. And I am more excited than you think to use this. I will probably be using this as my main Pokemon for the rest of the game. Now, I like using multiple Pokemon. I don't want to just use one. So of course, I will use other ones, but I'm very excited to finally have a Starmie. And I'm going to go ahead and just keep the XP share on it for now. So I can go ahead and kind of get it caught up because, you know, my main Pokemon, 43, 45, 35, I needed to get it caught up a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and um, fly back to Fuchsia. And we will go ahead and do what we've been intending to do. And let's go ahead and take on that gym. Real quickly, how are my Pokemon? I think Pidgeot... Okay, we're good. Dodo and Starmie are low on health, but I'm, I'm not going to be using them in battle anyway. Um, so it's really not that big of a deal. But we do have um, quite a few battles to go in here. Um, and then this is one of those gyms where like there's hidden walls. So um, strength isn't the key for Pokemon. Do you understand this? So Pokemon is about strategy. I'll show you how strategy can beat brutal strength. Um, but actually, I do know the layout of this gym, so it's not going to be that hard. Juggler Caden. Oh, he only has a single Pokemon, which is Hypno. Alright, well, that shouldn't be too hard to take care of. Let's go ahead and just thrash it. And we should be pretty good to go from there. Meditate. Um, well, you're gonna die, so that's fine if you wanted to do that. <clears throat> Not gonna help you too much. I'm very curious to see how much XP Starmie's gonna get. Oh, okay. Didn't level up, so... It's, I mean, I guess it is level 22. Maybe I'm having too high of expectations as far as, like, <clears throat> how many levels it's gonna receive. Um, but yeah, I do want to get Starmie caught up really as soon as possible here. Juggler Kirk. Alright, he's got four Pokemon, so it's gonna take a little longer to get through. Um, let's go ahead and use Rock Slide. I think Rock Slide will be good here. I don't think it'll be effective, but it'll be enough to kill it, so that's cool. Alright, wants to use another drowsy. We'll just, he'll just keep pulling them out. And we'll just keep killing them. There we go, rock slide. And then once I can get Starmie, I feel like level probably 30-ish. They'll probably start bringing it out. Um, Kadabra. Ooh, I think Megahorn will be effective against this, because it's a Psychic, right? And this is a Bug Pokemon? Or a Bug Move, sorry. Yep, it is super effective. Good. Probably, that was a little overkill, but that's fine. And a Drowsy. Um, yeah, so I don't know what to do with Starmie. Again, it's going to be a little behind. I don't know if I should go chain it up, or put it just, like, in the heat of battle and have it, you know, kind of go from there. Um... There we go, Starmie is 23. I would defeat it, Kirk. Oh, and also, the other thing we can do is probably open up our bag. Let's go to the TM case and see if we can teach it anything cool. Oh, let's for sure teach it Surf. Let's go ahead and do that right away. So, yes, let's go ahead and uh, which move should be forgotten. Um, we can go ahead and. Yes, let's go ahead and use, let's go ahead and use this. Starmie forgot Camouflage. I don't really need camouflage. It's cool, but I don't really need it. Alright, so we learned surf. Um Water Pulse could be cool. Let's see what else we got. Um Yeah, we could probably teach a water pulse. Let's 
let's see what, um, let's see what else it has real quick. Oh, water gun is 40. Okay, let's go ahead and teach it. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of rapid spin, because actually I might want to keep that self-heal for a little while. Because that, that self-heal might actually be pretty good. And anyway, we'll probably... Oop! Uh, Starmie learned Water Pulse. We'll probably get rid of Water Gun once we can get Psychic. Um, Alright, so that's good. Let's continue on. I also studied the way of the ninja with Master Koga. Ninja have a long history of using animals. Animals are pretty sick. But why do you call them animals? Why not just call them Pokemon? But, um, hey. Who am I to say? What was Intimidate? Okay. Let's go ahead and use Rock Slide. I don't want to use... Actually, I could use Thrash, but... Okay. Flinched. Ooh, perfect. Alright, Rock Slide again. So it's almost like he didn't even get to attack. Oh, no, really? Okay, well, let's go ahead and use this Cut. I'm surprised I didn't kill it. I always think if it gets into the yellow, it'll likely just kill it, but apparently that is not the case. Sand Slash. Okay. Uh, probably Thrash would be best here. Because, oh, well, maybe not. We might get ourselves in a little bit of trouble with the confusion, but that's okay. Oh, and now I'm gonna miss too? Um, that's not particularly good. Um... We could probably go ahead and just uh, bring out Machamp real quick, just to take care of the Sand Slash. I don't, I don't want to fight with a Confused Needle King. Swift, uh, that could hurt. Right, let's go ahead and Karate Chop it in the head. There we go. And we could also get our Machamp a little bit of XP. Needle King is 46. All right, and about to use Arbok. We can go ahead and probably go to uh, Pidgeot. And, yeah, this will be an easy fight. No problem. Alright, attack is lower. Yup, I know, I know. I'm going to use fly. Go in the air so it can't bite. Okay, we avoided the bite. Skirt. Oh, that didn't, didn't do as much as I thought it would. Okay, it didn't, it didn't poison me, though, which is nice. Okay, screech. That's fine. And that'll be it, because I'm going to go ahead and use Quick Attack, and you'll be done. There we go. Easy enough. Alright, we defeated Edgar. Alright, so now we got to go up here. Go this way. Yep. Let's go ahead and fight these last. I think there's two more people down there. The famed invisible walls of Fuchsia Gym have you frustrated? Not particularly. Partly because I know where they are, but... <clears throat> Alright, he has two. Sand Slash. Okay, not a good matchup for Needle King here. Um, I wonder, how much will Megahorn do? Just because I'm curious. Okay, hey, not bad, actually. I mean, I know it's like a very high-powered move. I think it's one of the most powerful moves as far as... Um, <clears throat> bug types go. It's one of the best moves. Alright, Sand Slash, there we go. And Starmie's level 24, moving up in the world. About to get Arbok. Alright, we can fight Arbok with Needle King. Okay, the Intimidate. Use Thrash. Hopefully we'll kill it in... Okay. So I'm gonna be confused now, right? Yeah. Came confused. Alright, I'm just hoping we could just get this move off. Please. All right, perfect. All right, good job, Needle King. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, we defeated Tamer Phil. All right, so now we can go down here to this guy. Master Koga comes from a long line. What did you descend from? I, I didn't read that, but pause it if you want to see what it said. All right, two Pokemon, Drowsy. Go, Needle King. Alright, we can thrash it. And what's really good about Needle King in this gym... Um, so, 
it doesn't really count towards a lot of these Pokemon, like Drowsy, but Koga is going to have a lot of Poison-type Pokemon, obviously, and a lot of them have that Poison Touch ability where it poisons you if you hit them. Well, um, oh, I'm going to be confused now. Nino King's not going to be able to, not going to get poisoned, which is very good because a lot of other people have that problem where they keep fighting them and they keep getting poisoned and they can't win because of the poison. So that's hopefully something I'm not going to have a problem as far as Nido King is concerned. But we'll see. So now if we go here... Oh, we need to fight this dude, though. Can I... Okay, well, I guess we can go fight Koga and we could... I want to fight you! Alright, that's fine. We can just go fight Koga, but let's go ahead and, um... Heal. Mm, I don't want to go into this without healing. Super Potion... Is that... Okay, that gets me almost high. That, that'll be fine. Honestly, <clears throat> we could probably beat Koga. Oh, ha, ha. A mere child like you dares to challenge me. The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. Very well. I shall show you the true terror as a ninja master. Poison brings steady doom. Sleep renders foes helpless. Despair to the creeping horror of poison-type Pokemon. <clears throat> well, I got one of my own, so don't worry about it, bud. All right. Leader Koga sent out coughing. Well, Needle King is perfect for this job here. Gonna do Rock Slide. And I don't, yeah, I don't, didn't expect it to kill it all at once, but the only thing that sucks is I don't have enough PP for the rest of the Pokemon with Rock Slide, so. Um, but realistically, at the last two, I'm gonna be using um, Thrash. Starmie, level 25. All right, about to use Muck. Um, let's go ahead and Let's use Megahorn. Let's see how much this does. It should be pretty strong. Ah, but it's not effective. Okay. That's not very good. Not very effective. Alright, let's go back to Rock Slide and let's see if this can do this. Alright, better. Muck has a lot of HP, it seems. Alright, we could probably finish off this muck with this rock slide now. Yeah, Koga has some pretty high-level Pokemon. You know, they're 39, I'm 40, so... And most of my other Pokemon are lower than that. So actually, we're not, like, super, super over-leveled for this gym right now. Let's go ahead and do a Megahorn on the coughing. I know it's not going to be super, super effective. But I want to save the rock slide. And the thra thrash. All right, let's go to use the rock slide now. Actually, we don't need any more rock slides for later, so that's fine. I just want to kind of get rid of this coughing here. Okay, he's about to send out Weezing. This is his last Pokemon, and we can go ahead and use Thrash now. So hopefully, just get rid of it. Bang. Okay, so we'll definitely we'll get confused before killing it. But honestly, Needle King is the king of not being confused, so we'll be fine, I believe. Alright, Weezing use Tackle. That's not going to help you much. Alright, so I'm going to be confused now. Once again, I I, I believe that Nido King will be fine here. Come on, you're fine. Yes, there we go. Oh, but I missed! Oh, <laughs> alright, well, he's going to tackle me again. Alright, let's try to snap out of confusion. That was... Oh, but I missed again. Alright. Well, hey, missing is not his fault. I don't blame him for that. Okay, now I might blame him a little bit. That was three misses in a row. Alright, come on, Nido King. There we go, bud. You got it. Alright, Nido King gained it's a lot of XP. Player defeated Leader Koga. Hmm, you have proven your worth. Here, take the soul badge. And a good bit of money. Now that you have the soul badge, the defense of your Pokemon rises. It also lets you surf outside of battle. Ah, take this too. Receive TM6, which is toxic. It is a secret technique, backdating 400 years. Okay. Um, let's see. Is that is that a good move for um 80? Oh. Okay. Actually, I don't need that now. I, I could put that on um Nido King, but actually, I don't want to. 
All right, let's run back around. There is one more guy I have to beat over at the corner there. I will not leave without beating him because um, I already told you guys I want to make sure I beat every single trainer in this game. I'm not going to skip any trainers. None of that. I like... Oh, wait, did I already beat him? Or can I not fight him because I already beat the leader? I don't know, but that's fine, I guess. Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let's go ahead and bring out Starmie up front. Starmie will... Um, we'll go ahead and lead the group for a little while, um, to give it a chance to catch up. I'm gonna go ahead and use it in Wild Encounters. And, yes. So now, this is the part of the game that really opens up as far as, you know, the game's been pretty linear up until now. You can't go down certain roads. Um, but it really opens up now, because there are multiple places we can go. We can go to... Uh, Saffron City, we can go to go to the Silf Co, we can go to the Power Plant, we can go to Seafoam Islands. We can go quite a few places. I think the first thing we should do is go ahead and if we go over to the map, the town map. So we're here at um, Safari. We could go down and go down to the Seafoam Islands, but I think what we should do is take Route 18 and 17 and 16 and do all of this, just explore it, and then um, probably go to Saffron, um, do the gym and the mission there, and then we will go to Cinnabar after that. I think that's probably what we're going to do, so um, we're going to go ahead and head down this way and start clearing Route 18. Now, really quickly, let me pull it up. Um, so let me see if there's anything new we can catch. Um, so there's a lick a If we, we can trade a slow bro for a lick a tongue. So that's one thing we need to do. But it doesn't look like there's actually anything new to catch in this area. Okay, so nothing new to catch. So really, we just have to um, clear it out. But let's go ahead and let's grab our Slowbro, or s s technically Slowpoke. Let's evolve it to a Slowbro right, na slow right now. So we can trade it for that Lickitung. Because I don't want to come back and do it later. So let's just go ahead and grab it. Um, I don't know when it evolves into Slowbro, but I think it's... Actually, that level is surprisingly high. We need to get it all the way to level 37. That is um pretty high, but again, I really I do not want to take that route without grabbing that. Alright, let's go ahead and This is technically Stormy's first time in battle. Let's go ahead and watch it just absolutely Shrek a Pidgey for a minute here. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead and right now and evolve it all the way to 37. Um, it's gonna take a little while, but, um... Alright, let's go talk to our mans here. Your Slowpoke has grown a lot, quite a lot. Let's see, only by 7. Alright, well, it's only cost us 800, so that's bad. Oh, wait, but wait a minute. What is that, level 22? I think we actually caught an even higher one from... Let's go ahead and give him... Ekans? And Ekans will stay here and get some levels. Um, okay, let's go ahead and start training Slowpoke here. Alright guys, um, we are here, Slowpoke, level 37. This should theoretically be his evolution. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a Slowbro, which we will trade to go ahead and get a Licky Tongue or basically another spot in our Pokedex here. Yeah, surpri I'm surprised uh, Slowbro evolves so high up at 37. That seems a little crazy to me, but um, cool. Drag, congratulations, your Slowpoke evolved into a Slowbro. Trying to learn Withdraw. No, I don't need Withdraw. I need, I'm going to give him away, so. Okay, um, no. Stop. Yes, okay, here we go. Okay, and there's one more little thing that I actually want to do before... I know it's 
funny. I'm like trying to go to this route and I seem to never do it. Um, I We will be exploring Saffron City another episode, but there is one thing I want to grab from Saffron that's very important to specifically Starmie. Um, real quick, let's heal. Um, but at the bottom right corner of Saffron is a man who gives you the TM Psychic, which is one, if not one, or if not the best, just like psychic moves in the game. Um, and of course, that is pretty crucial to Starmie. Um, I think he's in here. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. Um, yes. You already know, don't you? Yes, it's an attack that may also lower the target special stats. That is exactly what I needed, uh, my guy. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's go to Psychic. Super strong move, which Starmie very much needs. However, yep, that's fine. And we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and remove Water Gun. Do not need Water Gun anymore. Um, it's a very early on move. Forgot Water Gun and learn Psychic. All right, so. Now, Starmie just turned into a pretty big powerhouse. Now we've got uh, Surf and Psychic, which are both extremely strong. Um, they won't be super, super, super useful against um, a lot of the Pokemon we're going to face here, but Starmie is going to be strong and I need it to level up. So let's go ahead and finally, after all of that, start making our way down um, the route. And again, there's no new Pokemon that we need. So, I'm just going to go ahead and basically just battle everyone. And as I say that, let me double check if there's nothing in here that I need. It's just the one dude, okay. No, no, no Professor Oak Aids that I need to talk to. Okay, so, once again, there's going to be a lot of battles here. Um, I think there's some strong wind, so it's a little harder to get up and down. All right, let's head inside. Let's make sure... Oh, an aid. Hi, remember me? I'm one of the aides. If your progress completed at 40, I'm supposed to give you a reward. Um, amulet coin. Yes, I have. Great, you have caught... Okay, congrats, here you go. All right, so what does that do? Um, amulet is an item to be held by a Pokemon. If it appears in a way, you will earn more money. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and give that to Starmie right now. Um, Starmie isn't holding anything else. So, let's go down as fast as we can. We, I, I will take more money any day. Here we go. All right. And this just takes us to, that's what I thought, okay. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of these battles, but um, let's go ahead and end off the episode. Hey everybody, we're playing Pokemon again. Very quickly, we just have to take a couple of fights here, finish out Route 16, and then we can go ahead and continue with the game. So give me a moment, let me clear these fights. Alright, here we go. We have finished off 
this entire place. So, realistically, if we go to our map, we have now finished out this entire area. Go near the water. Would you like to surf? Yes. I would like to surf here. And then, actually, can we... I think we can catch a Tangela here, right? Like, off the top of the dome? Yes, we can. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this Tangela real quick. Um... I'll probably kill it with that. Let's, um... Let's bring out Slowbro. Oh, yes! I forgot to trade for the Lickitung! Okay. Um, I gotta actually go back. Um, I forgot to trade for the Lickitung. But... Um, let's see... Okay, how many dialogue boxes? Can I... Water gun it? And hopefully not kill it? Oh, perfect. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, well now it's gonna go back to green, right? No, I mean, it'll still stay in the yellow. Okay, that's good, because I needed it to not go back in the green. Let's go throw on an Ultra Ball. Just because I don't feel like throwing 20 million Great Balls. Let's just go ahead and uh, snatch it up. Yeah, let's go ahead and just snatch that up. Um... Let's see, I'm trying to think if there's... Is there anything else in this grass that I need? Also, what route am I on here? Yeah, okay, well, I guess we can we can do a little test. Okay, it might be only Tangle in here, so... I don't think we'll need any more. Oh, and I need a heal. Okay, then let's go ahead and, um... I know we, like, just came here. W let's go back. Let's go heal. Let's go do that trade. And then we'll go from there. I'm looking for the Pokemon Slowbro. Wanna trade for my Lickitung? Yes, I do. Go ahead and take my Slowbro, bro. <laughs> Alright, Slowbro. Uh, later. I'm trying to get that Lick Pokemon. Still, I know we do, but. Yeah, lick a tongue. Alright. Lick a tongue. Um, definitely not a Pokemon I want to keep around, personally. Oh, his name is Mark. Hey, thanks. Um, you're welcome. I am going to shove your beloved Pokemon um, straight into a box. And you'll never see them again. Um, but it's alright, because that's how life works. But let's go ahead and go to our PC. Let's start switching out some Pokemon here. Alright, so let's deposit Lickitung. Let's deposit Tangela. We'll keep everyone else. Now we gotta withdraw a couple Pokemon. Let's go ahead and withdraw... Um... Who do we want to withdraw? Oh, yes, Dratini. Yes, 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 yes. Totally forgot that we got the Dratini, and I definitely want to stick the XP share on that. Alright, and actually, we don't need to grab anyone else, really. Because I'm going to be giving the XP share to Dratini. Um... I might want to just grab another Pokemon, though. Just for the giggles of it. But who's, like, a cool Pokemon to grab? Let's grab Snorlax, why not? Um, like I said, I'm the XP share is really gonna be going to the Dratini here. I just need to fill that slot. Item give. Gonna give it the XP share. That way Dratini and Starmie can kinda level up at the same time here. Alright, and now we can go ahead and uh, continue. And make our way over to Cinnabar Island. And I know a lot of people, they might want to do Saffron. Well, hold on. Actually, I need to do Saffron first. Because at the end of Cinnabar, we're going to have to go to the islands. So actually, um, revision. We will not be going to Cinnabar right now. We will be going to Saffron City. 
Saffron first. So let's go ahead and go there. So this is the this is the Poke Mart or he Poke Center. Um, so this is where we got Psychic, so we don't need to go there. Here's the Self Co. Let's go check out the rest of these houses. All of us gathered here are Pokemon trainers. The way they look in battle, the picture coolness. Perhaps you'll be talked about here too if you keep winning. Okay. Is there anything good in this house though? No. Okay. Nothing in here. There is the Pokemart, which we do not need right now. There is the gym. There is the fighting gym, which we will go on in a minute. What do you want? Get lost? Okay, that house we can't go inside of. Okay, so let's go ahead and first things first, let's go ahead, we can't do the gym yet. First we need to do the fighting gym. And we have a, a couple of battles here to go. Um, and we get a really cool Pokemon at the end of this. What? You're trespassing in our fighting dojo. So let's go ahead and, um, a lot of people call this like a, not like a real gym, but like a kind of like a side quest mini gym, so. Um, a lot of pretty strong fighting Pokemon in here, they're all, you know, level 30, so. Um, Really, we're not we're not super over leveled for this area, but it's a good thing that Psychic is super effective against fighting here. So um, that's a pretty good thing, Mankey. And of course, hopefully we can get a Dragonair soon from that Dratini and get Dragonite eventually. But Dragonite evolves at like 50 something, so we've got a long way to go for that. Alright, Jakini gets some points, use Primeape. Alright, let's go ahead and use another Psychic. Hey, so we're, we're gonna pretty much run through this with Starmie, which is gonna be nice. Again, I, I really, I like Starmie's, um, you know, the Psychic Water is, like, perfect. And I know Slowbro is also Psychic Water, but, um, I think Starmie's much better. Faster. I think higher special def special attack, um, used by Misty, so, um, I'm gonna give Starmie many more points. I mean, it's cool that Slowbro will, can later, well, no, not later, I, well, yeah, it can, it evolves into the, with the King's Rock, but, um, I don't know if it does that in this game. I think that, I don't know if that evolution came out later, but Starmie is now level 40, and I'm a choke. All right, let's go ahead and run through this. So Starmie is almost caught up now. Um, I forgot what is my what is my Pidgey Pidgeot? I think it's 46. So Starmie caught up very very quickly. Let's check what is 43. Oh yeah, Starmie caught up very quick. Nido King's 46. Like, we, we caught up very quickly with Starmie, which is nice. Ha, I have no fear for anything tough. I shatter boulders for training every day. But it did also help that since I had to train a lot for Slowbro, you know, Starmie got a lot of that too. Primeape. Level 36? That's a pretty high level Primeape. I don't know if we'll kill it in one turn here. We will. Okay, cool. Dratini, level 24. Yeah, I don't think Dratini evolves to Dragonair until like 30-something also, so it'll be a little while before we can get to that. Alright, take your shoes off. Hey, my bad, dude. Black Belt Mike. It's Prison Mike. Alright, well, this is gonna be no different. Honestly, I don't even need to look at the screen. Let's just keep spamming Psychic here. I could also probably spam Surf, but I want to make sure that I kill every single one in a single hit. Not like it matters, I'll just use Recover, but... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, I pulled out Reddit. Oh, I should probably- I only have two more PP of Psychic left, so I need to be careful. Um... Maybe I'll Surf the next one. Use Primeape. Um... Let's go ahead and Surf it. I think I can kill it with Surf. It's only level 31. Oh, Fury Swipes. Ah, <laughs> but you missed. You're- you're bad. 
Alright, let's go ahead with a water pulse. Alright, cool. Alright, we defeated Prison Mike. Alright, we got one more. Grunt, I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Sweep the leg. Alright, how many you got? Two? Oh, he's gonna have his Hitmonchan Hitmonlee. They're both level 30... I think the other one's level 37, too. And I got two Psychics left, so... Literally perfect. I'm, I'm gonna hit both of you guys with Psychics. Super effective. And then, um, just so you guys know... You guys know I have, basically, um... I'm also playing a Fire Red copy. And I'm basically... Whatever I'm doing in Leaf Green... Oh, I did not mean to do Water Pulse, but it's fine. Whatever I'm doing in Leaf Green, I'm doing on my Fire Red. Um, basically off camera completely. So, on my Fire Red, I did do this gym. Oh, Thunder Punch. Ah, that's gonna hurt. I did do this gym, and I grabbed one of the Pokemon. So, uh, today I'm gonna grab one. And then on my other playthrough, I grabbed the other one. And we later in the game, we will be trading so I can get both of them. Alright, so, there we go. 15 level 25. We defeated Black Belt, um, whatever his name was. I can't pronounce it. So, in my other game, I grabbed Hitmon Lee. So, in this, we will be grabbing Hitmon Chan. Red received, yep, Hitmon Chan. Um, and I do not want to give it a nickname, and I will not be using it. But, like I said, in my other playthrough, I do have Hitmon Lee. So, I will be trading it later. But now it is time. Um, I don't think we can fight this yet, right? Don't get our hurt you. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal so I can get that psychic PP back. And then we can go ahead and we can start the, the self commission. Uh, we definitely won't finish it this episode because it takes a while, but. Also, let's go ahead and store away the Snorlax. And I want to grab... I want to grab my Rhyhorn. So this one's level 25. I, think I have a few. This one's also level... I think they're all level 25, right? Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead... And that one's a female... Snore. Huh, he's taking a snooze. We can go ahead and go inside Silph Co. And this is where our next mission lies. Um, so this can be done very, very quickly. Um, let's see. So we could go through every single floor and get ourselves confused, but really all we need to go to is floor 5 and then 11, I think. Um, so you know what we might do? Maybe we can just finish it quickly and then come back and fight everything else. I think that's what we'll do. So let's go ahead and let's just go to floor 5. And then maybe we'll finish off the grunt work next episode. I think we need to go here. Um, wait. Oh, this guy is a battle. Dang it. Okay, what? There shouldn't be any children here. Okay, um, or maybe, maybe it was level 3, but I'm pretty sure I start out at level 5 here. Alright, he only has two Pokemon, so that's not bad. A Kadabra. That's not a super good matchup, but it seems to be low level. I think I might have went in the wrong order. I know, I think a lot of people do Saffron first, um, and then they go to Fuchsia. I did Fuchsia first, um, so I'm pretty sure I did that in the wrong order, but it's really not that big of a deal. Um, it doesn't really matter. Honestly, that just makes it where... Oh, wow. Ouch. Ah, oh, that sucks. It just makes this a little easier. Um, because they'll be slightly lower leveled. You know, they'll be around 30, while Fuchsia was, like, high 30s, you know? So, that's not a bad... That's not that big of a deal. But now, I gotta figure out what I had to do last time. Did I go here? Yeah, so I took this. Right? Maybe not? I need you to look the other way. Okay, perfect. But I think if I take this, and then I take it back, 
I can... No, I didn't mean to hit you. Okay, that's fine. We can grab the key card, which is uh, more to the right. Oh, only one guy. Okay, cool. Um, but like I said, we're going to go ahead and finish um, this building very quickly. We could finish it this episode, actually. Um, but I next episode, we will not leave. We will come back into the building and finish all of the battles. Um, because, of course, I don't want to just... Um, I don't want to leave without doing them, you know. But right now, we could, we'll could we be able to run and grab the card key. Over here. So you basically just have to hit this teleporter twice. So you can kind of get to the other side. Um, I don't want to fight you yet. Okay, there we go. So now we can jump over to floor three. Uh, oh. Floor three, four, four, four. So then we could run. So we got to get to that, that. Okay, so we're going to have to fight this guy no matter what. This guy will have to be fought. Quit messing with us, kid. And we defeated the Team Rocket Grunt. So now, we can just kind of go down here. Bingo. We open up the thing. And... You know what we'll do, just very quickly. We're going to open this up just to grab that item. But we're going to talk to that dude later. But really, where we need to go is here. Where we will meet our rival. What kept you, Red? Haha, uh -huh, I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Alright, here we go. So we've got our rival battle. Let's see what he's got. Alright, he finally evolved his Pidgeotto to a Pidgeot. Level 37. Okay, that's pretty high. Let's go ahead and use a Surf. I think Psychic might have been better, but and I don't think we'll hit it. In, yeah, we won't. We won't kill it in one turn. And that's fine. It definitely we're faster than it. Surprisingly, but Stormy's pretty fast, so I would expect Pidgey to be faster. But it seems like that's not the case. All right, level 41. All right, he's gonna send out Venusaur. Let's go ahead and switch, just because Venusaur is a little scary. Let's go ahead and switch out to our own Pidgeot, just just to, just to take care of Venusaur. I don't I don't want my um, I don't want my Starmie dying because it is a level 40 Venusaur. That's pretty high. Venusaur used Razor Leaf, skirt skirt, and not very effective because we're a flying Pokemon. Aerial Ace. Okay. About to send out Gyarados. Switch, yes. Um, let's bring it back to Starmie. I know it's not specifically a good matchup, but um, I want Starmie to get the XP here. Level 38. Okay, that's a that's actually a little scary. Um, let's go ahead and recover. Let's get some HP back. I don't want to take any chances and die from like a rage or something. Bite. Oh, that's... Oh, okay, that was a critical. Let's go ahead and recover again. Hopefully it won't hit us with a stupid critical this time. Use Bite. Alright, so it's super effective, but it's not going to kill us. Let's go ahead and use a Psychic. Wait, it's a Dragon! So it's not effective, because it's a Dragon. Um, whatever. Let's keep throwing Psychics at it. Honestly, not that even big of a deal. And we hit it with a critical. Let's go. Alright, Starmie's hitting that, those criticals when needed, so that's really good. Dratini level 27. Growlithe. That's perfect for Starmie. Alright, my attack is down again. We can go ahead and hit it with a Surf. Soon he'll have an Arcanine, I'm pretty sure, because it's level 35. You, you really should be evolving that to an Arcanine soon. Alright. About to use Alakazam. We can go ahead and keep Starmie out. Again, not a super great matchup, but it'll work. Let's go ahead and recover very quickly. Let's get some of that HP back. 
What is it gonna do? Like, uh, call Mindy app. Just increase its own special attack and special defense. Let's go ahead and use Surf, and that that Surf should be pretty strong against it. Won't kill it, but it'll be pretty strong. Another Calm Mind, which is not gonna really help it that much. Well, it's special defense row, so it probably won't die from the Surf now because of the special defense rise. But yeah. Okay, he recovered, which, hey, I've been doing that, so that's completely understandable. Let's go out and throw another Surf at it. Future Sight. Or Sawn Attack. Okay, well, why does that matter? Mm, okay. I feel like he definitely, like, wasted that turn. Are we defeated blue? Oh man, so you are ready for boss rocket. Well, Red, I'm moving on up and ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. Am I a genius or what? I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Red, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. Oh, hi, you're not a rocket. Came to save us? Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. Oh, Lapras. Do you want to give a nickname to Lapras? No, that's really cool. It's a Lapras. It's a very intelligent Pokemon. We kept it in our lab, but it will much better be better off with you. I think you will be a good trainer for Lapras. It's a good swimmer, and it'll gift you a lift across water. Well, I've got Starmie for that, but I really appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead, and we should probably use an Aether. Um... Oh, yeah, we can use an elixir. We're gonna use that elixir on Starmie. Just so we can get its psychic and surfs back. Alright, here we go. Stop right there, don't you move. Alright, bud. Alright, we got we got 2k from that one grunt. Alright, well that's cool. And I'm pretty sure okay, we can open this door now. And we can go the door is open. okay. We can head in. And we will fight Giovanni. Ah, Red, so we meet again. The President and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters or experience a world of pain. Okay. Also, why is my... I just noticed... Has this been, like, moving every episode? Just, like, a tiny bit? Alright, Giovanni. Nidorino. And this, all sh this should also be a pretty easy fight. Psychic. Bam. Super effective. Because it is a poison type. Alright, he's about to send out Needle Queen. We will go ahead and keep Starmie out again. That's a really cool Pokemon, actually. Needle Queen. And I think in Fire Red, because I did do this in Fire Red already, it was a Needle King. Alright, that double kick did, like, absolutely nothing. Go ahead and hit it with a Surf, just because I want to save that Psychic for another Pokemon if it comes up. And that's also super effective, so that's cool. Alright, Dutini, level 28. About to use Genghis Khan. Yeah, that's a pretty strong Pokemon. But we're going to go ahead and probably use Surf. Fake Out. Oh, he made me flinch. But, that's alright. Didn't do much damage. Okay, Meg. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Does that, does that kill me? Wow. That was very close, though. Let's go ahead and use a recover. I just don't want to deal with that. He's probably gonna Mega Punch me again. But he missed this time, because he's trash. Let's go ahead and pull out a Psychic. And I'm hoping that this does a bit more damage in Surf. Just about the same. Tail Whip. Okay, the Mega Punch might actually kill me this time. But I go first, so it doesn't matter. Alright, cool. And Genghis Khan is down. Alright, and Rhyhorn. Which, Surf, will be good. I'm surprised that's not a Rhyperior yet. Ah, there we go. Super effective on that Surf. Alright, there we go. 
Um, not too bad. We defeated Giovanni. Arg, I lost again. And he gave me 8k, dude. Blast it all. You ruined our plans for self. But Team Rocket will never fall. Red, never forget that all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return. Oh, dear boy, thank you for saving self. I will never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. Because I am rich, I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. Master Ball. Okay. You can't buy that anywhere. Our secret prototype Master Ball. It will catch any Pokemon without fail. You should be quiet about using it, though. Um, thank you for rescuing all of us. We, from the president down, are indebted to you. Okay. Ooh, there's a Pokemon thingy here. Cool. Um, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and save and end this episode. Next episode, we will go through the rest of the building. It's gonna be a pretty boring episode, to be honest, because we're just gonna fight everyone and get everything done, grab all the items. Alright, saved. Okay, I was like, is it pretty good? Um, but I'm gonna end this episode off here, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, we're playing some more Pokemon. Um, and then there's a bunch of <clears throat> doors to open. Alright, well then we gotta take all of these teleporters. Let's talk to this lady, though. E, stop, help! Oh, you're not with Team Rocket. I'm sorry, I thought, will I forgive you if you let me teach Thunder Wave technique? Um, <clears throat> sure. Who can learn it, though? Yo, Starmie's able to learn Thunder? Let's see how much damage, what is the base damage on it? Having a thunder move on Starmie might be a good idea. Um, oh, no. I don't... I need to do damage, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't need that if it don't do damage. Alright, let's start taking teleporters. Oh, we're on floor six. Um... Alright, we can open this door. Yeah, and it's so much easier with the teleporters just being able to open doors. It's nuts. <clears throat> Alright, ooh, found our HP up. Oh yeah, that reminds me. We should probably use a lot of these um, items. So like the... Let's see what we got here. Um, calcium raises special attack. Yeah, let's go ahead and give that to Starmie. <clears throat> um, we got... Iron, that's the defense. Protein, alright, we don't need that. Um, HP up. Let's go ahead and put that on Starmie here. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, that's good. And we'll, we'll save the attack and defense ones for, you know, Pokemon that need something like that. Alright, these guys don't actually need any help. Let's see where this takes us. Floor 4. Alright, we just straight up open this door. Hello? Where does this take us? Ooh, three items. Full heal. Max survive. Escape rope. Alright. <clears throat> not all. Not very super useful, but... Uh, Team Rocket is gone? Um, yeah, for now, bud. I don't think they'll be gone forever, but they're gone for now. Alright, where does... Where does all this... I just realized. I defeated the team leader, so the grunts are gone. <clears throat> I was sitting here prepping to fight the grunts, not realizing where they at. Bro, I'm a big dummy. <clears throat> I was going to try to fight the grunts afterwards. They're all gone. Because I defeated their leader. Obviously, they're all gone. <clears throat> um... Well, that's hilarious. Well, aren't I a little dummy? Well, technically, not that big of a deal. Um, because... Not like I need the levels. <clears throat> but I totally forgot that they're gonna go away if I defeat the leader. Which is absolutely galaxy brain of me. Um, but it's alright. We can could, we could still go around collecting all the items and stuff. open all of these doors. Oh, there's one portal there. Alright. And I guess we're just gonna keep portal hopping here until we find all the items. Whoopsies. 
Oh, go back. Poor Favor. I already got that one. Oh, we need this one. Found a protein. <clears throat> Those thugs that took over our building, their boss said he was looking for a strong Pokemon. I hope our president managed to avoid trouble. He sure did, bud. That's what I'm here for. Team Rocket took off. You're a hero. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Alright. Probably, I think we're like almost done. There's probably a few things I missed, but to be 100, I'm not gonna trip about it. About me crying, please keep it a secret. Are there some items over there that I want to go get? I go boom, 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 boom. Found an Ultra Ball. Alright, hey, those are a couple thousand dollars. Found a rare candy. I could sell that for money. Found Carbos. Okay. Um. Alright. Alright, we're probably going to get out of here soon. Because it seems like... I'm not going to spend like a crazy amount of time here searching for every single little thing. I right, found a zinc. A lot of these items are pretty good though. Honestly, we'll probably just go floor by floor like this. And... Alright, let's get out of here. Well, never mind. Um, all the stuff I said about it being a boring episode. <clears throat> I'm a dummy. I forgot that the Team Rocket grunts disappeared. Never mind, I guess we're not fighting them. Which, hey, saves me a bit of trouble because I hate fighting them. Um, but I'm pretty sure now... <clears throat> we might be able to. Oh yeah, the grunts are gone. So we can enter a lot of these households. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. My daughter likes to mimic people. It's rather vexing. Her mimicry has earned her the nickname copycat around here. My daughter is so self-centered. She has but a few friends. Um, are you good? Hi, do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you, huh? You're strange. Hmm? Quit mimicking, but that's my favorite hobby. Um. I, I don't know what to tell you, bud. Hey, she's a little girl. Leave her alone. She'll grow out of it. Alright, so now we can go to the gym. I saw the rocket boss escaping self building. Was this previously blocked? I flew here on my Pidgeot when I read about self. It's already over? I missed the blah blah blah. Nobody cares. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do the gym, right? I mean, we got nothing better to do. Yo, champ in the making. Sabrina's Pokemon use psychic power instead of force. Fighting Pokemon are especially weak against psychic Pokemon. They'll get destroyed before they even aim a punch. Alright, well, time to zippity zoop around and fight every single person. Sabrina's young, but she's also our highly skilled leader. You won't reach her easily. Um, we'll see. What level are you guys? Alright, Psychic Cameron. 33? Oh, alright. Oh, I don't have any more PP. Okay, well, that's fine. Wait, why'd I use that? It's a slowpoke. Yeah, it's a slowpoke. Why'd I do that? Headbutt. Ouch. Alright, never mind. Let's just keep using Water Pulse because there's not much else I can do. I can use a Surf, but I don't feel like wasting the PP on that. Confusion. And, that's, and I can also just recover, so that makes it easy. This is where I kind of wanted a Thunder move. That thunder wave was booty cheeks, so. Alright, about it, send in, slow poke. Yeah, let's go ahead and change, so I don't have to deal with that. Let's go ahead and bring in Nita King. It might, honestly, Starmie might just not be a good fit for this gym since it's psychic. I might have to take Starmie out just for a, just a hot minute, just so I could take care of this, but. We'll see. Oh, it's super fighting against Nino King too. <clears throat> I should have brought maybe some. Um... I always forget what typings you're good against Psychic. 
Um, no, we can, we can keep Neo King out. He'll be fine. Let's go on Thrash. <clears throat> I think Thrash would be a pretty good move here. Wow, really? Not even half? But, eh. Slowbro has a lot of HP, so that's fine. That's understandable. Critical hit. Exactly what we needed. Alright, level 29. Um... I think Slam is pretty good. Wait. Um... 80? Hey, 40? Nah, no, it's... 40's not... <clears throat> good at all. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do Slam. Ow. Uh, cut that out? Nah, bro, I'm good. Alright. Zoop. What's up? You under... You understand, don't you? That power alone isn't enough to win in the world of Pokemon? I mean, what do you... What is your definition of power? Because technically isn't psychic ability power, so therefore your power as far as your psychic ability. So... What is your definition of power? That was kind of a lame lesson, Mr. Psychic. Ouch. Alright, that's fine. I'm just gonna surf you. I don't like Mr. Mime. Actually, I... I actually do like Mr. Mime. I just don't like your Mr. Mime. Your Mr. Mime is stupid. Alright, level 42. About to use Kadabra. We could probably go ahead and um, recover here. Choose recover. Start my regained health. Ah, uh, he is recovered too, but what are you supposed to be recovering, bud? Alright, surf. Hey, here we go. Just one shot it. Alright, we defeated. I don't believe this. Oh. Believe it, brother. So does it take me back? Okay, that does take me back. Okay. So let's go ahead and take the bottom one. Okay. The channeler. Pokemon take on the appearance of their trainers. Your Pokemon must be tough then. Am I gonna have to fight Gastly's? Chandler Stacy would like to battle. Send out Haunter? That's pretty cool. Well, that's level 38. That's pretty high. Well, Surf will be good. I should do a decent amount of damage here. By decent, I mean one-shot it. My bad. Alright, we defeated Stacy. Um, alright, Stacy, I'm going this way. Alright, up to another channeler. Sabrina's far younger than I, but she has earned my respect. Alright, two. Alright, probably got a probably got two ghastlies. I wish I had a shiny ghastly. Shiny ghastlies are pretty sick. Critical hit. Alright, and about to use another haunter. And probably this one's not even level 38, so we'll definitely one shot yeah. Definitely one shot this one. Yeah, there you go. Easy peasy. Alright, we defeated Amanda. Not good enough. Uh, I don't know which one I came from. I'm just gonna go on this one. Saffron Pokemon Gym is famous for training psychics. You wanna see Sabrina? Don't you? I can tell. Uh, nah, dude. Um, I just came here because you guys had really good ice cream. Uh, slow bro. Okay, this one might not be the greatest matchup here. Water Psychic versus Water Psychic. So let's go ahead and uh, bing bong. Um, yeah, Pidgey's gonna do pretty good here. Um, let's go ahead and um, probably do a fly here. Bro, use withdraw. Oh, 
Oh, that did not do a lot. Oh, no, okay. Watch the quick attacks. Hit him in the head. Okay. Alright, uh, bad. Alright, slow bro, bad. Very hard. Slow bro, special defense sharply rose. Um. This is a pretty tough slow bro. Let's try to pr bring on Nino King and see what we can do. Disable, okay, well, nothing to disable here. Ooh, Mega Horn. Yeah, yeah, this is it right here. Wow, and it still didn't die. Well, that's an interesting one. That's alright, we can cut it now. Oh, it still survived! Yo, slow bro's nuts! Alright, well, he can keep doing that, but... Bro... Just cut him, bro. What are you doing? Alright, here we go. Everyone getting a little bit of XP here. Right, that took way too long. Stupid slow, bro. Alright, I'm gonna fight all corners, huh? Does our unseen powers scare you? Um, no. I mean, like, y'all are pretty cool, but, like, not really. Um, I like his spoon though. I appreciate that spoon. Hopefully he cleans it. Does Alakazam eat cereal? I bet he eats some pretty good cereal. He needs level 30. Hey, I think he evolves, no? Pretty sure he evolves at level 30. Into Dragonair. Right, let's go ahead and surf that. Ooh, magical leaf. Oh, that's gonna hurt a little bit. Yeah. Turn right, the Huy's water pulse like hard day. Hmm. Alright. I'm about to use slow poke. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and uh go and bring on Nita King. So we can do Mega Horn here. Alright, Mega Horned it is, and hopefully we can kill it. Since it's not evolved and only level 31. Let's go. Alright. Now he's Kadabra. Gotta switch back to Starmie here. Alright, Kadabra, we can go ahead and use a Surf. I think that would be pretty good. Yep, yeah, there we go. Alright. I never, I never foresaw this. When you're bad at your job. Oh, hey, let's go! Well, Jatini's evolving. Alright, we got ourselves a Dragonair. Congrats, your Dratini evolved into a Dragonair. Cool, now we just need to get to like level 50 something to get into um, a Dragonite. You and I, our Pokemon shall battle. Alright. Sounds good to me. Oh, you got three of them? Why got three of them, man? Just straight up one strong Pokemon. Why are you guys gonna have all, all, all of them? I'm gonna run out of surfs here, man. Might have to get out of here to get some PP back. Ghastly. Yeah, I'll just use all my surfs, that's fine. I could probably even just use an ether, to be honest. Pretty sure I have a couple ethers lying around, so I'm sure it'll be fine. There we go. Player defeated Tasha. <clears throat> Alright, let's go see if we can get an ether going. 
Alright, we use an Aether on Surf here. I think that's really all we need. And I think we're almost there. We might... Um... I think we have... Okay. Yep, so we are done with all the trainers. Now we just gotta figure out how to actually get to Sabrina. Ah, here we go. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic power since I was a child. It started when a spoon I carelessly tossed bent. I dislike battling, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Something about spoons, man. These psychics always be eating cereal. Leader Sabrina. Kadabra. Alright, they're all, they're all going to be pretty high level psychic Pokemon, so it's going to be interesting. I don't know if they're going to be strong enough, but... Aw, oh, man, really? It's going to be one of those fights, huh? Give me one of those ones? Bruh. You just, ha you just had to live by a sliver, didn't you? You butthead. You little stupid little spoon. That's right, get rocked. Alright, Venomoth. Could probably keep Charmy out. Not a good matchup. But we could probably surf it and call it a day. Each life. Okay, that's that's cool. As long as it doesn't take too much. Yeah, I didn't take that much, that's fine. We could just do it. Um Oh. We just do another water surf and call it a day. Alright, Dragonair to level 31. He's Mr. Mime. Now oh, we're keeping Starmie in. Starmie's goaded. Let's go ahead and use a recover. Just so we don't put ourselves in a weird position later. Barrier, okay. Special defense up, or defense, not special defense. Well, good thing I'm a special attacker, not a physical attacker, so that's kind of useless for- Yeah, okay, you, you keep putting up barriers, but, um, yeah. Not the cashest strategy, but. I'm to use Alakazam, alright, her last and probably strongest Pokemon. Level 43? He's higher than I am! Alright. That's a pretty cool Pokemon you got there, Sabrina. Psychic? Okay, well, I'm a Psychic, so that's not... Yeah, that's not super cash. Alright. Well, that was a pretty cool battle. I like that Alakazam there. And we get that juice ex juicy XP. Player defeated leader Sabrina. This loss shocks me, but a loss is a loss. I admit, I didn't work hard enough to win. Your victory has earned you the Marsh Badge. And we got 8.6k. The Marsh Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokemon will become wild. Will become wild, ignore it. Okay, just don't raise your Pokemon too much to avoid that problem. Wait, please take this TM with you. What is it? But, what is it? Psychic power isn't something that only a few people have. Everyone has psychic power, people just don't realize it. This Pokemon concentrate to raise bolts. Oh, okay, well that's a kind of a poopy move. I mean, I guess it's not poopy. Um, if, you know, if I'm gonna have Starmie in a six-match battle, it actually probably would be pretty good. Alright, so, <clears throat> I think we gotta go to... Now, we're going to go and go to Route 18, 17, 16 in the Power Plant, then moving on to the Seafoam Islands. Um, let's see if we can make any changes. Honestly, I think I'm cool with all of this. This is all fine. Um, yeah, we won't make any drastic changes right now, so we'll just, let's go and keep moving on. Alright, but somehow i got to get to Route 18. Which one? Where is that power plant? 
Where is Route 18? Alright. Um, alright, psych. <clears throat> we actually have to go near here, not Lavender Town. Yeah, we gotta go over to the Rock Tunnel. Because from here, we gotta go to the top of this route, and we gotta, just gotta take this waterway over here. Oh, fun fact, this is also where I found Shiny Spiro in my uh, Fire Red uh, copy. Alright, yep, let's go ahead and surf here. And I think we'll be able to travel down up to the power plant over here. Tentacle, hey! I don't have a tentacle, I just realized that I do not have a tentacle. Alright, well, let's go ahead and um, chuck an Ultra Ball at it. It's only level 5, so really it shouldn't be that hard to catch. Alright, that's a little annoying. Alright, one more Ultra Ball, if not... The problem is it's level 5, I can't damage it or I'll kill it. Alright, this is going to be very annoying. I'm about to waste a stupid amount of money on catching a level 5. Kind of cool, dude. Come on. Just stay in the stupid ball, please. Let's go. And I will not be using a tentacool, like ever, so... Drifts in shallow areas, anglers who hook them by accident are often punished by their stingers. No, I do not want to give a nickname to a stupid tentacle. Alright, just want to make sure there's, any, there's nothing over here. It's the power plant. What's up? Wow, you came all the way here? Maybe you're a Pokemaniac too. Want to see my collection? No, not particularly, bud. Alright, let's see. We're going to power plant. Um... Alright, here we go. My horn. That's pretty cool. I don't think as cool as uh, my Starmie, though. I kind of... Dude, I kind of want a shiny Starmie. I think that'd be really sick. Um, but getting one of those is very hard. Like a tongue? Nah. Like a tongue... Yeah, let's do another water pulse. I don't want to waste my surf. The surf is valuable, so I want to save it. Alright, we critted it. Alright, we defeated Pokemaniac Mark. Alright, let's go inside the power plant. Okay. So, what is in here? Alright, we can encounter... The only really new things are Magnemites and Magnetons. Those are the only things that are new. Alright, we found a Max Potion. Oh, you... Should I go and grab more balls? Okay, we're back. And I brought, uh, like, 30 more Ultra Balls, 10 more Great Balls, um, and a few more Revives and all that good stuff. Um... So, yeah, um, yeah, uh, Psychic doesn't have a lot of PP, which kind of sucks. So I'm going to try, maybe I'll start using the Water Pulses instead, but, yeah, and a lot of these, the, the Pokemon here aren't super high value. It's also a little annoying, but, um, yeah, and like stuff like this, like we don't really, really need the Voltorb might even run away from a lot of these fights just for the simple purpose of saving PP. And it seems like the encounter rate in here is kind of nuts. Alright, Magnemite. Um... Let's, go ahead and, let's bring in a Pokemon to weaken it. Let's bring in Dragonair. Dragonair could probably weaken it. Thundershock. That's not very good. But it's not very effective. Alright, what if we slam it? Well, like... Alright, Dragonair. Not no one's coming off to a super hot start right now. Bro, slam the stupid Magnemite! 
What are you doing? Dude, this... This Dragonair is not impressing me right now. Holy, that took way too long. Alright, I need you to slam it one more time and don't... Don't... There we go. Alright, fine. Man, Dragonair, you... Whew. Everyone kept missing, got paralyzed, you couldn't hit nothing. I just want to catch a stupid Magnemite. That's all I want to do. Alright, here we go. Got the Magnemite. Uses anti-gravity to stay suspended, appears without warning, and uses Thunder Wave and similar moves. But well, what is it? Who built this? Man, yeah, the encounter rate is very high in here. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode off here, and we'll continue the rest of the power plant next episode. Hey everybody, we're playing Pokemon. We're in the power plant. Let's go ahead and uh, continue right where we left off. Um, this place seems to have an extremely high encounter rate because I can't seem to stay away from these Pokemon. And it's even like almost useless to battle them because like I'm just going to like waste my PP. Um, but like I literally walk like five steps and I see a Pokemon, which is absolutely nuts. Man, see like I'm just going to try to get to that item, but... Whew. And the thing is, I don't want to use a Repel either, because I'm looking for a Magna... Or not Magneton. Not Magnemite. No, maybe it is a Magneton. I'm thinking a Magna Zone is the third evolution. So that's literally, once I encounter the Magneton, then I no longer... And then I'm just going to use a Repel, but I want that Magneton first. Okay. We'll just keep running until then. See, and I have no interest in fighting these. I found Protect. I know there's a couple of fake Pokeballs in this building, so let's... I'm probably running towards a fake one right now. Which is cool. Alright. Um, you. Alright, come on, man. I'm only looking for one Pokemon. How have I not gotten it yet? It's a 15%. Found elixir. Alright, now we gotta run all the way around. Come on, give me a magneton so I can just use a repel. Just <laughs> one magneton, man. Oh, it's gonna be a gonna be a rough one. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Just gotta. Not get frustrated with the absolute nuts spawn rate. And maybe I wouldn't mind the spawn rate if it just gave me the one Pokemon that I needed for a hot minute. Oh, there's one of the fake Pokeballs with an electrode in it. Which I will gladly take so I don't have to evolve a Voltorb. Makes everything just slightly easier. Um, I'll probably kill it with that. Let's go ahead and bring in a Machamp. I just, I don't want to kill it. Spark. That's fine. Okay, I was just hoping just don't get paralyzed and you'll be fine, but um... Are you serious? Alright, well, um... <laughs> good job, Machamp, for just absolutely taking that blast to the face. Fair enough, I guess. Still looking for the Magneton. Still looking for the Magneton. All right, here we go. It contains thunder. Now that might be pretty good. 
Um, can I teach thunder to anyone? Um, hold on, thunder. Oh, Starmie's able to learn it. Yes. Um, now that's a good move. Now I feel bad getting rid of Water Pulse. But... Mm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Recover. I hate it, but... I just, I have potions. There's really no reason to keep Recover around. I have potions. It, it absolutely kills me because I love the move Recover, but I just, there's no reason to keep it. Starmie forgot Recover and learned Thunder. That's going to be a very strong move for Starmie. Now you have Psychic, Water, and Thunder moves. So it's a very good spread of moves. That's going to be really, really nice. Alright, is this another one of the fake balls? We'll find out in uh, 20 minutes. Once I can take the four steps to get there. And again, I just just give me Magneton, bro. Just give me Magneton. That's all I need in my life. Oh, it is one of the fake ones. Okay. Alright, Electrode. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and chuck a ball at it because it's going to it's going to just explode on me. Let's go ahead and chuck an Ultra Ball at it. Before it absolutely explodes. Okay, it's gonna probably explode anyway. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't have very high hopes of catching it, but catching it would be cool. No, so close. All right, Spark. That's fine. I'll just heal later. Oh no, why'd you have to do that? That's right, just keep... Mm, yeah. Keep, come on. One, two, three. No, dude, why you gotta bait me like that? Ouch. Why do you have to bait me? Two rolls, then three rolls. Watch, now it's gonna catch. That's the order. No, we're reverted back to zero. No. And it's gonna explode. Oh, it's just gonna roll out, okay. One, two, three, let's go! Okay. Uh, all right, I got a phone call. Sorry about that, but we 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 caught the electrodes. That was a surprise. All right, Electro's data was added to the Pokedex. It stores electricity under very high pressure. It often explodes with little to no provocation. Now we we don't even have to evolve an electrode. Which was pretty cool. I will take saving time any day. But we still need that Magneton. Come on. Magneton. Magneton! Let's freaking go, dude. Um. Once again, I don't feel like killing it. What if we bring out Rhinehorn? Will Rhinehorn just die instantly from the Magneton? Thunder Wave, but it doesn't affect because Rhinehorn's a rock type. Um, okay, it doesn't affect Rhyhorn. What if we stomp it? How much damage? Not a not a lot, okay. Noted. Um Bring out Pidgeot. Pidgeot might be able to do a little bit more physical damage, but not kill it. Thunder Wave, that's not very good, because that'll hurt a lot. Okay. Let's go ahead and do. An aerial ace? Please? Okay, it's not gonna kill it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, what if we just... Well, let's just keep aerial acing until we get to yellow. And that's cool with me. Again, my important part is I just don't want to kill it, so I don't really care about anything else here. Spark, that's gonna hurt a little bit. A little bit, that's gonna hurt a lot. Oh, bad time to do that, my guy. 
All right, come on. All right, there we go. That should get into the yellow. All right, that's all. That's all I really needed. I just needed to get into the yellow. All right, Ultra Ball. Yeah. Just do me a favor and stay in it. One. Okay, one. Sonic Boom. All right. Probably it'll take a few more balls because it's a Magneton. It's second evolution, but. Right here, let's go. Alright, Magneton was caught. So we don't have to evolve a Magnemite. Formed by several Magnemite linked together, they frequently appear when sunspots flare up. Nope, we will not give a nickname. And let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. Oop, nope, don't give it to anyone. Um, I think we have some super potions. Go ahead and just super potion star me. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna escape rope out of here. Let's go heal. We'll come back, and we're just gonna go ahead and use a repel. And also, let's go ahead and go inside the shop and let's go ahead and buy some paralyzed heal because I'm a dummy and apparently don't have any. Let's go ahead and buy 15 of those. Wait, what? How do I not have room? You have no more room for this item. What do you mean, do I? Does this game have bag limitations? How have I never known this in the entirety of my life? All right, we can go ahead and sell this nugget for 5,000. Okay, we can go ahead and do that. Um. Ooh, the Stardust. Okay, we can sell that for a thousand. We can go ahead and do that. Okay. Let's see, now can we buy some or what? I don't I don't understand what the problem is here. Okay, cool. I'm like I I didn't really understand what I didn't realize it was bag limitations in this game. I Maybe I've never had enough items to fill it or something, but I just straight up didn't realize that. Okay, so I think we left off like right about here. So we have to check out all of the rest. Okay, wow, there was literally nothing left. That was, that was literally it. So we probably could have stayed, but that's fine. And what do we got here? We got a little bird. Oh, 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 hold up. I'm, I was, I almost just made a big mistake. Yes, let's go ahead and save the game. Alright. Alright, here we go. Save the game. Now we can go in. Let's see. Alright, Zapdos. Oh, level 50. That's pretty cool. Of course, we're going to try to catch it. I, I, it should not kill it. A water pulse should not kill it. Okay, it protected itself. This should not kill it. If it does, then wow. Oh, that was even a crit. Okay. Um. Thunder wave. Okay. Gonna use another water pulse. Agility. That's cool. Not not that big of a problem. All right, this should put it into the yellow. Let's do it again. Maybe we could put it into the red. Actually, we might just be able to get lucky and put it into the red. Oh, okay. I'm paralyzed. Never mind. Okay, but Stormy's already paralyzed. All right, come on, man. Well, finally, use Water Pulse, and probably... Uh, Alright, come on. But it failed. Alright, come on, put it into the red, and don't crit, for the love of heaven. Alright, we put it into the red. Alright, we can go ahead and start chucking Ultra Balls here. Be 20 bucks to catch it with the first ball. $20. Uh, never... What? Did I say zero? Okay. 
we could probably maybe like paralyze it to make make it a little easier but honestly let's just keep chucking ultra balls and call it a day it'll it'll stay in one of the balls right all right well here now we're gonna start playing uh, throwing the pokeball simulator probably even pull out my phone here and actually I did get a snap I'll probably check that while I'm at it just keep chucking ultra balls one of these will stick that did not stick in the slightest okay more thunder waves all right another ultra ball Let's go ahead. Keep chucking them. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, let's go. That did not take as long as I thought it would. All right, we caught Zapdos. A legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear from clouds while dropping enormous lightning bolts. Um, nah. All right, there we go. That is Zapdos. We're on Route 10. Let's consider Route 10. Alright, well, that's pretty cool. Um. Alright, well, that is kind of it for the power plant. So now, where we need to go is... We need to go over to Fuchsia. And we're going to go ahead and take Fuchsia down Route... Um, 19 and 20 and go to the seafoam islands. That's kind of the plan here. So let's go ahead and um, heal our Pokemon All right now, I don't oh, yeah, yeah, we can just go straight down here All right, but we, we're gonna have a lot more people to fight and they're all gonna be water But we do have thunder on Starmie, so I think we'll be fine All right, let's go ahead and uh, start battling. I guess we've got a lot of people to fight so I have to exercise and warm up before I'm going out for a swim. It's going to be another one of those, you know, long couple episodes where we just have to fight through a bunch of people. And we're going to be fighting a lot of tentacle. I should probably buy some more ethers for thunder. Is that... Oh. There's only 10 PP and you missed? Starmie. Brother. Don't do that. <laughs> no, what are you Dude, the PP on that is, has a limited supply. No, dude. Alright, I'm literally one fight in. I gotta go back. I gotta heal so I can get that PP back, dude. And also, I probably should buy some ethers because I will need the ethers now. Our Dragonair is 32. How do you shelter? All right, go ahead and thunder. Bonk. Actually, I'm also gonna go back for a few other reasons. I'm gonna replace a bunch of my Pokemon with Pokemon that I we can that we need to evolve. So actually, I will go back. All right, let's go ahead and put away Rhyhorn and Dragonair. Put away Machamp. Alright, so we'll just keep Nidoking, Pidgeot, and Starmie. And let's go ahead and grab a few Pokemon that we just need to very easily evolve. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, we could probably grab Cubone. Alright, and then we could probably grab a Meowth. I want to see if I have a, maybe a higher level one. Alright, let's grab level 18 Meowth. Okay, and I think we'll be good like that. Um, alright, so, let's go ahead and give this XP share to, uh, Dodoo, so we can get that, uh, evolution going, and then, let's also, I wanna see, do they sell ethers at the Pokemart? Um, cause if they do, I'm definitely gonna need some. Alright, um, they do not sell them, which is... A little annoying. Okay, well then I guess we'll just have to be careful with um, the moves and maybe use a couple repels and call it a day. So, yeah, we could probably just use some repels because really, 
There's only one Pokemon that I don't have. And that's, I think, Horsey. And I might even already have a Horsey. I don't remember. Um... And we get that with the good rod, so let's go ahead and try to get ourselves a horsey. Horsey, hey, here we go. Do we have one? We do not have a horsey. I didn't think so. I, I don't, I didn't remember ever catching one of these. Alright, let's go ahead and chuck an ultra ball at it. And hopefully we can just quickly catch it on the first one. One, two, three. Here we go. Alright, so we have all of the Pokemon. We have tentacles. Uh, Magikarps, Horses, Krabbies, Gyaradoses, Slowpokes, we have all of that, so, um, you know what's the only thing that I might do? I might not use a Repel, because we could Surf for a Tentacool that's a better level, because we're gonna have to evolve Tentacool, and the one that I have right now is level 5. It can go up to level 40. So, I might actually not use it because I want to get a big tentacle. Um, but let's go ahead and continue fighting. Wait, slow down. You have something about a heart? So, actually, um, we're not going to use a repel just yet until I can get a really big tentacle. And then once we get the big tentacle, we can go from there. Um, we could probably use psychic too. That misses a tiny bit less. Yeah, so that's cool. Then we're about to use Horsey. Okay, same thing. We'll probably use Psychic. And if we run out of PP, hey, you know what? We come back to the Pokestop, surf all the way back down, and call it a day. Not a not a big problem. How do you star you? Hey, I like that Pokemon. All right, here we go. Alright, we defeated Reese. And then hopefully we can get a really, really big tentacle, like, right off the bat, which would be super sick. But of course, we do have a lot of fights in the meanwhile. I look at the sea to forget all the bad things that happened. Bro. Um. Tony, you good? You good, Tony? You need to talk to someone, bud? Alright, here we go. Another quick little psychic. Yeah, it looks like most most people on this route have two. But some have five actually on this route, so. Um We're definitely gonna need to go back to recharge on the psychics and the thunders. Especially with uh the thunders hit rate is so stupidly small. It's definitely something we'll have to do. Alright, swimmer Tony. How traumatic. I'm sorry, Tony. You, you don't you don't deserve what's happening to you, bud. All right, I, that dude just totally juked me out. All right, again, high level seven. Okay, yes, we do not need a level seven. I'm thinking more of like a level thirty something. Thirty plus would be pretty cool. I tried diving for Pokemon, but it was a no go. Yeah, I mean, let's take a look at what's in the water. Tentacles, Gyaradoses. Do you really want to be diving? I feel like you're like basically asking to die, which might not be like the greatest idea of all time. Are you shelter? Alright, there's a couple, there's one double battle which is pretty cool. Alright buddy, seeking. Seeking is pretty cool. Alright. Hey, Dodo is level 27. Player defeat is Swimmer David. Help! Sorry, David. Um, nah. Alright, again, high level tentacle, high level tentacle. 18, okay, nope. Again, I'm looking for like 40, 30 to 40. Would be pretty money. Um, I guess we can do one more trainer battle and then we might call it 30. Hey, 30 is not bad. Let's go ahead and water pulse it and hopefully just not kill it. 
Alright, I didn't think we'd kill it. Um... Alright, I'm hoping it doesn't kill itself in confusion. Alright, Constrict. Alright. Like I said, if we find an even higher tentacle, I'll go ahead and catch that one also. But let's go ahead and catch this one that's 30, just because that's still a decent um, level right here. So, um, yeah, let's definitely keep that one in our box. Okay, I do not want to name tentacle here. Alright, let's do one more battle. And then, oh, that was very weird. What's beyond the horizon? Let's do one more battle and then we could probably end the episode off. Alright, horsey. Hub! Thunder baby! That's, that's a super cool move. And it's hilarious that a water starfish can bring down thunder. That's hilarious to me. But hey, I'll take it. Are these kind of cool? Use another thunder. <laughs> All right, we defeated Swimmer Douglas. Okay, so let's quickly just like back up. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode off here. We will continue the rest of the route and get to the Seafoam Islands next episode.